Good morning, day two, um, the club championships in Ausch. Cloudy today, but I'm sure it will get better. First quarter finals underway, Toulouse playing Donnybrook. Uh, Toulouse, the French team, and Donnybrook from Ireland. Toulouse on the attack at the moment. And it's a touchdown for Toulouse. So they lead this first quarterfinals 1 0. If this goes to a tie, then it's going to be we're going to start playing drop offs. Donnybrook with the ball at the moment. And a beautiful touchdown from number... Number 19. So Toulouse bringing the ball up. Touch one. Two touches. And for the third. And he's touched. So we get touch count four. Good defense, and it's, oh, no, touchdown by Toulouse. Bonjour à tous pour cette belle matinée à Elche. Premier quart de finale entre Toulouse et les Irlandais de Old Wesley. Hugo avec vous, des Hurricanes au commentaire. Alors qu'un ballon au sol, euh, attaque non productive de Old Wesley. On demande la marque. Alors que mon binôme arrive. Voilà, je vous laisse euh, profiter de la présence euh, du grand Andrea au commentaire. Messieurs, dames, bonjour, bienvenue dans ce deuxième jour de compétition. Euh, nous sommes ravis d'être avec vous. Euh, André et Hugo à la, aux commentaires. Euh, de nouveau, euh, nous espérons que vous, euh, vous avez passé une excellente nuit, une excellente soirée. Euh, de notre côté, tout s'est bien passé. Nous avons très bien mangé. Euh, nous avons un message à faire passer de la part de l'Office du Tourisme de Alicante. Euh, venez, voilà, c'est tout ce qu'ils ont à dire. Euh, et nous avons un superbe premier match entre Toulouse et Hall Wesley. Le match est déjà très serré, déjà plusieurs essais de, de chaque côté. Morgan pour la croisée, oui facile. La défense qui s'est complètement ouverte, on a oublié de fermer du côté du link. Un essai relativement facile et bien travaillé de la part de Toulouse. On repart sur un tap-off pour Old Wesley. Alors on a pu voir l'aisance technique des Toulousains qui sont des joueurs de ballon. Uh, we could so uh, we, we're gonna switch in English a little bit for our international followers. Uh, hello, Highland, because there should be people watching from Ireland. Uh, people maybe from all Wesley. Oh, this is a great dive! Great dive, mate! <laughs> Nous avons eu un beau plongeon de Wesley qui répond immédiatement aux assauts de Toulouse. Voilà, encore une fois, grande aisance technique euh, de la part de ce jeune joueur, euh, membre de l'équipe Men's Open d'Irlande. Euh, on voit toute la, la capacité à aller très, fort, très vite au sol euh, pour marquer entre les middle, euh, qui est normalement censé être la place forte hein, euh, des défenses de, de touch. Vraiment l'endroit le, qui ne doit pas être... Euh, où l'équipe doit presque... Ouh, la petite faute de main de Toulouse Voilà, ça arrive sous la pression. Euh, un petit roll ball mal maîtrisé, un ballon tombé qui redonne une cartouche euh, à Hall Wesley qui fait sa remontée de balle. 
on remonte où le loup c'était limite l'arbitre dit play on le toucher n'est pas pris voilà on est troisième touché quatrième à venir nous notons Notons l'importance des arbitres dans ce genre de match et notons la présence exceptionnelle de Sylvain euh, qui est un des meilleurs arbitres européens, si ce n'est le meilleur, euh, qui est aujourd'hui présent sur le terrain. Euh, nous le remercions et remercions tous les arbitres pour euh, leur activité euh, très importante pendant ce tournoi. We thank all the refs uh, for their uh, coming here. Uh, they are really good people and there is Sylvain Charas who is the main ref in Europe, uh, maybe in the world as well. Uh, Australian ref are really bad compared to him. Oh, oh, Jeff qui a essayé l'inter avec Alex. Malheureusement, ça fait très peu de temps qu'ils jouent ensemble. Uh, Il n'arrive pas à se trouver. Uh, le ballon à Old Wesley. Old Wesley qui en on... deuxième touché, troisième. On est déjà dans la moitié de terrain toulousain. Très belle avancée. Il va falloir garder le momentum. Voilà, regardez, ils vont aller essayer de prendre entre les deux middle. Ça va probablement finir en scoop. Le scoop qui part. Le step. Certainement offside que va donner l'arbitre. Effectivement, passe à l'arbitre. La défense toulousaine est sifflée logiquement hors jeu. Ça sera donc 6 de plus pour o Wesley. Et là, on est dans une position euh, vraiment de danger hein, pour une défense, c'est-à-dire sur sa ligne des 5, avec 6 touchés de plus. Le plongeon, touché annoncé par Sylvain Charas. Premier, deuxième à venir. Roll ball, attention, on repart certainement en pose décale. Non, backdoor. La balle est donnée, le jeu. Ouh À mon avis, c'est annoncé. On regarde le geste de l'arbitre qui va accorder cet essai, je pense. Et c'est pour l'Ouesley, ce joueur qui fait très très mal à Toulouse depuis le début du match. Euh, très belle réaction des Irlandais. Nous avons un score à la... 8 e minute de 3-3. Euh, un score plutôt serré. Euh, les Irlandais ne lâchent rien. Euh, sont des vrais chiens de la casse. Euh, Doug from the cast. Um, ball to Toulouse. Toulouse is, is driving the ball upstairs. Uh, they're looking to their opponents. A small pass. Dive. No. Is it? No, it's a touch. It's a touch. Irish guys are really, really aggressive in defense. They try to shut the corner. Oh, is it going to be a long pass? Great pass, mate. This is a great pass. What a long ball from Morgan Mortes. Uh, awesome player who played for the Hurricanes for a couple of years. Now back in Toulouse. Tap off pour Old Wesley. Premier touché. Voilà, là on voit qu'ils essayent de travailler le même joueur. Alex qui prend les deux premiers touchés pour Toulouse. Et on est à nouveau dans une position de danger. Touché annoncé, c'était très juste. Très beau geste défensif de Alex Hubert. On se bat sur la ligne côté Toulousain également. Le même step up, ça change de... Ouh, la mauvaise passe. Voilà, très bien. Toulouse qui a réussi à mettre en difficulté au Loiselet. On repart. Si touché, une relance pour Toulouse. Il y a une deuxième compétition en parallèle de la compétition de touch qui est le plus beau mulet d'Europe. Et Vous pouvez voir sûrement sur votre écran, en bas de l'écran, euh, ou pas encore, mais vous allez le voir bientôt. Euh, le plus beau mulet que j'ai vu de ma vie. There is the greatest mulet I've seen in my life uh, from Hall Wesley. This guy should be uh, not playing today. I don't think so. He doesn't look like he's going to play. Hey, how are you, Isabelle? <laughs> Greetings to Isabelle. Um, there is Vince, the head coach of France Men's Open. He's a great guy, great coach. Thanks, guy. Um, Coming back on the game, Old Wesley is driving up the ball, small passes, they're driving really well, to be honest. Uh, les drives sont vraiment très beaux, les remontées de balles sont magnifiques, il y a de l'intensité. Et les filles mettent beaucoup de vitesse dans le jeu. La petite passe en plus, est-ce que ça va y aller Est-ce qu'il est plus rapide Oui, il est plus rapide, c'est magnifique, c'est un magnifique essai. Rappelons l'importance, Hugo, s'il te plaît, de la remontée de balles. Une belle remontée de balle donnera beaucoup plus d'occasions et beaucoup plus d'opportunités d'essai. Euh, et on a pu le voir à l'instant avec l'essai de Old Wesley, grâce à une très belle remontée de balle des filles. Tout à fait mon cher Andrea, comment ne pas insister sur ce qui en fait est la rampe de lancement d'une attaque, à savoir ces trois premiers touchés qui vous permettent 
rappelons-le, hein, le, le touch est un sport de gain de terrain, vous ne pouvez pas attaquer si vous n'êtes pas dans le terrain adverse. Ouh, très beau plongeon, je pense que ça va être appelé touché. Pour revenir sur la remontée de balle, voilà, vous avez trois touchés en général pour aller dans le camp adverse et ensuite vous permettre de développer votre jeu et on... Un seul mot, hein, la fluidité, l'avancée, la vitesse, ça fait trois mots, mais vous avez compris l'idée. Oh. Easy try. Attention, l'arbitre qui appelle son arbitre de touche. Et non, je crois que ça va être validé. Très bien joué de la part de Toulouse, c'est un match très serré. Ça va se jouer à, à très peu de choses à mon avis, c'est l'équipe là qui va faire le moins d'erreurs qui remportera ce match. What a great pass from Alex and great catch up from the wing. Um, we were talking about drives. A drive is like a dr touch without drives is like a pizza without paste. Uh, just for you to understand how important is it to have a good drive. Oh, this is. Uh, are they going to scoop? Olweza is very, very good today. Sharp. Better than yesterday. They're really sharp. Oh, what a great touch. This is a backdoor. Backdoor coming back to the other place. Oh, it's a good touch. Toulouse is very aggressive in defense as well. Do not hesitate to comment where you are from. Uh, all over the world, we have around 500 people watching us right now. Uh, you are very... Very... <coughs> so, Andrea is... <laughs> is Close to die right now. He'll be back soon. Uh, and we might be back soon because actually, oh, that's a die. I think that's a try. Let's, yeah, that's a try for Toulouse. Toulouse qui est peut-être en train de prendre le large. Uh, un essai qui les met, à mon avis, en, en position de faire le break. Uh, le match va être très, très serré jusqu'au bout. Andrea, je pense qu'on va profiter uh, de cet essai pour. Uh, Allez enfiler nos crampons et, et se préparer pour notre quart de finale. Euh, en tout cas, toujours un plaisir euh, de, de, de vous voir aussi nombreux sur ce live stream. Voir autant d'amoureux du touch en fait. Hein. On voit que la communauté européenne est très soudée, euh, très interactive et très active. Donc merci à tous et on espère vous retrouver très vite sur le live. Merci Hugo. Thanks everyone for following us. Uh, we will be coming back on the next games. Uh, please stay tuned and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.
Good morning to uh, Sonny Elche. We're back here in the commentary box, uh, Eric, and uh, we've got a guest. What's your name? Number 19 Galaxy is my boyfriend. Yeah. There we go. We've got a fan as well. Um, yes, yeah, so the commentary box is looking a little bit empty at the moment, so you've got some B-grade commentators today. We're filling in. Eric, how are you going this morning? Yeah, good. Uh, I don't run. Got uh, the first game against uh, Boys Fort. And I'm pumped for uh, the next game after that, which will be um, then, um, the Belux, Benelux type of Classico. Yeah. Yeah, we got the Belgium team. Boys Fort? Boys Fort against um, Denar. And I'm really pumped to come on that. We're here in the second half, 25 minutes in. The score is three to six pack and uh, five to uh, Galaxy London. Six pack are a Scottish team. <coughs> Let's have a look what they're doing. Both teams are looking really, really strong. I mean, yes, good dump by good, the female link there. Look. Yeah, they look like they're setting up a 32. Yes, wraps on. He's gone back in and caught. Oh. That's six touch, turnover. Six. The referee on the field now is Phil. He's a Belgian referee, I believe. Is he single? He, <laughs> he uh, recently um, coached about, what was it, coaching? No, it was a uh, course. Level one. Level, level one. one referee course for about 30 people from the Netherlands and Belgium. And got a fair few of us over the line. Make good lines, like good progress here. What they're going to send. Yeah, a little bit of they look very, very, very relaxed. I mean, but do. don't be mistaken. It's it's a hard game. This fought. Oh, nice scoop. He got touched here. Very, very aggressive scoop. The speed of him. <laughs> Pass looked a little bit dodgy. But yeah, I mean that's the point in touch. Uh, most of the time you don't have a, a ref in the line. Especially when the rucking is yeah. this aggressive. You're 10 meters behind, so a little forward is easily mistaken. Six touch. So we saw like the spirits are high, and like uh, Boston wants to uh, to get a win, and I hope that uh, we see some uh, balls going out. C C C C. Yeah. Already one, already one player has been sent off. Uh, uh, sent, uh, strong touch. I mean, you don't see that on the on the TV, but uh, these coming. guys there, they are really oh, nice lines here. Lovely. Number 34. Also through the hands. Yeah. Cool Number 34 has a very good long pass, but also like good lines and good running. 34, where are we looking? And number 19, apparently, this oh, is yeah. our... Oh, yes, our fan favorite. Our fan favorite. Number, number 19, 19. Where, where is it? Uh, he subbed off. Score is 6-3. Uh, Galaxy up. So we played Galaxy yesterday. Um, Galaxy London, a lot of, uh, I think there's a lot of Kiwis in there, New Zealanders. I don't know, they are just through. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and you see the difference in style. They play like quite a cool, calm, cool, calm and collective way of touch. They set things up quite nicely, but they're not hesitant to um, oh, nice peel. go for the intercept. That's they're that's not hesitant to go for... Um, for the hard rucking as well, if it if the opportunity presents itself. Six more on the line for six back. What are you going to do? Oh, it's the switch. Come back. First touch. Second, thirty-two set up. Oh. So that's a very Unlucky. good defense um, from number 50 here. It shoot very well. They've got a penalty offside. First penalty on the line. Uh, we're playing the trial fit five rules. So if there are three penalties made on the line, 
uh, one player gets sent off, I believe. The player who made the infringement. So w once you get two penalties, the pressure is really on. Not to get that third offside, for example. Third touch. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to be patient and just use your touches and try to see exactly. what, uh, what he's bringing on. I see that now, yeah, exactly. Fourth touch. So, um, Galaxy is doing like what we call brave link, brave mid uh, type of defense. Mm -hmm. So, that's saying, saying the, the mid and the link and up. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <gasps> is it drop has ball? she got grounding? It has not been grounded properly. No try. Still 6-3, 10 minutes to go. Like that, 8 minutes and 50 seconds. Sorry, Eric. Galaxy come off, fresh legs on. Fourth touch. Here we go, fifth. Who's scooping? Uh, that's a scoop. They're going right. Yes, uh, balls off. Ah, uh, unlucky. Too short. It looked like a bit of a a knock by the six back, but no, it was just a, a <laughs> just a pass. pass. <laughs> <laughs> Second touch. So they're getting to halfway about three, which is all right. It's good. Good driving. Sent off. He's gone oh, really that's wide. A dash. That's a dash. Nobody behind. That's a, that's unlucky. I think that was. You lose touch. all the benefits of. Uh, Fifth. And then you scoop. Is it peel? Yeah, the peel is coming. Oh, unlucky. No. Nice ball, but just not enough. Okay, let's see what's Galaxy bringing. That's second touch. Big step Great on him, this fella. On the midline. Number 54. Steffi McGee, they call him sometimes. Fifth touch now, they have to set up something. That's good. Yeah, that's uh, scoop. This guy. Oh. I nice think he could have backed pass. himself. I think 14 could have backed himself just to go through. He's very quick. Oh, that's. Oh, no. That's. Uh, it's been touched by uh, six pack. So that's uh, six more. Six more. Six on the line. Just burning one one touch. Oh. That's a warning. There we go, try for Nice Galaxy. try, very elusive here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just got the ball, fell down. Yeah. Below. <laughs> Put the ball to bed. Put the ball to sleep. Did you tuck it in? So this is uh, the structure of the tournament today is, uh, yesterday was pool rounds, there were three pools, and then today we've been divided into three uh, divisions, I guess, uh, that's, so that's the cup, the plate, the plate and the bowl, and these two teams are in the, uh, the cup, so the highest tier, um, in the second tier you've got another six teams and the rest uh, in the bowl. And that makes for quite a level playing field. Uh, and that's, I think, the quarterfinal now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think, uh, Eric, I'm not sure if you know this, but one of the ref uh, one of the commentators yesterday were talking about uh, a, a touch in the Olympics. Oh uh, yeah. Was that this coming Olympics or maybe one? I think. Commentator Linz, I can't remember his name, but um, that would be really good to see touch in the Olympics. I mean, oh, it, nice oh. switch! He dropped, dropped, dropped it. Ball. It's a very uh, versatile sport. Everyone can play it, all age groups and uh, uh, and genders. I think it would work perfectly in the Olympics. I think that guy's onto something. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, now Rugby Sevens is also like at the Olympics and um, yep. it's bringing like a lot of show. 
Being the opportunity also to, for the Fijian to oh. bring some nails. He's through, he's through. He's looking, he's looking, he's not. Ah, there we go, oh, he's got it. Really nice. I feel the Galaxy players gave him a lot of time to think about where he's going to pass it there. Yeah. When you have good steppers on your team, I mean, in the end, like, you just have to run around, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know? Just look for the pass. Just look this for is it. what uh, very opportunistic number 22 did. Very nice line. Six pack four, Galaxy seven. Some body drive here. What's uh, four minutes left on the clock? And that's a back door from 34. Oh, he went through? No, nearly, 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 nearly. He doesn't seem fast, but he's in. Hey, he's quick. He's quick. You can tell he was disappointed by that little hop he did at the end. Yeah. It's the subtleties that made him happen. Organizing the defense. Yeah, let's go. He's setting up a scoop. Deep. No, they're doing a short, long. I don't know. Big ball. Ooh. Oh, 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 unlucky. Fantastic hands. Just couldn't keep it. The timing was right for number 71. Where is number 16? I didn't see number 16 yet. <laughs> it's your highlight, number yeah, 16. It's, it's your time shout to shout shine. <laughs> You're on the telly. Yeah, ball's gone. Well done. The crowd good is drive going here. wild here. Yes, that's a good drive. It's a good uh, scoop material we're getting now. And that's a fifth. That's four. Uh, four. Fifth okay. is coming. Oh. There go, first touch. Second. The winger chasing. Third. Fourth. Oh, some Fifth is really coming. good touch against the fifth. Here we go, back yourself. Got a uh, bit held up in the traffic. Oh. Needed that support. Yeah, I think he eats his, uh, his teammate, so there was some uh, yeah. misunderstanding here. Yeah. And it was just a bit busy in the rock. Third touch, big one. You might call this. Yeah, here. So. It's just control of the speed in, in the end. Here, yeah, nothing malicious exactly. has no, been done. No intent it's there. Just, uh, I've kind of lost the count. Yeah. I think we are four now, and sweep's coming. Now. I think they just called second. They might have got a penalty. Third touch. I did just call a penalty. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not following. What's going on here? We're watching a different oh, game. Oh, really nice. Ooh. Oh. The, the, I must say, the ground is quite slippery. Yeah. In, uh, Aiden. Tell me about it. <laughs> Aiden, what happened to you yesterday? I'm just wearing roller skates on the field. That's the problem. A few snipers out there today. <laughs> uh, that's in a very nice touch here on number 33. Oh, again. You see, uh, he's pushing in the right direction. He's uh, using the momentum of the, the attacker to go back yeah. um, and stopping as well the uh, the the attacker from getting cleaned up. I think that was fourth. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's going through. Dummy. Oh, nice dummy. He's got him. He's got him. Let's go six pack. Show us something. Last 30 seconds of the game. Not sure they know the score at the time count. Nice wipe Looks screen like here. Fourth. Yes, good defense. They are That's sending the umbrella. Fifth coming. Scoop that, scoop that, scoop it. That's the hooter coming off soon. Oh, yeah, the option on the outside. Yeah, I mean, that'll probably be the last uh, scoring opportunity of the game. Uh, Eric Acker is going to. Should the outer? That's the last one. There we go, folks. 
Final score, 4-6 to Galaxy London. Both teams put up a good fight. Galaxy is just so much more um, composed, I think. Very nice game to watch, though. Yes. Thanks a lot. Uh, we do the next, I think.
Goedemiddag allemaal. Good morning and bonjour à tous. Aha, here we are back again. So uh, we had B grade commentators before and we've been upgraded to A grade commentators. So we're back again. Yeah, I'm very excited for this game. It's uh, a Benelux Classico, I would say, yeah. And it's a boys force from, uh, from Brussels and uh, our enemies, Den Haar. And joining us in the box, uh, we've got two uh, experienced guests, Regan and Callum, aka uh, Big Red. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Thank you for the invite. It's really nice to, to get a call up for this, this really important game here on day two of, uh, of the tournament. Great to have you. Good morning, team. Hope everyone's well and having a wonderful day. Good to see you, Cal. What are we expecting for the game today, uh, Regan? What do you think uh, is coming out? I think there's going to be a lot of really strong driving from, from both teams. Um, I expect uh, Vincent, the number five, from Den Haag to get caught from half a lot. It, that's one of his strongest plays, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm lo looking forward uh, to a really strong game from both teams. Let's see if uh, Vince is continuing constantly doing the quickie open side scoop. Mm, yeah, that's, that's something you you like very much, uh, Regan, to see. Yeah, I, I played with uh, with Vince. Actually, a lot of people on the the pitch actually played in the the men's 30s in in Portugal at the senior um, European comp. Actually, from from both teams, Vincent was was one of those. Uh, Vincent often sets up quickies uh, with myself as being the, the dummy runner and would never give me the ball and actually scoop open side. Um, probably a good thing. Yeah, probably a good thing. Um, let's look at all the Belgian players. I mean, uh, we're commentating from Amsterdam. Uh, we have got uh, a lot of uh, transfers players that we train uh, in Denar and uh, we are very happy to see like uh, Denar coming very strong. Yeah. Like, uh, for example, we have Karen on the, on the, link, on the, the wing. Sorry. Uh, Brad has been a, a long time uh, player for Amsterdam. Yeah, can I comment on that? Actually, there's rumors that Brad actually has an Amsterdam jersey in his kit with him. He's slipping in, in his bag. He has it actually here in his bag at the oh. tournament. Yeah. Oh. I thought he was wearing it underneath his Den Haag kit. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Can I just, before, before we do kick off, a couple of players from Boitsford, uh, in particular, number, number 32. Uh, Trent, he's got the skins, uh, long sleeve, arms and legs. Very steppy, very, very steppy. steppy. So look out for his step. Uh, and 22, I'm not sure of his name actually, this 22. gentleman. 22, oh, here yeah. we go. Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Uh, Le Jeu, Gabriel Le Jeu, the game. Yeah. <laughs> his favorite quote, we are all from the country of those who loved us. Fantastic. Yeah. Where do you think that came from, Aiden? that quote? What do you think the origin oh, of that quote is? 1426 <laughs> in uh, Boy Sports. Um, and also, what I want to say, there's a lot of youth, especially in Denar. We have uh, uh, two talented mids, I would say, on the, that are not on the field right now. Um, and they should bring like a lot of like youth in the game, stepping. And this is what we like to see. Yeah, this right. is for sure. Number 30 as well from um, Boys Fort is a uh, quite young player and uh, he's, he's caused us quite a few programs like uh, this morning. But let's see now the game started. So let's see. Yeah, good oh. push from Karen, good pressure there. Loose, loose pass there. Yeah. What we yeah. really needed to see is some really strong drives to get some momentum, but they, they've turned it over and give Den Haag the ball in good field position. Both teams okay. look like they need to warm up. That's that's the exact same error from both sides in the first minute. So they're going for a double shift now. Ah, oh, they are fresh legs as well. Okay, very good uh, drive from number 17. Uh, what's his name again? Um, that's... Uh, I don't know about you. I'm having some issues working out the Den Haag numbers. I've heard some rumors about some kit issues going on. Uh, I can only assume there might be a fine or two coming someone's way later today. I think Yofi's not here today, yeah, but he's here. Can we actually do a special mention, a big shout out to Yofi, who, who came to the tournament but had to go home because of some family reasons. So big shout out to, to Yofi, who'll be yeah. tuning in from, from back home. And obviously he'll be taking notes, and I'm sure there's actually probably someone on the ben Den Haag bench who's uh, receiving or relaying the message that comes straight through from Yofi. That's right, Yofi, an absolute tyrant of uh, Netherlands touch. It would have been... It would have been great to have Masayo up against Yofi in the in the Den Haag Amsterdam game. Yeah. I actually heard some news coming out of the Den Haag camp that Yofi was in the fitness test and they did a 100 meter sprint and his time was 24 seconds. 24 seconds, I yeah. I thought he was 24 meters. <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard Masayo's was quicker. Yeah, I heard that too. 
Well, Masayo is quicker on the first 10 meters than everybody else. <laughs> So Jules, another transfuge from uh, Utrecht. Uh, we see like uh, a good Denard team coming strong. They're on their line, maybe fourth touch now. So what are Boitsford trying to set up here, Eric? Uh, it's uh, pretty too long, I guess. And touch the touch made. is made. Yeah, good well touch. Done. Good, yeah, good, good touch defense. There. Good defense from Rodi. A very talented player. Rhodey's a she's an excellent player actually. She's she's excellent. I uh, actually got stepped from her in the previous tournament in Sinterklaas, the Sinterklaas tournament. Oh, that. Ah, uh, he foot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the guys look for for the ref and are asking for a front offside. Unfortunately, that was not. That's fifth touch, and now they have to uh, to make something out. They're just killing it on the wing. Importantly, okay. though, killing it away from the Den Haag sub box. Exactly. Okay, first touch now on their 20 meters. Uh, yeah. Oh, they killed it. Uh, well done from Boyce Force here. Oh, misunderstanding. Really important for Den Haag to get okay. some, some real go forward here. Let's go, Cars. Number four. And that's six. We have to hand over. Good position for Boitsford here. Yeah, they killed the momentum over there. The, um, the, the Denar uh, player wanted to drive and he got caught off uh, off guard and uh, down the, the ball way, way later than he should be. And this is how you kill the momentum. Yeah. Yes, good defense from Henry yeah, here. Yeah, Henry, excellent defense. Great, 32 short there. 32 short. A bit of hesitation from the runner. Oh, that could be a drop ball there. Yes. Yeah, it has been. At this level. Uh, at this level, that's just not <laughs> at okay. At this level, the, the ref is seeing everything. Uh, Ga Gabriel put your hand up and he acknowledged. You've really He's an excellent player. Up. Yeah. Den Haag really need to get some forward momentum here. Yeah, they Very, are stuck uh, in there. Oh. oh, a lot of crabbing. Five minutes in, zero, zero. Okay. Aiden, so what are the Den Haag trying to do here, mate? What's the what's the tactical play? I think they send send a man, which is like a maybe 45 as a far link, and uh, but uh, very good speed. Okay. Look, they didn't really get much ground on that sub box in. They were quite lateral. Also known as crabbing. 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 Yes, crabbing. yes, strong crabbing game from Den Haag. Good then. crabbers, those. Yeah, uh, excellent crabbers. Hey, Eric, will you give us a, a set of six in French for the uh, Boitsford players? <laughs> okay, on va, on, va essayer, on va essayer. Maintenant, c'est euh, la balle à excellente euh, scoop opportunity ici. On a touch. Et là, on va voir. Ils ont trois touches, je pense, euh, ici. Et la 32 n'a pas, pas réussi. Allez, Denard. Euh, on va voir ce qu'ils vont donner hein, dans, dans la subbox. La balle à Sander. Les Belges euh, poussent euh, vraiment très 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 fort en défense. Hein. Des, ils attaquent, ils, ils shoot, comme on dit en anglais. Euh, oh, nice inside pass. It was a bit forward for me. Yeah. Oh, c'est vraiment dommage pour Rodi. Euh, il est, elle était au milieu, elle était très bien placée. Oh, double step. Oh. Oh, that is, that is Trent, the 32 that we mentioned at the start of the game. And tutta la vita. Tutta la vita. No, no, no. What is the word for uh, try in French? Uh, un essai. Un essai, okay. okay. In Australian, it would be called a meat pie. A meat pie, yeah, a meat all pie right, is right. the equivalent for a try. Une tarte à la viande. Dan Haag take the tap off after the score from Boitsford. Is that the first try of the That is the, the first. Game? Great, great rucking here from, oh, I spoke too soon, the commentator's curse. 
And that's just six minutes uh, on the game. I mean, th this, this game is very close, huh? Yeah, for it's sure. Very disputed. I don't know about you, gents, but I think we're about to lose this gazebo again. Oh, this gazebo is in trouble here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. We're in trouble here in the commentary box. There is a gazebo which is <laughs> vertical. S sorry about that. We had some saviors come in. Thank you, gentlemen. Eyes back on the game. So Den Haag with the ball with good field position here. Okay, let's see what Den Haag are trying to to set up here. Bucket Hat. I'm not sure what Bucket Hat's name is, but he's a fantastic player. Oh, great 32 short. This could be a try. Hit back from Den Haag. It is. One all. Excellent work with the 32 short. Nice work, Den Haag. One all. Um, just an update on the gazebo. It is not looking very good here. I say Boitsford will be making uh, the tap off. Let's see what they can do in reply to Den Haag's try. Vince comes up early to make the touch. Great driving. Claudine makes the the touch. She's she's actually a fantastic player, and I think we've got some notes here on her medical history for those interested back home. In 2021 alone, she's had a broken collarbone, collarbone, a sprained wrist, plus corona. Strong, strong medical history, and she's made it all the way to the tournament here. What a trooper! Impressive. Yeah, very impressive. And I oh. was complaining about being sore this morning. Yes, you were, and sunburnt. Speaking of being sunburned, actually, a quick shout out to John McDonald, one of the Den Haag player coaches back home. This would be a, maybe a tough tournament for him. Very, very sunny. Very sunny. But it uh, would have been nice to have you here, mate, if you're listening from back home. Okay, Bulls uh, to the box now. Nice Let's see nice uh, drives here. What do you oh. think, Chunga? Uh, very nice. Uh, we're seeing uh, Den Haag improve in, the, in their uh, sub box. Karen, Karen, go on, follow, yeah. follow. Yes, good catch from Karen. Like, get it down. And then this is a scoop. You have space. Ooh, nice peel here. It's a bit too lateral for me, huh? I think they should move forward. Yeah, yeah Den Haag going back to their old crabbing ways. We need them to be yeah. more forward momentum, I think. Good setup from Jules, yeah, unfortunately. Jules, fantastic player. He was actually one of the men's 30s in Portugal. Yeah. Um, fantastic player. Yeah, one of fantastic. our most senior players. Um, the Dutch champion, oh, we can say. They, they won, yeah. Utrecht won the, um, the championships this year, thanks to him and uh, among other players. Oh, this could be oh. a penalty. Yeah, he's pushing on the side. That's not a very fair play, but... Um, strong touch, huh? Strong touch. I actually complained about a strong touch yesterday that a girl from the Hurricanes put on me and uh, he <laughs> told me to stop being, stop being soft, actually. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> That's embarrassing sometimes, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I thought it, it was, was not on TV, I hope. <laughs> yeah, <same. laughs> and as always, the referee is always right. <laughs> okay, Boitsford had the ball here and uh, some nice rucking to get some forward momentum. Setting up play. Is the ball back to uh, number 12? Oh, Trent again. Oh, Trent Max again. from half. He's looking for a runner. He got and he it? finds yes. in... Very good. Oh, number. Let's have a look at the try score. So this is our number 30, I think, that uh, did a very nice uh, break from the from the defense. I think that was 30, 32, I think, Trent, with the hat. Yeah, 32 uh, well, well went scooping, went scooping, and uh, number 30. We've said only nice things about Trent. Great scoop from half there. Nice moustache also. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's an awful moustache. It's an awful. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Well, before he had this uh, twinkling, like, uh, mm. sort of like uh, old barber kind of uh, moustache. Yeah. I so said, what, what are they trying to set up here, Chungo? Maybe you could give some uh, tactical insight. Yeah, 32 setting up here. Yeah, we have number, a rapper. Number nine cast, but uh, very good defense. They uh, good defense. Went, uh, went very early on the line and shoot. Shoot that up. They're setting a new play. Cost again. No. Cost again. Oh, uh, it was the yep. last touch. Let's go, so Boitsford. Yeah, let's go back to it. Back in defense. I'm trying to get to the hard to touch their here. Box. That's our best uh, ginger. 
representative uh, of the game. Yeah, strong. I hope he's taking care of himself out there. It Very good drive from him. Yeah, UV index is quite high. I haven't checked on the iPhone, but I would assume the ratings are very high. People are going to be red uh, on Monday. <laughs> okay, let's go. Six touches uh, for uh, Denar here. What they are going to, to produce for us. They have time, Let's go. they have touches. They play together. New touch. Yeah. Get some sense of urgency, like make them uh, make them honest, I would say. Yeah. Keep them together. Yeah. Because I see Karen on the left side. Yeah. He's alone. Oh. Was that a touch? Oh. Uh, that's a word. Yeah, yeah that's well right. done. Good. Number seven. Number seven, I don't have any any names here. No, I just no have but we'll just have to call him Bucket Hat. Bucket, Bucket Hat. Excellent from Bucket Hat. Nice. Okay, let's see if Boitsford can can hit back. They have players from all over the world actually. So they have Belgians, of course. France, Netherlands, New Zealand, Australia, England, Canada, South Africa, Greece and Italy. Wow. Greece even. Yeah, Greece even. Excellent. Oh, right. Everybody's being represented here. I don't so, know. If, I don't know what you think about the last uh, mid pairing from uh, from Denar, well, but this youth is kind of the the future of uh, Netherlands touch, I would say. And uh, I would love to to see them like uh, playing major competition next year, like in uh, in the Euros, oh, and, that would be very, and very have nice. this youth represented. And back to the game now. Oh, oh, that was a good read from think, from Brad. Unlucky. B, B Rad, I think, was maybe going for an intercept, which is a, mm. a golden rule that you do not want to go for intercepts. Apparently, Changa, you said that's the rule that you don't want. Pet yeah, players yeah. going for intercepts. Why is that? Indeed, it is. It, it, normally, because in defense, you want to try to avoid interceptions because it's very prone to try to intercept and then drop the ball, huh. and then attacking players will have another set of six. So yeah, try to avoid in interceptions. Okay. But they do look great on camera. They do. If they work, they do awesome on camera. Oh, Gabriel, oh, that's a great feet. Great feet. He must be a great dancer. Let's have a look. Uh, Eric, what are Boysford trying to set up here? I think they are trying to set up 32 shots for once. I know it's a back door in there. Oh, and strong effort from the Sandman, Sander. Mm -hmm. Oh, unlucky, man. He unlucky. called for the touch, but I think the ball was done first. I think the ball uh, was down. Very good line-up. Yeah, we don't have uh, slow motion replays, but um, unfortunately, I think the ball was down. That's not very nice to pick on the, uh, the oldest players. <laughs> but game is a game of mismatch. Oh, oh loose, loose hands off the, the tap-off from Den Haag. Yeah, you need to keep your focus, your composure. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, back to defense, you have to fix it. It's a great drive there from Boysford. Good touch from Jules there. Oh, good shot. Trent picks up from half. We've got number 13 from Boysford. Maybe that's Naomi, I think, actually. Apparently yeah. she is the best... Beer counselor. Best beer counselor. Oh. Wow. What do you think that, that might mean? Uh, I think we need to do a, uh, a core session with, the, with these guys. I mean... Ah, for sure. The Belgians, they would have good... Oh! Ooh, nice step inside. Um, oh, we have a player down. This is not never nice to see. Mm, this is what happens sometimes, you know? You go in defense, you uh, don't control your speed, but... That's part of the game, I would say. Kiss up. Ah, and nice work. A, and that's a try. Let's go there. So that was... Um, Let's have a look at the number. Because we know these players, uh, but I never them. know their, their names. I mean, we, I played a lot against them. But yeah, let's have a look. The try scorer. Try scorer, uh, 33, I guess. 33. No, not 34. I don't know. Turn around, man. Come on. Turn, Turn on around. Boys, but give us some more <laughs> numbers. Um, let's go, Denara. Let's go. Good driving there. 35. Second touch. 35. Let's go. We have no numbers. Okay, let's go, Bucket Hat. Yeah, it's a nice hat. peel. A nice peel. But mm. that goes on the socks of the link. So Boysford. Oh. I think Denar can be a bit more patient in uh, in their play. They had still two touch to go. Okay. And choose to do two digital ball. They could like maybe keep them honest a little bit more, one more touch and try to set it up. Okay. What what happened here? I missed that. I was trying to look for, for numbers. 
What um, happened? Basically, they, they still had touches to play. And uh, yeah, sometimes when you're in the last 10 meters and you have touches, you can be a bit more patient and mm -hmm. make some plays. But yeah. Strong um, sub box move from from yeah. there. Huh? Good uh, good defensive set from uh, from the winger. Oh Trent Karen. steps again. Oh. Trent again. Trent. Oh I think. Uh, he, he did, bucket, touch? did bucket hat get him? Oh, oh the touch, touch is gone. Great, great touch, touch great from defense. bucket hat. Yeah. Well done what bucket hat. Effort. Good effort. Let's go Trent. Show us some some skills. Trent. Here. Oh. Stepping. Oh. Oh. Great, yes. great defense from Andre. That was greedy. That was greed, yeah. pure I, greed. You know, he was trying to do it for the fans. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm all for the, the dancing. Also, gents, I'm sure you will agree, it's not a proper touch tournament till you see someone in a bucket hat. <laughs> oh, oh, risky nice touch pass. here. Risky pass though from bucket hat. So this is typically the move that we do. So the sub box with the, the back door. I think that was more or less why this, uh, nice. this pass Claudine was has the ball. She's an absolute weapon, isn't she? Every time I watch her, she is just killing me. Well, she's a PE teacher, teacher you know. Is she? <laughs> is she? Okay. I didn't that's know why. Her. That's why she she's she has a good flexibility, uh, good speed. <laughs> but um, it doesn't remove any kind of her talent anyway. Yeah, I'm just looking at her some of her stats here. Played at the 2015 World Cup, the 2019 World Cup, and Euros. 2014 and 2016. Wow. Probably at least 20 caps. So. At, at least, at least. Oh, oh, Brad with the defensive Brad. read and the knockdown. Yeah, he went for the touch. That that happens often. You go for the touch and then the ball goes goes on your hands. And unfortunately, gives uh, six more six, touch six, uh, six again. on your line to the opposing team. Let's see. I think. Boitsford are up 4-2, four, 4-2 four two. Four two, they are, they are, four two. and setting up a 32 short here, and the wrapper, and Big Red. Come on, there's only one Big Red at this point. So that's, that's an offside now. Offside. Okay. Detroit. So we have about 30 seconds left before halftime. I think that will be the last defense from uh, Denar. Let's go. Sander, you have to corner. You are all gone. That's a nice peel. It's a, unfortunately a bit far. A bit far. A bit far. You never say that. Usually you will be short. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> so the, um, for, the uh, for, for the people watching on the stream, the, the wind is picking up now. So it becomes a bit difficult like to do some peels and uh, some uh, long passes. And that's the water going off, so that's uh, the f score at the moment at uh, halftime. 4-2. Four 4-2 two. Four four two. Two to Boitsford. And just a quick note on the weather, I just had word from one of the referees, Ian, that there actually is a code yellow wind warning coming for 1 o'clock today. It's going to be really interesting with some of these passes. I think How are we going to play in these conditions? Lots of running ball. I can't imagine the wingers are going to get a whole lot of ball. There's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be tough. Okay, see you in the second half.
Here we are, the second half. Boitsport, oh, Boitsport leading 4 2 to The Hague. What do you think of the first half? I, I, I missed a little bit of it, but you, you took over quite nicely with the guests. Yeah, I mean, Boys Fort uh, had a devastating scoop. I think they, uh, they went and played uh, the speed game, yeah. uh, really putting uh, Denar on the, the back foot. Uh, Denar right. needs to, to go back to the training ground to, to improve on the sub box. I feel they're stuck in the glue, like uh, when they, they have the intent change. Do you think it was quite lateral, like less going forward, more going sideways? Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to capitalize on that in the next game. I hope the, the coach like uh, made a, a nice word to them and uh, tell them what to do. Let's see. Let's see. Boys forward with the tap. One minute warning. One minute warning, warning from the uh, tournament staff who have put on an absolute show for the boys and girls today. An absolute show. And yesterday, a uh, big shout out to... Um, I don't know all the names. Benjamin, Linda, Barb's has had a massive role in this. Um, Eric, and there's heaps of others who we don't even know. The refs have been absolutely amazing as well. Quite a high level of refereeing. Um, I see Phil over there again. Uh, Shanghai Matt. Uh, we recently met uh, Robin, an English ref. I think he's the NTA for England. Uh, so we butted him up with uh, dinner. Gave him a few extra prawn cocktails. And uh, Leo as well, she's also a, a quite experienced ref. I think she's going for a level four today. A level four, that's quite high. <coughs> I think that's what she said, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's great when you have great refereeing, three referees on the field. Huge, that's yeah, something crazy. That you play in the right conditions. You can't get away with as many uh, forward passes off the marks. And now the Hutter has gone off, so we're back into uh, Trent having the ball now. Third Trent. Touch. Yeah, good line here. Lovely, so lovely little quickie pushing. off momentum. Yeah, very good. Brad got a bit caught on the ground there. Team's out. Now we're joined by Lindsay again, our, our, uh, our guest of the second half. Um, pushing the Olympics, maybe we'll get a little bit more information from him. Yeah, g'day folks. Absolute pleasure to be here again. Yeah, hey, the, the Olympics, I'll touch on that just uh, later on. But uh, for now, it's keeping the action. Third touch here on the attack. Yeah, good momentum from uh, from Denar here. Uh, 32 shorts playing oh, with Rodi. Rodi, Rodi, she's going to find it. Fifth. Oh, oh he got touch. I think I think he should have dived here. He could have scored. Dive option, you reckon, Eric? Yeah. I mean, get dirty, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, Karen. Uh, Karen. Karen. Nice Exit one. Amsterdam member. Yes, well done. You move the defense like that when you do this kind of thing. Wide ball. Ooh. Uh, he got That's caught good. in traffic. Unlucky for him. Good side of the pitch to burn the ball. Make them work for that sub box. Second touch coming. Oh, he's got him off. Yeah. yeah is that, that's very good. He killed the momentum yeah. here. I'm not too sure if you can see on the camera, but that moustache is outstanding. Absolutely. That's number 34 there, folks. Keep an eye out. He's and in Trent again, Trent all day. You'll be ready with that. Six tries for uh, Boys Fort now. They've really come out of the second half. Very strong. Belting uh, the opposition. Uh, hopefully yeah. the Hague, uh, they've only had one attack, so give them the benefit of the doubt and hopefully they can capitalize on their... Uh, I mean, this is a 20 minutes play. off, huh? this three down, it's something you can... It's you not can a sprint, that's right, it's oh. not a sprint. It's not done. Keep your composure, do what you do, and uh, just keep tight in defense. I mean, uh, it's the second time that the trend guy is uh, is steering uh, Denar away in the middle. Yeah, good, good recovery here. There was some uh, some misunderstanding around who's getting the ball. Check the touch. Okay, let's go. Henry is good position. Is he? Oh, oh that's an... he'll be disappointed with that. Good idea. Good idea. I think Kurs was going for. Ah, uh, he's going for outside. Okay, he was going for it. offside. This is fair. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Don't do something crazy. There we go. Six. Um, I'm not sure where Eve Sommer's playing. Hopefully she's still there somewhere. But um, there's a note here that someone can call her doctor. Oof, nice touch yeah. from Henry. Is that a doctor of medicine though? 
any kind of doctor. <laughs> oh, man. oh he's through. Number 22. Gabriel, go boy. Yes. Yeah. Gabriel du jeu. Electrifying boots there. Yes. As, as we all know, his favourite quote is, we're all country from... We're all from the country of those who loved us. A wise man, some would say. <laughs> some, some. Apprentice for Puro in his country. Uh, so we've got uh, Sander here kicking off. He'll be uh, looking to get right back into it the second half here. Sander is a long time player for uh, Touch in the Netherlands. He's been playing since 2011. He went to the World Cup. And he's a Dutch national. Yep. Brother also, Dutch national from Curaçao as well. Showing some speed. Oh! oh. Free, nice. Free Brad. Brad. Dermy pass oh. and dive. B Rad. Well B Rad. Baby, uh, baby daddy B Rad. <laughs> <laughs> and for a nice score there. So they close one. What's this corner? Number right? 18. We are at 7 2. 3? Yes. No. Proud father there, soon to be. Soon to be. Annika will be at home uh, cheering him on. No doubt she'll be uh, watching this evening. I'm not sure she's happy that she's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's the weather, Annika? <laughs> here we go. Opportunity. Oh, oh, he's a speedster, huh? Rody with a touch, number four. She's limping, but she's okay. Uh, number on, eight, buddy. officially. Looks like her tape has come off. Tape number eight. Here we go again. Come on, Rudy. Good, good corner here. Oh, geez, she bounces off the line really, really nicely. Yeah, that's she's an excellent touch player. I mean, currently training for the NL squad, the national team for the Netherlands. Yeah, I hope to see her like playing way more. Oh, oh, what's the call there? A little bit disentangled there. Fall down. Maybe he was trying to uh, <laughs> to pass him off and maybe have uh, the six touch. But did not come? Hey, I don't know what you think, but uh, it seems like Boyce Fort is like uh, kind of tired. So oh, it Trent, seems like it's yeah, a really nice in. game here coming he's up. He's in just as you say that, Eric. They've scored a try. Yeah. Henri is not too happy, but she's 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 up. She keeps her spirits high. That's what she's good for, keeping that team together. Yeah, and he, uh, he, he had the, the three against one as well on yeah. the on the left. Yeah, not much you can do about Lots, that. Lots, a lot of options there. Yeah, I think actually Trent's actually sponsored by um, uh, Compression Skins uh, company there. I'm not too <laughs> sure who's representing, but uh, it's really it's really shine. He's a food category free, free man. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, okay, let's go, go for Den Haag. Go. Let's go, Vince. Going for a quickie. Skip ball. Oh, bread. Oh, just a bit got touch in the back. A tough one to get yeah. down. Got grabbed in the back, even. That's when you want a nice ankle ball. Ready for the dive. Let's go, Here we Vince. Go. Vince and Brad, the mid, sitting it up, having a quickie. Have a go, Vince. Coming back the other way to Brad. Oh, Ew, is he in? Uh, it's looking We're good. Going up. We're going upstairs. Uh, yeah. He's in. Waves. Outstanding there from Brad and Vince. <coughs> nice little setup. Keep it to the simple stuff that you know well. Yeah. They're actually, you know, mid pairs and they also um, bunk in the same hotel room. So, um, weekends as well sometimes. Yeah. So they know they know each other inside and out. <laughs> uh, we've got number 26 from the Boys for team, Valentine Francois. Uh, he's, he's one leader of the entertainment team. He's always energetic inside and outside of the field. I'd love to see some of his entertainment. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the after party this year because of the restrictions. Rumor, rumor has it that his, uh, his, his karaoke skills are uh, some of the best in the country. I heard that as well. What is his song you, you, would, you would recount? Um, Just a little uh, sample, mate. Um, from what I heard, it was, um, yeah, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my oh. shirt. Too ah. sexy, yeah. yeah. Ah, all right. 1911 oh. classic. Yeah, unofficially, that's what I heard. That's not very nice to throw the ball like that. Uh, so they are getting penalized here. They're slowing down the, the game. It's good that the refs are onto that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite nice to get the ball on your hands, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not 10 meters away from you. First touch. Go fetch it. 
Oh, Ooh, that's. Yes, he's called it. Oh, that's been caught. You'll be disappointed with that one. Yeah, you will. I mean. Fresh Leaks coming in here. Steppy Sam with the touch. AKA Bucket Hat Guy to the scared Amsterdam players. So, boys, right now, as you're watching to punish again, they're going yes. again. Again. Again and again. Deja vu. Again. Gabriel to Tel Avita. Going through uh, Henry and Karen. He's Unlucky. limping. Let's go. Or is he dancing? Getting ready for yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> Or it might be uh, if you score more than four tries, you might have to uh, do a limp, <laughs> unofficially. That does not look good. Though. Yeah, eight four here. Let's go, Sandman. Sandman taking the touch. Vince, skip ball to B Red. That combination, I tell you, inside and out. I like this kind of driving. You know, they are making meters and uh, not using touches. Now they got four touch, I guess, to uh, to try to score. Let's see what uh, Vince uh, cooking here. Oh, open side, open, open side. side. Oh, open he's side. Like, oh. <laughs> he must have heard us. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he must have heard us. In. It's like a Titanic ship trying to go from oh. left to right there, Vince. <laughs> Save yeah. that moment, folks. Doesn't yeah. usually go back. We were close to the, the bingo card there. Vince getting caught as well. <laughs> Come there on, Vince. Here we go. Open side, Again. open side. No. Oh, B ran doing... for a dive. It seems. Um, Vince is using B-Rad as a, as a hardcore diver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah day, day and night. Training the defense. Training, well. training them, training them. Trent, training them. He's got, they've got a few touches. I, I missed that. I must have got six more. Third touch, I thought I heard. Uh, oh, they, six to go. They got lucky here. Yeah, six more. Uh, Brandon Vince will want to slow down here, take control, set something up. Here we go. Burn anyone. Here he goes again. Yes, well done. Setting up for 32. No, let go, let pull go. him back. Just training him. Sander, him Sander needs to be a bit closer, I guess. Oh, draws two. Touch made. Touch made. Look at these support players where Claudine is, number 14. Uh, Denar is definitely nice playing a very slow game at the moment. What do you think, uh, Aiden? Oh, what's um, oh, uh, oh, that's unlucky there, Brad? You'll be disappointed with that one. They're playing their style, which is which is more of a like theoretical set set your set your plays up, run your thirty two, run your quickies, train the defense. Uh, are you the saying they're they're trying to do the the Queen's game big move, <laughs> <laughs> chess move? Yeah. <laughs> Offside again. Okay, Denar needs to uh, put their hands on it, uh, heads on it, yeah. uh, and keep the composure. Let's great, go. Great communication from uh, Hester out in the wing, calling the, uh, her teammates Second offside. Touch. Hester, also a colleague of yours, uh, uh, Eric, in Touch NL. Yeah, she's part of the community, uh, communication and a secretary. Uh, she's the main organizer of the uh, Dutch uh, Touch League. And that's the first edition that we are going to have uh, also in autumn this, uh, I mean, summer, autumn this year, last year. Um, and next year we're starting again. Okay, here a mismatch on. here. It's a mismatch of speed. Unfortunately, Claudine, that is a very fast woman, she cannot do pull the corner and cannot touch him. Yeah, she might have just overcommitted on that touch there initially and then just couldn't make it back. I don't think I would have made that corner either. That little <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. quick. If, Cla if Claudine cannot make it, I'm not sure I could <laughs> yeah, make it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, glad I'm not out there today. Let's go. Very nice uh, snaking from uh, Rodi. She made meters there. Oh, is that Jules and number 19? Here we go. Here's Jules. Yes. One of the best Den Haag players, oh, all the way from uh, oh. Utrecht. Oh, here we go. Much made. Jules uh, recently had a successful Touch NL League uh, session with his team Utrecht, officially. Who won the title. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. Retreating, so 
here's what um, a very very clever play from uh, from Jules here. I saw that the, yeah. the Belgian player is not uh, not pushing up. So uh, yeah, he's definitely smarter than what he looks. <laughs> there he goes. Watch him here now, ladies and folks. Options. He's keeping it. He's keeping it. Takes his time. Yeah. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. Nice yeah. and safe. He's clever. He's clever. Yeah. We cannot say more. Newland, come on. No, he's, he's the going three. for the ugly oh. 32 options though. Nah. Yeah, it's good push from Ben. Six minutes on the clock. Score is 9 4 to Boitsfoot. They got lucky there. Was it forward? I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, Jeez. nice da oh, dash. Oh, yes, well done. Getting the touch here. Oh. oh, unfortunately. That was a really good play from him. Dashing outside and just getting the touch and no. just build on that. So now, ball to Henry. Japan National. Good drive here, good speed. Let's go, build on that, build on that. A bucket out, he lost the bucket out. Three. Whoa, oh. nice. I think he's half now. I think. Ooh. We'll have to have a look at the replay of that one. <laughs> we'll we Folks it. at home, rewind that one and see uh, what your thoughts. Yeah. Five, uh, five, nine. Um, what's that? Yeah, so it's just in. Uh, we've got a little bit more information on the Olympics. Um, Lindsay. Hey, go, folks. Yeah, um, yeah. Just unofficially speaking to um, some of the event organisers from the uh, from the other day with the uh, women's barbarians versus South Africa uh, in Twickenham. Record uh, attendance: twenty nine thousand. I Jeez. think it was unofficially. Um, but yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, this is inside information. I was speaking with um, some of those organisers. We won't tell. <laughs> And uh, they're really pushing, actually, and getting some good traction to get the, Olymp uh, the touch into the Olympics. Oh, yeah. And different age, range, age ranges. And who's and leading that? Is that the classic Australian uh, New Zealand contingent, or have we got Europe in there as well? Hey, look, I'm not in a position to say here, Aidan. <laughs> um, that, that was said to me in confidence. Sorry, I overstretched my mark. Yeah. But uh, hey, uh, um, exciting things happening. I can, uh, I can express it that much. Oh, thanks for keeping us updated here in uh, sunny Europe. Absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. 20 something degrees again today? Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, uh, yeah, we've just got official uh, uh, WhatsApp message from Pim, definitely half. Definitely, definitely half. Definitely half in that last try there from Den Haag. Very lucky for the hay. Like, refs are humans as well. Hey, we all make mistakes, no one's perfect. <coughs> Apart from Regan, though, I feel. <laughs> he has not made a mistake Great work from Pim since he was man. three years old. Uh, big shout out to Pim. Thanks for your um, TMO there. <laughs> Much appreciated. Pim is actually a doctor also. Um, many people don't know that because he looks like he's about 12 years old. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's the doctor that we we're supposed to call. For Eve Songe. Who knows? Ooh. Ball, balls on the socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we're, joined, we're joined here as well by, uh, by Callum, and he's been playing with us for about a year in structured touch, he transitioned from social touch, um, and this is his first away tournament, I believe. What's your experience so far, Cal? I've been loving it, it's been great fun. Uh, most of all, I'm just trying to dodge the sun as much as I can, you know, it's making me run that bit quicker on the field to try and hit those shady spots, you know, it's been good fun all around. The touch community is very welcoming. Good stuff. He's been playing a really good, uh, good tournament so far. We've got, uh, I think we've got maybe five newer players um, on our team, at least ones who have uh, internationally joined us. And the experience is just good. Yeah, Turnover. For a club like us, uh, it's a great opportunity to build up on that and create some uh, excitement for the, the tournies and yeah. play. And understanding why we play so structured, why we, we work on the corner shot and all this shit. I mean, in the yeah. end, it's to play on the sun and have fun and win. That's mm. it. Watch your language, please, Eric, for those at home. <laughs> Opportunity here. Oh, sniper got him. 
<laughs> he's all right, folks. Finally taking me out of their targets. <laughs> Sorry, it's my French swearing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going quickie. Trent. Trent's going to have a dive. Oh. And lo and behold, he's in. He got him turns, didn't he? He really got him turned. Yeah. Rumour has it that um, Trent also does a bit of ballroom dancing. Um, you a fan? Ballroom. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if it works for Trent, hey, more, you, more you power to him. I mean, I imagine him with uh, a, a 1920 outfit and the moustache. <laughs> and the moustache. I see him yeah. doing this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if Arnaud is here, but um, hopefully he's around for dinner tonight because he's always available to share a good piece of meat. <laughs> Point sport player. Is there, a, is there a bit of backstory to that there, uh, Aidan? Uh, that's all they've given me. All they've given you. <laughs> wow. Folks, you can figure out what that means. Last touch. Spring out wide to Karen. Clearly burning it on the uh, left yeah, side. No, twice. That's, uh, Karen's actually originally from Texas. Oh, inside ball. So she would definitely like to share a piece of meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this oh, big gets. dive, big oh, touch made. made. Touch. Body absolutely on the line. Body's flying left, right and centre here. I'm not sure what and was given there. Fourth touch, I believe. Fifth is coming. Fifth is coming. Here we go. Scooped on. Fifth. Deja vu. Oh, oh sniper. No. Got there as well. Half is looking for a player up in the air. Oh. Ooh. No, that's not. No, I don't oh. know. The ref is oh, right. Oh, here, here we go. Right. The ref is right. The ref is right. If it goes matter. off, I think we're staying yeah, there. I think he's. Anyway. The player is saying they're not played at. Um, but hey, yeah, that's the final whistle. Yeah, what's the score? 9-4, I guess? 9-5. 9-5. 9-5 nine, five. Nine, five. Nine, okay. five to Boy Squad. 9-5. They've got two wins today, this morning, against the two Dutch teams. Yeah, I think the, their score represents how they played today, I feel. Uh, yeah. They're consistent. Very aggressive drives. Speed. Yeah. Thanks, gentlemen. Anyway, it was nice to, to comment with you. And uh, doei doei. <laughs> doei doei. Yeah, doei doei. Fijne dag allemaal. See Cheer you next jongens. time. Tot <laughs> Fijne dag.
and free touch, and I if I will find if I have it here. But not everybody sends. Siguiente, me vas a poner lo siguiente, sí. ¿no? Vale, ok. Estamos en esto. Well, you've now got Eric Williams from uh, Galaxy London on the commentary. I've been roped in uh, for the team. Seems that a few people are shy today, so I'm going to commentate the game now. So we've got the uh, ball coming up the middle. Looks like an over the mark call from the ref against free touch. So SMH Blues are going to get the ball back in the middle of the field. This is pretty much a tap off play for them. So I imagine they've got their attack pod coming on. A ah, nice bit of footwork here. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen Pete Waters do that move a couple of times. Oh. Oh. And unlucky there. It's nice on the open. I uh, went on the open side there. Just a poor execution there with the forward pass. Free touch are going to get the ball back. I may actually try and get another commentator to join me so we can bounce off each other. Maybe get someone else from Galaxy. So we'll get Brassington. I think Ollie Brassington's going to come join me in the commentary box. So he's one of our guest players uh, for Galaxy. I can see the scoop here. Release. Oh, yeah. Nice. Real nice. It's a great scoop on. It's a really nice transition coming on. I'm being joined uh, by two of my guests. I'll introduce them in a second. So just need a, we're going to share the microphone. I think we're sharing a microphone. Is that right? Yep, we are. So I'm going to introduce you. We've got two guest players for Galaxy London that have come away with us this weekend from Nottingham Touch. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Will Lupton. Hello. And also introduce Ollie Brassington. Hey, Ollie. How are we, eh? <laughs> How are you, boys? All right? Yeah, good man. Just enjoying Thanks. the sun. Yeah. Getting a tan. Getting a yeah. tan. <laughs> uh, for all you uh, people uh, that know Ollie, he's, uh, he's probably as ginger as they come. So tanning is slightly difficult for him. Um, but he's a good lad, so that's fine. So here we go. Um, they're setting up in the middle. Probably going to go quickie. Yep, a little feed. He's going to come back, quick step back. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. Nice shot there. What's the ref got? Oh. He's gone, he's gone forward off the rook there. Have you been um, in, impressed with the referees? I mean, we've had some really good games, really tight games. What, what, you know, um, obviously, we're not here to comment about the referees, but I actually think the standard refereeing has been absolutely excellent this weekend. I've enjoyed it. I think it's been a top, top level. Yeah, very good. Very good. It's a really well organised uh, organised comp, so just thanks to Federation of International Touch for organising the European Club Champs. So here we see a turnover in the middle of the field. So what do you think the boys uh, and girls are going to run from here for SMH Blues? Uh, I think they're, they're going to head to the box here. Uh, probably look to take two or three uh, of the box as they transition into the middle. Uh, we're going to look for probably a 30... Oh, it's forward Ooh. off, that is. That is slightly <laughs> forward. There's a low 33 scoop. It's gone. Oh, Did you see it, the winger? Oh, I would look to with a caught there, wouldn't he? <laughs> and in terms of the um, sort of the, the the subbing patterns that we're seeing now, so there's a lot of stuff that's travelling across, uh, sort of from Australia, New Zealand through to Europe. What are the what's the differences you're seeing in the levels that are coming into Europe now from some of that? You know, watching the Australia Touch on TV. You know, watching. You know, what what sort of things are we picking up? What are we getting better at in Europe and, and in the UK? Uh, I think we're seeing uh, a lot more free throw and touch, uh, people playing a bit more heads up instead of just uh, like a, a designated structure, which has been the way in the past. Oh, ball away. Is he in? Yeah, yeah I might just be down. Oh, oh. we're going to come for the referee, the referee just having a little chat. Yeah, VAR comes in. Oh, I'm going to have a special guest. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. <laughs> So, so, oh, there we go. That's half time. And that's lucky because Oscar Healy, who's a Galaxy player, played at NTS for us this year, uh, decided to come over and try and make some noises on the microphone. So, listen, um, uh, currently, uh, free touch are up. Um, so, uh, it's a good half from them. Um, I think they'll be confident going into the into the into the final. Uh, well, into the second half of this semi-final. Um, SMH Blues got a little bit more to go, um, and we'll be back uh, after the halftime break.
And welcome back to the second half of this uh, semi-final in the cup. We've got free touch uh, squirrels um, and they are playing SMH Blues. So two teams from France uh, battling out to play in the final against uh, Galaxy London, who... Uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> um, who uh, beat Toulouse Touch in, uh, in their semi-final earlier, um, which was a, a quite a high-scoring game, 14-12. Um, um, to Galaxy in the end, um, so clearly defence wasn't on show from both teams in that game. Yeah, it was an optional, optional, optional for that game. <laughs> defence was optional. So SMH Blues have, have, have got the tap off, um, so clearly they won the toss uh, and they would have uh, opted for this. Um, for those that don't know, um, obviously the new drop-off rules that came with the Fit 5 rules, it's more advantageous if you win the toss to, if you're in a knockout game, uh, to take the defence on the first tap-off. So for all those teams out there that are coming up an intermediate something for you guys cool so players to look out for in this team um, so uh, number six um, is their star player I would say um, so uh, yeah he, he is the silver fox he definitely is the silver fox I know he's one of uh, Melissa Day's favorite players of all time it's uh, currently 5-4 to um, to free touch and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so Mark Lejeune, um, who's number six, he's uh, one of their one of their star players. You've also got Claire Grease, um, if I can find her number actually. One of the guys will find it for me. Cool. Who's number th number eighty? Okay, um, and she won her first cap for the Euros at 2018 Nottingham. I actually saw her at the uh, at the uh, Touch World Cup in the Women's Open. I think the French women did well. You you played at the uh, the World Cup in Malaysia, didn't you, Will? Yeah, that was uh, that was one hot, sweaty affair. <laughs> yeah, I think the ground the ground temperature at one point was like 50 degrees, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it wasn't kind to uh, to an Englishman coming yeah. from uh, a pretty cold country. Going into that was yeah. well, it wasn't ideal. I I recollect that. I recollect you were playing with a with an old Galaxy player called uh, Shane Scott, and uh, I think didn't he end up um, having to like drop out and go to the hospital at one point because it was just so hot. Oh yeah, uh, there are there are a couple of people who uh, <laughs> struggle with the heat so much that they. Uh... Oh, that's a lovely score there. Straight down the middle. <laughs> so that was a, I think that was an ML straight into the dive. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. A lot of people struggle with the heat. I'm uh, someone here today who is. She's coping apparently today, but Danny, uh, Danny playing for Galaxy really, really struggled out in Malaysia. She was carried off a couple of times, if I if I remember correctly. Blimey, that's pretty that's pretty hectic. Um, so yeah, it was pretty hot out there. I mean, obviously I played for the men's forties, and you know, the, the old guys were sort of struggling a little bit with the heat, to be honest with you. So, but a great venue and a great comp. So here they go. They're playing middle middle. Um, here we go. It's going on in the quickie. Here we go. He's going for a dive. That's a nice bit of D. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to say this, but I think their numbers are quite small on their shirts, aren't they, the, the, the guys here? We've got, I can see 15. It might be my eyesight, though, because I'm old. So, Oh, he's going for a release. He's going to step back. Oh, that's fifth touch. Got to get a half. Oh, hang on. Ref's calling something. Oh, hello. That was quick reaction. Um, yeah, so we got a penalty on a fire up to a girl there. Uh, I assume they're going to run more middle motor plays or a county coming here. To attack the open side, or everyone gets stuck in the rook, but um, it looks looks to be fair play. Uh, we're going for a counties again. Yep. Takes the defender short side. Oh, I touch first. Touch is in. I was actually quite impressed how quickly he got the ball back there. To be honest yeah. with you, there was a lot of momentum there on that. Here he goes again. So yep, a release. Yep. Nice. Second phase. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. It's a ball out. I think the technical term in French is joué. Yes, yeah. Uh, so we've got them driving off it, <laughs> taking take one up, taking two up the middle, uh, looking to serve but get fresh legs on. That's third. The girls driving up. There he goes, the latch. That's fourth. Let's see where they go. Uh, I think a middle, middle scoop here. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh that, is that is that a coach killer? Uh, yeah, taking fifth at... 10 meters inside your own half and giving away a penalty there is pretty, pretty tough. What do they do here? The ra oh, razor, razor. Oh, release. They're going open side. Here they go. Oh, he's free. He's free. He's free. Oh, I mean, technically he's throwing the ball afterwards, so that should be a penalty. Yeah. 
You have to stay close, boys. We've only got one microphone between us. It's a good run in there by the link. It's a good setup. They feed the inside. They love that little wraparound. That's Palermo Will. That's Will. There it is. Yeah. Hard touch. So the girls are really strong for the for the free touch free touch squirrels here. Let's see what they do. Um, they've got to get to the line first. I'll take one. Pick the score, mate. Yeah, I think they gonna run a, a quickie. Uh, we gotta get both middles up. Look for a ninja play. Oh, doesn't he doesn't like the setup? We'll go again. And he should probably run for like a run for a ninja a ninja bounce here. Split the middles. Give it straight back. Oh, that is that is just glorious. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Can you go into more detail? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, I think Mark, Mark, it's Mark Lejeune, so it's a silver fox again. It does, you know, probably you know one of the best, one of the best quickie players I think um, in Europe um, from from the last uh, sort of ten years I reckon. I mean Gareth Revel's pretty good. He's up there, yeah. There's some. I mean he's playing playing exceptional. So here we go again. SMH Blues on the ball. They look like they're going for a set up here. So yep. Oh, they've got some nice skills here, throwing it around, oh. keeping it alive, getting the right setup, right middle. Both these, both these teams seem to be enjoying static plays. Um, here we go, so we're on an open side, open side quickie. A trail play, that is absolutely lovely. I think they've probably copied that from watching us in the game before, if we're honest, but um, they've run it even better, so they'll take it. I think they executed it better, if I'm honest. <laughs> but I mean, it's good, SMH Blues are back in. Let's see what the score is now. So that's six five six all. So yeah, it's all tied up now. All to play for us a tight semi final. So yep, yeah. they'll play that thirty two channel now. Here they go. Get up there. Get that touch. Uh, he looked offside to me, but the rest called it good. So that's good. They're going to go static again, I think. Yep, static to feed Remy. He's going to go. Oh, it's the follow. He's in. It's just in. They repeated the exact, the exact same play. It's looks. I don't think that's him this time. I think he's stood in front of us in the box. That's, that is. Can't quite see the numbers. They are very small. And. What the numbers or? Yeah, the number. Oh, number two. Number two. Uh, yeah, David. Uh, David. Uh, De Gange. That's it. That's it. I think I've pronounced it right. Yep. And he loves a burpee. So he's a burpee lover. <laughs> so we, uh, for all the people that are, lo that are watching at home and listening to this stellar commentary, I must say, um, is that we have a team. We have a team sheet, and each team here submitted um, facts about their team. So um, we see that David, who just scored, is a burpees lover, and he's also a men's thirties bronze medalist in Kuala Lumpur. So, and I remember that game. They beat. Oh, yep, straight out. Lovely score. Wow. So we're going tit for tat here. It could end up being a similar score to Toulouse uh, and Galaxy back to back. Um, yeah, interestingly, I was watching. I actually watched that men's 30s uh, bronze game. So England, England touch men's 30s were playing uh, South Africa. They lost in the last minute and then they actually lost in the last minute against uh, France. Um, and uh, the head coach of that team was Thomas Devereux. Oh. I can tell you that he was not happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we miss Devs. Uh, we love Devs, and uh, I hope he's well in, uh, in in Australia. And he's working with a great team out there, Bankstown. So a uh, big shout out to Devereaux as well. Oh, he's in. Has he made it? Has he made it? Oh, I think we've got an injury. What number is that on the floor? Is that da is that David? I think that's seventy-three. Seventy-three. Is there a What's his number there? Oh, here we go. So they're going static. Yeah, quickie. Yep. Yeah. Step back. Oh, no, she missed it. Oh. And they've just got to stay, you know, those links have got to be so tight, haven't they? And in, in, when you've got a static team, you've just got to compress, right? Yeah, they've got to compress. And then, and then we'd like, you'd like to see the attack then open up and uh, start running some more passes and bouncing out. Like, uh, uh, S, S, what was it? Yeah. So I'm interested to know where number 15 is for free touch. Um, so we'll try and find him on the field. Is it a she? No. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a she. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, excuse me. So number 15 on the field. So I think it's Matilda. Yeah. So Matilda started playing touch in Singapore. 
first cap in 2014 at the Swansea Euro Cup. Wow. France, women, uh, France Women's Open and a sister of uh, Marie Henry. Her favourite... Her favourite phrase, though, is where is the after party? I mean, I think we can answer that. Um, Galaxy certainly have the venue. So um, here we go. That's another score. So again, they're just going tit for tat here. I think we're seven all. Oh, eight all. Wow. Eight all. High scoring game here. Clearly defence is optional in Europe at the moment. So, Oli, tell us a little about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Nottingham. Nottingham. Uh, what, what's that? What else do you want to know? Yeah. Well, what are you, you know, you're university, you're studying? Oh, you're at school, right? I'm in my last year of college. Yeah, just find, finding the time, doing a bit of touch every now and then, yeah. Who would you say is your touch mentor from Nottingham? Touch mentor from Nottingham, I'd go Daddy Dan Powell. It's got to be. Dan Powell, absolute hero. Big shout out at home. What a man. Yeah. I think my favourite player in touch right now currently, Stephen Troy, plays for Old Wesley. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Steve. How you doing, buddy? All right, mate. <laughs> He's just walked past the box. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go. Refs are just conferring on a call. So uh, I, I say number 11 is uh, uh, Olivier. Uh, uh, are now. I know Olivier. He plays in the in the in the France men's 40s. They're actually our nemesis. They they've beaten us twice in finals. So we're uh, trying to get one on them in uh, next uh, next European. Oh, next European championships away. Yeah. Oh, great hands. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh. Oh. I thought they were going to. I thought they were going to second phase there. Here they go. Static again. Release. Yes. There it goes. That's a great score. Yeah, and Mark's, oh, is there a, well, there's quite a serious crash there, so let's see what happens. Never like to see an injury in touch like that. No, is she up? No, she's fine. That's good. That's good. Excellent. And it's a score. Is that, I think that ties it back up. Again. Yeah, that's nine all. It will be nine all. So back to back. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to put my money on static. Uh, yeah. I mean, what we've seen just on the other end is the result of, of all the static players, the defence compressing, which is why which is why the wing is able to, was so open, was able to score there. Yeah. I think uh, I think free touch may need to look to do the same thing. They're trying to get on a doggies. Oh. Just, just too fast. That's a killer. So it's 9 all at the moment. That's going to kill them, if, especially if SMH get a roll on here, maybe a scoop through here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they won't get that penalty again. So that's fourth, fifth coming now. So here they go for the strike. Strike. Oh, it's not a great setup. Oh, yep. Is that over the mark? Yep, over the mark. And it's not a great place to turn the ball over. It's basically given free touch a tap off. Uh, they're going straight to box. So that's Remy just coming off there. So here they go. So that's fifth touch there. Hey, fifth touch. So here they go. Going to reset. See what they're going to do. Going to try and run with it. Run a switch. Oh, it's a lovely switch. Great hands. Great hands. Oh, that was a really lovely late switch. Good from the team. Still tied. What's the time? Uh, I can't see the time on there, Will. Can you let me know? Eight minutes to go. So still a good portion of the half left to go. Oh, hello. That is... Uh, he's gonna, I think he's going to call heavy. He might call heavy. Is that a hard touch? Um, I mean... I'd, he, okay, he's playing a hard touch. I feel the defence is a little hard done by. There's a, should be a oh, so I think... No, he's bringing him forward because I think there was chat. Yep, there was some chat back to the referee. Um, that's uh, Sylvain Charas. He's the uh, head of referees um, and speaks perfect French, so it makes sense that he'd, uh, he'd understand the chat back. Here we go. We, got, we can look to take the lead here. I think he's just wounded over the mark, but the rest let it go. They've got the, uh, got the boy link on a girl out here. We're going to try bring everyone up. 
Down for a 32. He's running long. He's going for. Oh, no, the ref's brought it back. Um, there's a, there's, there is a discussion going on. Forward pass? Forward pass off the rook there. So we've got to tap. This will be one. They look to get some fresh legs on. I hear like, oh, no. Oh, wow. Hello. Really okay, she's not happy, eh? That's, uh, I think that's a universal sign for not happy. <laughs> yeah. It's either throwing your arms in, up in the air like Dan Bigger or Johnny Sexton yeah. or, uh, or throwing the ball down. Or kicking it away like Louis Trees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got another crank line. We're looking... No, not the right side this time. We're looking for a quickie. Oh, yeah. She's got an open side. Front of the winger. Uh, oh, has she made that? If she's made that, that's a great touch. Yeah, it's a great. Oh, no, the rest are giving it. She must have missed. Honest. She must have missed. Yeah. So that's a lovely ball and catch on the way there. So I think for the first time in the game, SMH Blues are actually up. So this is the up by one now. So Free Touch are going to go down there and score. They've always been in a position of actually being drawn against and then going up by one. So it's, they've now got to you know, get two effectively, try and get a stop on the next one back. So let's see what they can do here. It's a strong drive off one. 32 each way. Try and, try and pull the mills apart a little bit, see if they reset. We're going to go open. Oh. I think he's uh, yeah. That one. He, yeah, he's got to try and swipe there, I think, a little bit just to get it. There we go. So he's low. There he goes. He's going to go. And that's the thing, isn't it? When you get a team, when you get a team, when you get a team that has a sort of a star player, when there's, and I'm not saying that in any way that Free Touch have got players that are any lower level. There's obviously clearly a spread of, of talent across their team. But when one player then comes on, maybe a little bit tired, tries to do too much, try and take control, do you think like that's sometimes counterproductive? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think they've got a, they've, they've utilised it and their defence have now adapted to uh, the Silver Fox banging, it, banging a couple of meat pies in this one. So they've got to look to spread the ball out on the open side and use them as a bit more of a diversion. As opposed to the direct threat. I think this is six coming at six turnover. So they've got this stop. They really need to go down the pitch and and score or pin the pin, uh, pin the blues in. But we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll take first. Coming to the box. Second. Yeah, switch it. A nice switch and check off for an extra couple yards. Back inside. Oh this is this is lovely. Gaining gaining an extra 10, 15 metres there, just keeping the ball alive. That's four. And the French are so good at that, aren't they? They just, oh, wow, that is so forward. Where's the ref, eh? Yeah, he's called it. He knows. That's, that's a great call from the ref. I mean, it was forward about two metres, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a bit worried if they didn't pick that one up, but they're on their game. Maybe they're, maybe they're listening. They've got their in paces in. So, so the Blues are in position to win it here. If they go down and score, they get a little buffer with a couple of minutes left. And what do you, you know, because you know, you're playing men's opens, right, for England, okay? So at the sort of elite level, in terms of game management, what do, what do you guys sort of talk about when you talk about game management? What are the sort of things that SMH need to do now to sort of, you know, protect that lead, get ahead, do things? Uh, for, for me here, they've just got to, uh, I mean, it's not a bad set. Even though it was a drop, they've just got to complete their sets and make sure that down the end of the field at the end of them, even if it doesn't result in a score. And then you've just got to, you've got to really work hard and get in the ground here and, Finish off with some strong defense to pin them in, which it looks like they're doing pretty well. This will be second. They're only about 10, 15, 20 meters off the line. So they're going to stay here. Third. If they're going to take fourth foot halfway, that's a really good defensive set for them. Oh, a fly out the back. That's f fifth. So come in. Fifth. It's going to go open. They're all up. Ooh. Maybe I miscounted. That's a miscount. No, that's, that's, that's definitely a miscount. Yeah, because he, he got the extra yards, yeah. and then fourth was that one in the middle. I think the referee associated that because the touch was in the middle, he thought it was the fifth one because that's generally usually where the position is. It's happened to everyone. I've refed before, and like, yeah, I've, I've counted seven, I've counted four. You know, it's just, it's tough. Being a referee is a real tough. You've got to get up and down, make calls. There's a lot of decisions to be made. And then plus that, you've got 12 players that also think they're refs. Yes, there's a, yeah. Yeah. a lot of chatter in this game. <laughs> yeah. And it's a good defensive set for the for the free touch to come down and, and try and equal. So they're taking second and halfway. They need to get a roll on here. This is looking good. If they can keep this momentum going into the line, I think they're in a good spot. Oh, that's a killer there. You just got a got a really hard touch. It's because he leaned. He, uh, well, I thought he bent his back. I thought he bent beat him to the bend. But it, they're saying that he went in with his shoulder a little bit. So I think, yeah. 
He's one of those men's 40s players, a little bit of tiredness coming in maybe. So yeah, we're on the second day in the beaming heat. There's not a lot, oh, I mean, for game management now, both teams just got to look to, to tidy up their mistakes and complete sets. Territory's key, right? So it's just like rugby union. If you win the, if you win the territory, you win, you win the game. Yeah, so I think free, if free touch can go down and at least complete the set and then trap them in, the next, next set is, uh, is key. Let's see what... Shaw gets tangled short oh, side. He should. Oh, I think there should. Oh, he's he's, he's getting. It must have been offside. He must have been offside. That's a good score. I was massively fought off the ruck again, you know. But I think it's tough for the rest to get that. So we're drawing. We're all square. We've also we've also it's a minute to go. Minute we've also been joined last minute by um, Tisha Herald. So Tisha, hey Tisha. Hello. How are you? Uh, good, thank you. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Bit tight, but you know. So Tisha, Tisha's just joined us. Uh, she plays for Galaxy London. She lives in London. Um, but actually, um, interesting fact about Tisha: she she played touch uh, school um, in the Philippines originally. It was in the Philippines, yeah, in the Philippines, in Southeast Asia. Lots of touch gets played out there. Um, but actually, she's uh, got lots of different nationalities. I think you've got a few passports, haven't you? And one of those is French. I do, I do. I have a French mother, so I am uh, I'm half French for my sins. So. Yeah, inter interesting to watch this game, see how my compatriots are doing. They're getting each other's teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> and I, I, I've seen you talking to a few players um, uh, because I think you've spent some time in the French national team camp recently, is that right? That is right, Eric, that is very right. Um, playing with the mixed opens team, so they've, um, they've brought me in. So we're looking to, looking to get our team up to scratch for the Euros next year. It's going to be large. And if you could, uh, if you could uh, send a message uh, to to everyone at home, or send uh, in en français, uh, parler français, oui, 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 uh, oui, oui, okay, uh, en français, uh, uh, message. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's the score. They've won it. They've won it on the buzzer. They've absolutely won it. Oh my God. They've won it on the buzzer. That is incredible. I mean, what an end to a, what an end to a fantastic game. Did you see that couple link up, Nadia and uh, Silver Fox? So that's a couple's try. That is a couple's try. Well done to Nadia and Mark. Congratulations. <laughs> Felicitation. Wow, that is uh, incredible. I mean, that was a huge game by them. They were down as well with their girls out. They had three girls the whole game. Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable. But what's happened there is, is, is clearly... Oh, no, it's a draw. It's a winner. They won. It's by, they won by one. Free touch. Yeah, free touch got the winner. Yeah, 11. Yeah. Ons. Ons. Ons, mon ami. So we're just uh, the cameraman who's doing the graphics. Ask us about the score. Clearly, we're on top. We know what we're doing. So, um, if you could... Uh, so, I think where they lost it there was uh, SMH didn't complete their sets. Um, and they made some mistakes. They got a quickie score. And then again, they, they got a, you know, a turnover. I think if you turn the ball over in your own half, the statistic is it's an 80% chance that the opposition will score on the return. 82.35, right? 82.35. Yeah, that's what I heard. Exactly. Okay, there we go. So well done. So um, if you could sum up this game, um, just sum up that last, last play in French, that would be great for the French uh, viewers here. Okay, so for the French viewers, bah, ce, ce jeu était, était tellement, tellement dur euh, pour tous les, les deux côtés. Euh, mais je pense que là, on a, on a vu une belle, belle, euh, belle journée de touch et puis le jeu a été vraiment, vraiment super serré. Et euh, félicitations à Free Touch parce que c'était une belle, une, belle, une belle finition par Nadia. Merci beaucoup. Tu es très gentil. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Ok, ma français, c'est pas très bien, non Ok, uh, ok. So, um, yeah, so a great game. Well done to Free Touch who will play Galaxy in the final. So we'll see them in uh, about four hours or so, I think. Yeah, about four hours. Um, and uh, stay tuned, everyone, uh, for the rest of the games uh, this afternoon. Thank you.
Bonjour à tous, c'est Bastien et Eben de Toulouse Touch. Bienvenue, bonjour. Voilà pour vous commenter la fin de ce petit match entre les Hurricanes de Paris et Old Wesley. Old des Wesley, Irlandais. donc des Irlandais. Avec pour l'instant, c'est vrai que l'Irlande est devant, mais on compte bien sur les Hurricanes pour redresser la barre et revenir très rapidement. Avec... Euh, coach Ben, il y a 6 à 1 pour Old Wesley, il me semble. Très bien. Ça risque d'être compliqué quand même. Hein. Ils vont quand même faire un effort et aller marquer les essais. Il faut marquer des points avec un bon drive. Voilà, c'est une ligne avec, euh, avec Hugo, euh, le middle de l'équipe de France des, des Menzo. Et, euh, et euh, ça attaque, petit côté. Avec un scoop, oulala, là là, il a traversé. Quel dommage, touché 6. Et on repart du coup sur une remontée de balle de la part des Irlandais. Ça va être lancé. Comment ils nous faire What are they do Premier toucher au milieu, ça part bien pour la Link Fi. La Link Fi qui va prendre le toucher. Ou ça avance bien là. Une belle avancée avec une backdoor et la rentrée des joueurs. Un quatrième toucher qui va être pris par la Link Fi. Et là, ça va attaquer, ça va attaquer très fort. Attention, que vont-ils nous faire Sur le cinquième toucher, un scoop. Ouh, très bonne défense de la part du numéro 15 du Go. De la part du numéro 15 du Hurricane. C'est incroyable défense même, j'ai envie de dire. Et là, il a fait la spéciale, il a bien anticipé, il est remonté très fort pour aller couper l'attaque irlandaise. Incroyable. 
Allez, on repart du coup. Avec un tap-ball au milieu de terrain. Avec un premier touché. Il va y avoir les sub-box. Voilà, changement à la boxe. Allez, ça avance bien. Deuxième touché, troisième touché à venir. Avec une bonne avancée. Pour l'instant, une défense bien en place hein, des Irlandais. Avec un lancement, une attaque. Il reste encore à toucher. Attention, il va falloir faire quelque chose. Quelle attaque Remise oh. intérieure, mais quelle attaque incroyable Fausse back, fausse back, mais très bien joué la remise intérieure. Très bien joué de la part des Hurricanes, vraiment. Avec ce mouvement là, dans le rythme, incroyable. Allez, Quelle précision. 6 à 2, peut-être le début de la remontada. Il creuse comme une taupe en colère. <rire> Merci Denis. <rire> ok, les Irlandais qui jouent la montre. On les aime plus que les Anglais, mais c'est quand même des Irlandais. Hein. Okay, Avec un nouveau regarde. drive. Allez. Avec une avancée de balle. Ah, touché qui a pris au milieu. Le toucher 2. Il a perdu le capet ou comme on dit chez nous. Touché 3 avec pour l'instant rien de... Aucune attaque hein. on voit que pour l'instant avec peut-être un début de backdoor. Oui une backdoor lancée. Attention un changement de direction. Est-ce que ça va couper Oui puis très bonne défense de la part de Hurricanes. Ballon perdu. Ça a bien coupé, bien fermé. C'était un renversement sur une backdoor. Très bien défendu. Allez, un drive côté box. Qu'un premier touche est pris au milieu. Oh, une faute de main, quel dommage. Des armes pour du coup pour ces Irlandais qui vont avoir 6 de plus. Proche de la ligne. Ah, ça va être dur, peut-être dur à défendre ça. Allez, Sébastien avec la cascade qui se remet donc, qui a pris le premier touché. Ça monte. Allez, ça temporise un peu. Bon touché, pris par le Avec une pause des calques, qu'est-ce qui va se passer Ouh, il y a peut-être touché annoncé. Bien défendu, bien fermé. L'arbitre l'a bien vu. Ça repart avec peut-être un troisième touché. Qu'est-ce que ça va faire sur l'attaque Ou une backdoor sur le backdoor sur le link, attention, attention Et c'est encore très bien attaqué de la part des Irlandais. Ce qui fait donc maintenant 7-2 au score. Aïe, 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 7-2 au score. Et voilà, c'est l'inconvénient de reprendre euh, à un toucher, euh, de reprendre plus 6 là, quand on vient d'attaquer, redéfendre, redéfendre à nouveau pour plus 6, à la fin ça marque un point. Et oui, et puis c'est vrai que la journée a été plutôt longue, euh, mon ami. Ah oui un nombre de matchs, ces matchs 2 fois 20, puis la piste est lourde, je veux dire. Euh... Oui, qu'avaient mangé les sangliers, on ne sait pas. Et oui, il y avait du vent, la piste est lourde, les mangliers ont... sangliers ont mangé des cochonneries. Et c'est compliqué, hein. tout ça réuni. Ah, au oh, bel backdoor là. Avec une backdoor, ouh, ça va... Oui. Quelle attaque exté, quel dommage. C'est bien défendu la part des Irlandais quand même, on peut, on peut le dire. Bien fermé, grand côté. Allez, il leur reste peut-être un toucher pour lancer un mouvement. Le toucher est pris. Ouh, ça part en scoop. Ouh, ça traverse, ça traverse très fort. Quel dommage, quel dommage, c'était bien attaqué. Andréa. Mais la défense irlandaise a bien suivi. Ah, C'est les appuis de feu de André là, des fois, ça, ça, ça glisse quand ça, ça, Et oui. ça fume trop. Avait-il mis les bons crampons Vous le serez après une page de pub. <rire> Et de retour au match, euh, tout de suite avec euh, à nouveau la remontée des Irlandais. Ouh, une attaque précision. Ouh, ça va vite, ça va très vite. Ouh, et ça joue sans, ça joue sans toucher. Oh, mais ça n'a pas suivi. Quel dommage. Ça s'appelle l'enflammade, ça. L'enflammade, mais c'est vrai que c'était bien joué. Il y avait beaucoup de vitesse. Allez, on repart pour les Hurricanes. Les Hurricanes qui partent avec un tap ball. Pour les changements côté box. Avec un toucher de la sœur Carlier. Avec un toucher, deuxième toucher. Allez, il faut avancer. Troisième toucher à venir. Très bien. Quatrième toucher. Allez, on va lancer le mouvement. Le mouvement est un peu raté là, il reste encore un toucher, allez il va falloir lancer un mouvement maintenant. Lancer un mouvement, c'est parti Avec une cut, une cut, ouh la cut est partie Avec Hugo, la longue passe, oh quelle passe, quel dommage, quel dommage encore La longue passe qui était vraiment bien jouée de la part de Hugo. Avec le vent de face là, elle retombe à la fin là. Ah là là, mais quel dommage C'est certainement la faute du vent Jean-Louis, non vraiment... Ouais, je pense, je pense que c'est quand même la faute du vent. Là. Ouais, on est bien d'accord. Avec le ballon qui est parti à Watt. De là à dire que les Irlandais gagnent du temps, il n'y a qu'un pas, Jean-Louis. Ah, j'ai envie de dire, je dirais même plus. Il n'y a même que deux pas. Peut-être que l'overstep aurait pu être sifflé, mais ce n'est pas l'avis des arbitres. Donc la remontée de balle continue pour la part des Irlandais. Avec ce troisième touché, une avancée. Avec encore une passe, ou une passe loupée encore une fois. Cela fait deux fois les amis Irlandais. Peut-être qu'ils sentent que le score... Ils ont la, la, assez d'avance pour relâcher un peu le match. C'est le dernier match de la journée. Il faut s'envoyer. Avec une passe, une bonne remontée. Hugo qui sort. Il avance cette balle. 
troisième touché. Allez, troisième touché. Allez, il faut avancer, il faut lancer un mouvement. Quatrième touché. C'est parti. Ouh, très belle passe encore. Très bel essai. Je pense qu'il a calculé la force du vent cette fois. Très bel essai, hein. vraiment. On a pu le voir toute la vitesse avec ce scoop. Oui, avec ce scoop. Scoop, changement d'appui avec une longue passe. Une précision d'orfèvre. Ça fait deux, trois fois que ça marche bien là. Faut se décaler d'un côté et en fait le, le releveur s'en va opposé. Et là, toute la défense est à contre-sens. Peut-être un petit rappel du score, mon ami Jean-Louis David. On est sur un 7 à 3, plus 4 pour les Irlandais. Plus 4 pour les Irlandais, mais quel dommage. Peut-être que les Hurricanes sont un peu passés à côté de leur première mi-temps. C'est dommage parce que là, ils redressent la barre en deuxième mi-temps et ils mènent. Avec une attaque des Irlandais, avec une backdoor, peut-être sur la fille. Avec une backdoor extérieure. Est-ce que ça a bien défendu Ouh, ça va très vite. Ouh, quel dommage. Quel dommage. Effectivement, l'ailière a voulu fermer. Peut-être qu'il a fallu glisser et défendre petit côté. C'était vraiment bien attaqué de la part des Irlandais, rien à dire. Bon, il a bien lu, il a bien lu l'ailière qui est venue remonter. Et là, là l'espace était là. Bon. Allez, petit bleu, faut pas baisser les bras. Faites-nous du spectacle. Faites-nous vibrer. Allez, une belle attaque. Avec de la vitesse, avec du rythme. Faites-nous rêver. Avec une avancée, avec un deuxième touché. Il est affiché 8 à 3, mais je pense qu'il manque un petit point pour les petits bleus. 8 à 4, à vérifier en fin de match. Hein. Avec un mouvement, avec une cut. Une 32. Y a-t-il une redoublée Ouh Que c'est bien joué encore une fois. Oh, quel dommage, le toucher est compté. Pourtant, on a vu un beau step. Belle agilité là quand même, glissade de l'Irlandais, il est capable de se relever, d'aller toucher dans un, 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 un bout de l'ongle là, c'était pas mal. Allez Andréa, faut y aller. J'ai l'impression qu'il n'y a plus de toucher, avec une longue passe, peut-être Et non, c'est très dur, oui. Effectivement, il n'y il avait plus de toucher. On repart sur une montée de balle des Irlandais. Que vont nous faire les Irlandais avec une longue passe Ça va prendre directement à extérieur. Où ça avance Ça joue les 3-2. Premier touché. Deuxième touché, très bonne remontée de balle. Au troisième touché, ils ont dépassé la moitié du terrain. Troisième touché, 4 à venir. Touché 4, 5, beaucoup de vitesse. Avec un scoop. Aïe, 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 ça va très vite. Quel dommage. C'est bien attaqué, vraiment bien attaqué. Quel dommage, c'était bien défendu de la part des Hurricanes. Mais Lélière a pu se démarquer sur ce scoop. Vraiment bien attaqué Jean-Louis. Ouais, je ne sais pas ce que demandent les Hurricanes, ils se sont un peu perdus à parler là dans la défense et donc du coup ils ont permis à l'attaque de, de pouvoir être un temps d'avance sur ce scoop. C'est dommage mais ça va vite, hein. ça va vite, il y a des cannes chez les Irlandais. Très bonne remontée de balle des Irlandais, vraiment, on peut le dire. Ce qui fait donc maintenant 8-4, 9-4, 9-4 soupape. Allez 9-4 soupape, représente. Allez, avec un engagement de la part des Hurricanes. On repart à l'assaut, avec un premier touché. Pris par le Link, qui se décale. Qui va maintenant se décaler à l'intérieur du terrain. Très bien. Avec une passe pour le middle. Middle qui va prendre dans le dos. Attention, touché. Et ça a plongé, ça a plongé. Quel dommage. C'était plutôt bien attaqué. Il avait évité le premier touché, là. Il avait pu aller prendre dans le dos. Mais c'est bien défendu, encore une fois, de la part des Irlandais. Avec une reprise, peut-être une cut. Une cut, attention, il faut redoubler. Oh, directement la longue passe. Oh, quelle passe encore. Oh, quel dommage. Aïe, aïe. Ça, joue pas à ah, ça se joue vraiment pas à grand chose. Encore une fois, je pense que c'est la faute du vent. Ah, On est d'accord. Encore une fois, ce vent là qui ne souffle que dans le mauvais sens en permanence. En permanence, vraiment. On dirait que le vent aujourd'hui n'est pas avec les clubs français. On peut le dire. Allez, il reste 5 minutes dans ce match là. Ça Allez, commence 5 à tirer. Les organismes sont fatigués. Avec une remontée de balle des Irlandais. Touché 3. Ça avance encore. Touché de la part de la ligne qui fait avancer l'équipe. Touché 4, attention, peut-être un scoop en bout de ligne. Non, ça va prendre l'extérieur. Il n'y a plus de toucher, ça joue, c'est bien coupé. C'est très bien coupé, très bien défendu de la part du kill numéro 15. Pour moi, il n'y a pas eu de souci. Voilà, l'arbitre le fait, l'arbitre le dit. Pas de souci à ce niveau-là, c'est très bien défendu. Et ça repart à l'offensive pour le Hurricanes. Avec un premier toucher à venir. Premier toucher pris. Direction la boxe, on voit le shoot, voilà le shoot des Irlandais très bien organisé, on voit, ils montent avec deux joueurs, un nouveau joueur qui revient, très bien organisé, un troisième, il faut faire sauter la pointe, et dommage, on ne fait pas sauter la pointe, on perd un peu du rythme. Quatrième Allez, ça prend le cinquième, cinquième touché je pense, là il n'y a plus de touché, il faut... 
Ou c'est bien joué Ou prise dans l'intervalle Oh très bien défendu, très bien revenu de la part d'Irlandais. Ah effectivement, vous avez raison, il restait un. Effectivement, il restait un touché. Très bien vu de la part de mon collègue. Non, on est d'accord, c'est moi qui avais raison. On est d'accord, on était au dernier touché avec une remontée de balle des Irlandais. On voit que la fatigue commence à se faire un peu sentir, il y a un peu moins de pression sur le... Ah, dans le rock. Un peu moins de pression, un peu de déchets techniques, c'est normal. Ça fait deux jours qu'on joue, ouais. c'est vrai que c'est compliqué. Elle traîne dans le rock comme un cochon dans le maïs, là. Je dirais même plus. Allez. Non, je n'ai rien à ajouter. Oh. <rire> Les remontées de balles. Avec un touché des Irlandais, une remontée de balles. Ah, Encore une touché. fois. Ah, ça s'affole encore un peu les Irlandais là, ils... dès qu'ils sont un peu gênés hein, par la défense là, ils savent plus trop quoi faire. Allez, avec une remontée de balle des Hurricanes, un premier touché. On voit que le shoot des Irlandais est bien en place, avec un deuxième joueur qui fait l'effort de remonter. Touché numéro 3. Ah, là c'est un Irlandais. Que va décider l'arbitre, j'ai l'impression que les arbitres n'ont pas vu ce qui s'est passé. Les joueurs des Hurricanes réclament un dans le ruck, on va voir ce qui va être sifflé. Siffle juste, touché numéro 3, c'est un peu compliqué. Il va falloir avancer, touché numéro 4, ah là là, cette attaque va être compliquée. Il reste plus qu'un touché, il faut avancer, touché 5, ça va se couper. Ah si ça marque là-dessus, ouais c'est un peu compliqué, c'est normal. Ça manquait de vitesse, ça manquait d'avancer. Et ça repart côté irlandais. Les irlandais qui mettent beaucoup de rythme dans ce match quand même sur les remontées. Touché 2, touché 3. Avec un touché 3 pris par la fille côté box. Encore une fille, touché 4, ou qui vient bien. Ou quelle attaque Ou ils le font encore oh. Très bien défendu de la part des Hurricanes, ça fait depuis un moment. Il n'y a plus d'essai côté Irlandais. C'est bien défendu, c'est bien lu côté Hurricanes. Et là, ça s'affole, il leur restait encore de quoi prendre un touché pour pouvoir lancer leur attaque à 7 mètres. Allez, c'est reparti pour les Hurricanes qui n'ont pas pris d'essai depuis, depuis quelques Allez, temps. Allez, attention aux shoots, les shoots sont bien organisés. Voilà, on essaie de faire sauter, mais ah, c'est bien défendu de la part des Irlandais ici. Ça va être dur là, plus 6 à nouveau en fin de match devant sa ligne. Il faut, faut s'accrocher là, même jusqu'au bout. Les Irlandais qui vont du coup envoyer une attaque avec une backdoor côté de fille. Ça change. Rien là-dessus. Touché 2, ça se replace. Là. Le link mec qui se replace. Attention pour l'attaque. Un lancement de backdoor, que vont-ils faire Un changement Avec une remise en T. Ah là là, c'est la spéciale il l'avait réussi également contre Toulouse sur les matchs hier, sur les matchs ce matin, effectivement, avec du coup une fin de backdoor, mais avec la link fille qui vient couper entre le joueur qui fait la backdoor et le middle pour arriver et ouvrir une porte. C'est magnifique, c'est très bien joué, vraiment un beau mouvement de touch, ça fait plaisir à voir. Allez, avec les Rukens à nouveau, à eux aussi de nous montrer qu'ils savent faire des belles attaques. Allez Touché numéro 3. Dernière minute de jeu. Là. Dernière minute. Allez, il faut mettre un essai. Ça fait du bien à la tête. Ça fait du bien au spectateur. C'est parti avec un renversement. Ouh le Avec une longue passe. Ouh, c'est beau Une bonne vitesse, une bonne passe. Un bon timing. Allez, Très bel essai. Ça finit sur du positif, c'est bien. Une bonne défense. Et puis, euh... Très bel essai de la part des Hurricanes, vraiment, qui répondent du tac au tac euh, à l'attaque des Irlandais. Vraiment, celle-ci, elle fait plaisir. Allez, avec peut-être une dernière attaque des Irlandais. Il ne faudrait pas, plan pas prendre celle-ci, celle côté Hurricanes. Une bonne défense. Avec un touché pris par la ligne fille qui va se replacer. Qu'est-ce qu'ils nous font La ligne fille joue au milieu. Qu'est-ce qu'ils vont nous faire Ah, la voilà replacée. Ça y est. Ils ne savent pas trop quoi faire là. Ils font bouger la défense. Touché 1, il n'y a plus de toucher. Un changement et une longue passe. Ah, c'est bien attaqué, vraiment. Encore un bel essai. Bon, ben, il y avait une supériorité sur ce match-là, peut-être plus, plus frais. Et puis, puis bon. C'est vrai que les Irlandais, sur toute la journée, mettaient beaucoup de rythme sur leur remontée, des remontées très propres. Mais les Hurricanes n'ont pas démérité. Un très beau match qui finit sur le score de mon ami Jean-Louis. A priori 11-4 mais peut-être un 11-5 il me semble qu'il y a... Oh, je pense qu'il y a quand même plus d'essais que ça côté Hurricanes. En tout cas merci à tous, merci de nous avoir suivis et place au prochain match. Allez, à bientôt sur Antenne 2.
Good afternoon, everyone. It's me again. I know if you miss me today, so because I heard you might have missed me, I am back here. So this game is the ball final between Barcelona and KPMG, a team Barcelona from Spain and KPMG from Guernsey. And now we see already the Barcelona team uh, scoring off the top. Well done, guys. And of course, there is a sub. So I'm going to be joined here by my best friend. Congratulations. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> I ate a lot, which is fine. So you want to do it together? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you don't have to listen to me anymore. Uh, Barcelona just scored, by the way. And uh, so guys, have fun. You can also talk how it went for the referees today. Cool. So I'm Robin uh, from England, and I have uh, my very fine friend uh, Philippe, or Philou, from France. Yeah, hi guys. And we've got, I think this is KPMG. Yeah, it is, because there's Amre from Guernsey, nearly catching the ball and just dropping against, the ball. Against Barcelona, right? Against, uh, yeah, Barcelona, San Roque. San, no, 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 that's not San Roque. Is that not the same? I thought they were the same. No, that's Valencia. The, oh, don't tell anyone oh, I got that wrong. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell anyone I got that wrong. Yeah. So, uh, looking to sub, uh, oh, that winger's right up there, trying to get a play on. So, oh, a little bit of, little bit of speed up the side here. Yeah, yeah that, that was, um, actually, the move is pretty good, and uh, they're moving up, so that's good. And there we are, pushing through the middle. It's gonna make, he's going to make a touch and going to try and go through. No, he's not slowing down, preparing for the fifth touch. And no, yeah, that's it. They didn't quite see. Well, I think they did well. It looked like they were really struggling for momentum down on their own line. They so were. to get to the other end for six, you know, they've, they've yeah. given KPMG something to work on. Uh, the uh, number six for KPMG is my very good friend Amro from Guernsey. So oh. he's we're on the ball there. Is he single? I don't think he is yeah. single. Oh, that, that is a shame because there was a lot of talk yesterday about people being single or married. Mm, so. Yeah. Um, so oh, KPMG, oh, nice little setup, oh, little yeah, scoop oh, here. Yeah. Scoop there is the overlap. I think oh, he needs to there. give earlier. It's a score. Should be. Oh, oh. no, drop ball. How could she? I hope she's going to get fined for this. I, I, we were talking earlier about the, the ones that are easiest to drop are sometimes the ones where you have time to think yeah. and worry and psych yourself out. Yeah. And maybe it was that for her that she knew it was going to come to her and just panicked a bit. Uh, Philippe, were you, were you a safe handed player when you played? No, I don't think I was. I'm not sure I was. I, I, I'll say no, because if I say yes, I'm going to get remarks right from my teammate. So again, Valencia slightly struggling to get momentum. Paco, the ref there, uh, sorry, it's, it's a little bit blowy and I took my sunglasses off so that I didn't have to uh, squint at the screen like I did yesterday and now I can't see anything at all because there's dust in my eyes. <laughs> Philippe, take charge while I wing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin is having a hard time. There is a lot of wind. Uh, temperature is pretty good. Uh, here we have a touch, I think. Oh yeah, that's it, six touch. No, it's a touch and pass so for some reason the ref didn't let the play go quickly which is a shame we always like to have a good pace here we go kpmg going for the box in go the fresh players going through the middle ah very good defense from there and off they go accelerating trying to go through is it the fifth no fifth coming 
Fifth coming, and he's going to scoop most likely. Yeah, there we go for a scoop, and yeah, he got caught. Probably not the wrong, probably the wrong channel, I would say. I think he had to change his direction, so he's he scooped and headed to the short side, and the defense just came with him. Uh, I want to see I want to see these players step. I want to see him breaking ankles. I want to see him standing other players up. That's what we want. That's what touch is about. That's it, breaking ankles. Yeah. Not actually though. No, no, Me no, no, metaphorically. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. metaphorically. Again, yeah. It's heading towards the box, and I think they just slightly... Oh, someone's on the ground oh, there. Oh, he's oh, hurdled Oh, that was beautiful. That was uh, NFL, oh. NFL style, where you oh, leap over was. the player. That's that would have been... NFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I keep thinking, why don't more people do that in touch? But that, what it seems like, they get a little bit congested when they come this near side. Yeah. And then they push it all the way to the other side, and they find some space. So if you're KPMG, maybe if they defend a little bit more aggressively when the ball goes back out again, they might not give quite so much space up. So are we giving Barcelona's coach advice on how they should play? Uh, I would say for Barcelona, <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing this thing, I think a lot of teams do this, where you know you need to get to your box, but what you should do is like the ball moves towards the box, the players run up the pitch, and what they do is the players run towards the box, and I think it means they struggle to like get momentum forwards. That would be my advice for Barcelona's coach. It's free, I won't charge for that, that's free. Well, that is very generous of you, isn't I'm, it? I'm nothing if not generous. <laughs> uh, KPMG, again, they, they're a nice little setup here. Uh, I mean, they have a good setup. They always get to the other line. Will they score? Oh, no, that's a touch, I think. Yeah, that is a touch. Yeah. Looked from here. Paco making a very clear... Yeah, that touch, six touch. Nice, nice, good work from him. Who, who are our rest? Is it Emmanuel on the near side? So we have Emmanuel Cordy from Belgium. We have... Paco, so Francisco, right? Yeah. Francisco, he's from Spain. Uh, I yeah. Well, I think he's interesting. He is based in Germany, except oh, he's not yeah. right now. He is based back in Spain, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he is uh, Spanish in nationality. And who's the other ref over there? I don't know because the white hat yeah. is oh, is the common. No, I think it's Ian. I think it's Ian Small from... Uh, Ian, Ian Den Small, Den who is Den from Den England, but based in Den Haag. Yeah, Den I think Haag, it is. Den Haag, yeah. Den Haag. Yeah. He's the president of Den Haag. Oh, really good skills on the sideline here. The bucket was blowing oh, towards the Barcelona yeah. player. And she just oh, kind of and like, here we see Nick van der Ref running after the bucket, that, holding onto his hat with the other hand. Such skills. It's that off-the-line speed that serves him so well refing, and it, it did for him there. He, he absolutely got that bucket. The man meant to be carrying the bucket, Eric Planner, uh, walking over now, looking a little bit shamefaced. Should have been keeping hold of that bucket. Bad Clearly. Luck. Yeah. Well, that's a fine. That is. That's a fine. That, yeah. that has to be a fine. Yeah. Ruling, as I'm the r sheriff of the referees that is a fine we somehow no no like, the thing is kpmg has been attacking and not okay were you gonna no. say not scoring i would i be, was i, I was be embarrassed I, I am embarrassed okay but the thing is they weren't playing the overlap no okay so they keep going through the middle and and in the end it scored but it's a would it would i say lucky score off i go for a lucky score i think it's probably well maybe it's not lucky, that is how they want to play, and they've focused, and now they know, and they'll do it again. But I think, based on, like you're saying, the last few times, they've looked really nice coming into line attack, and then they've just not quite executed what they want. Good oh, that's touch. a... that's that's we a went down in installments. No, 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 the thing is, it's a great touch, and that led to a wrong roll ball and in the end no hard touch, hard touch, hard touch. I, think, yeah. I think i think i, think, I, think, I think it was he didn't know bit. well no i think it was a little bit you know a little bit hard ish hard ish and hard ish uh, my uh, my ref coaching from my last game was you've got to you've got to come down more strongly on the hard touches so ian uh, ian showing intent oh dear that poor was that she kind of dived into i think that's that's gar into a into a cone. Into a, no, KPMG. Well, a cone. A cone as well, but the cone won't hurt you. But she also dived into Garth coming up now in blue shorts. It's a shame. It was, it was a good, good, yeah. good opportunity. Oh, here we go. First. Looking to go long Aye. side. The thing is, there's lots of wind, so we can't see many long well, balls. No, and she would have been throwing into the wind, wouldn't she? Right, uh, right to left yeah. is, is into the wind. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing... My little, my little coaching for, for this is oh. if you're if you're going to pick up and go short side, 
go short side harder and faster because she sort of picked up, started running, and then turned short oh, side. A, oh! oh no. no! Roll ball not straight from roll the ball start. Not straight. Maybe a touch before the score as well, even if it had been, but definitely a roll ball not straight. We've got definitely, some, I don't know, yeah. but I saw the referee sign roll ball not straight. You've got to keep those roll balls straight. Well, they changed the rules, as I'm sure you know. Yeah. That it's, yeah, yeah. It's a genuine attempt to keep the roll ball straight, which um, is good because it now means there's a load of room for interpretation. And what players enjoy is when referees have a lot of room for interpretation and we <laughs> we make our own decisions on what we yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. We had a few games, you know, builds up tension. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, when, when players... What I think players enjoy is not quite knowing what we're going to do. That <laughs> air of uncertainty. <laughs> oh, that's a scoop. Oh, that's a scoop. Good, good, good. Very good. Oh, no. Such a shame. Such a shame. I think the wind think is really, really bothering everyone, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and I think also there's a situation where you sort of throw the ball to where you think it should go. Oh, yeah. And there isn't necessarily a player there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's step up one bit so as we can see the game better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All day yesterday, I did two games commentating, and I was standing on the floor, so I can't see what's going on. And there's a step right here. Philly, as ever, a more practical man. <laughs> okay, that's a good, so good start. I mean. Yeah, they too close. The yeah, but look, the there's no, there are no shooters, so why not, right? Or there's well, one shooter, and they eliminate it. I think you gain very little by being an extra few meters nearer your sub box mm. when you're interchanging. You gain very little and you lose a lot. It's a scoop. Oh, it's a scoop. It's a scoop. Uh, he, got, he, got yes. uh, he got yes. caught. Yeah, he got caught. He got caught. Refereeing in sunglasses, uh, Philly, what's your, Philly, what's your policy on this? Looks cool, doesn't it? It, does, it looks very cool. You, you would look even cooler with your blue sunglasses there. <laughs> I, I, I mentioned these yesterday, so I really am pushing the, the brand. I bought one nice pair of sunglasses in my life, and I've intended to keep them. Nice little check back in there. Decent touch on halfway. That was a good defense. Good defense. Yeah, so it's slowed down now, so they need to generate a bit of space. And he's doing it by juggling the ball. Combo! NFL style. Yeah, a little bit of basketball as well. <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of dribbling from Amro. Oh, but wait, wait. Yeah, so many sports in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, not allowed in the sport of touch. You cannot dribble the ball like, like you're playing for the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, what are we looking at? Oh, going the oh, 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 was it a hard touch? I think that's that going to be given as a hard uh, touch. Ian is getting fed up. Yeah. Well, they've, he's given one already, and I think it's very difficult with a hard touch to distinguish between the actions of the defender and the result on the attacker. So when someone goes down on their cool like that, it's very hard not to give a penalty. Do you think that, you know what I mean, when you see someone hurt? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, something happened, right? I agree that something happened. So, so you, you have to make a decision, and yeah. it's an instant decision. Sometimes you look at the video, yeah. and you think, ah... Yeah, maybe it was a wrong call, but... Great oh, Barcelona scored! Score. Nice dive, nice, nice dive from, uh, from Barcelona. I think these teams, they have good rugby skills. They have good passes, some of them are very quick, some of them have a good dive. It's purely about sort of touch, touch stuff that sometimes lets them down. So it was a good dive from the attacker there, nice score. Oh, look, the referee's going to make a pass? Oh, no, no, that's referees are not... That's not allowed, you can't underarm roll the ball, no, sorry, no. No, 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 oh, Paco, Paco, Paco. So you mentioned watching the video, so I think what everyone's wondering is, are you as bad as I am at watching past video of your games and going, I made a bad decision there, or replaying something five times in slow motion, and was that a hard touch? Those oh, fumble things. again! Oh my gosh. Basketball player again. Basketball player again? Yeah. No, I, I, uh, I, I try. When, when we're lucky enough to have a live um, video like now, um, I'm um, always watching my games and seeing mostly if I could have been better positioned, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is that touch and pass? Yeah, it is. Look, Paco running smoothly, smooth whistle. Un un unhurried, unruffled, relax. Completely relaxed. Brilliant. And I love to see it. And the players will feed off that and, and they'll be like, he's relaxed, it's fine. And so and he, gave sign, he gave a sign, he gave a sign to Ian. He gave a sign to Ian, come on, and then Emmanuel went in, came yeah. in. Oh, what yeah. confusion. Right, right time, wrong response. Yeah. So, a uh, little um, quickie play there. Um, Amro, re oh no, it's not no, Amro. Oh, so. he should have gone for the long ball. I, well, although that is the ball into the wind. So it might have been that he knew he wouldn't be able to get it because it is, it is a really stiff breeze from right to left. Mm -hmm. That would have been the pass that your player needed to make. 
So, yeah, I think that probably was, was maybe informed that decision. There's two number sixes, I've just realised. There's a male number six and a female number six for KPMG. Very confusing. How do you call them? Uh, just, uh, mid. You, you know, use something else. Or use the number and then if the wrong one responds, that's their problem. We always encourage teams to just have numbers from 1 to 16. One to, and I, I hasten to stress 1 to 16. The one team in England, uh, I won't name them, um, but they have numbers up to 112 and as a referee it's kind of oh it's a good long ball ah it was it was a scoop scoop good long ball short side maybe he could have gone through right run through yeah or I, I sometimes think also there's a tendency to overcook passes so overthrow too hard on the pass when all you really need to do is hang it up for the winger to take so maybe it's a it's, a, it's a hard job being a winger isn't it oh such a hard job where did you play? i played wing where did you play middle oh no no too much that's too much work <laughs> Well, it, it, it's it's actually hard. It's it's that's where beginners start usually, right? Yeah, which is a shame because there's a very specific skill set to being good at that. But equally, it is a place that you that's can it. put someone new at that's the same it. time. Yeah. So, so some of the most technically strong players we've had in in England recently, you know, one of them's definitely been a wing when I think of them. But equally, it is in other teams. Sometimes it's it's a good place to drop a drop a beginner. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really hard to be an excellent winger. I think yeah, that's a good point. It's it's do, doable to be an okay winger. Uh, it's hard to be a really good winger. Nice little real intent, real intensity through the middle. Mm -hmm. Slow it down, slow it down for them to organise. Shame for the oh, pace. 14 on the oh, sweep. I think he's going to pick it up and go sweep. short side yeah, though. Of course, yeah, of course. We saw it all coming. Oh, oh, she got scared. So I think they were slightly too near on this side to actually have holes yeah. to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. There was a numbers overlap, but there wasn't a space overlap because everyone was so close. This is the issue with touch as opposed to rugby union, a, a trailing arm, a fingertip counts. So you need a big space to aim into. And I think when they, when they had that opportunity there, that space wasn't big enough and there was never going to really be an opportunity. So interesting one here, Barcelona are already on their sideline. I wouldn't want to see them take it nearer their sideline. They are doing it. But if you look at the amount of pressure that they can have put on them, oh, he's gone! Oh, he's gone miles! Oh my God. All right, I've, oh, now I look uh, a fool. Yeah, now there you go, one all, one all, and that's actually pretty good. Going through, come on, run, 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 and he's going through. Last touch, fifth now touch. It's now it's got to be the scoop. Go? Oh no, she didn't make a choice. You see how she went instead of going straight. No, I thought she, she went round, she making was... it easy for the defense. Yeah, and I, well, the first thing you said I thought was key, which is maybe didn't make a choice. So she had Amro. No, she didn't have Amro. I think everyone's Amro. Amro's on the other team. She had a player on her long side, on her open side. Oh, blimey, that's a strong breeze. Oh, she had a, breeze. So where we are, there's a little dust track, and occasionally it just gets whipped up in our face. So she had an opportunity on her open side that I thought might have been a good one, because there might have been a little overlap, but she sort of rejected that and didn't find another one in time. So tricky situation, but... Oh, a nice touch. Oh, from fifth touch, fifth touch. Very oh, good yeah. defense touch. And Oh, no, the overlap is there. Is it a forward pass? Is it? Is he no, happy? happy? Or touch and pass? What is it? What is it? It's good. I think it's good. It's good. It's good. Score from KP. It's a score! Hey! Amazing! 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 Powerful. Uh, that was I think that, um, weird. Barcelona got slightly caught up, I think, defensively. I think they had the numbers to defend that, but I'm not sure if everyone was in the right place. I'll, like um, two defenders on one attack or exactly. something. Exactly. Which I think, funny enough, sometimes when teams play in a way that is technically wrong, it can create opportunities because you defend it in a way based on what you expect and teams are doing something weird instead and then all of a sudden there's an opportunity. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so how is Barcelona? Oh, it's going for a sweep. Going back short side. Oh, that's a score. No? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't see that defender there. Yeah. Okay, so go for a quickie, quickie. Go back inside. Oh, short. oh yes. Lovely. Well, very well done. Very well done. I will say this, by the way. So that little play there, where you uh, you sort of quickie towards the short side, yeah. cut it back in towards yeah. the middle. Yeah. We call that a ninja. What do you a call ninja. that? I, I I don't think we have a name for it. But in Galaxy's team, who will be playing in the final, I think in the game after next. Are you sure they're in the final? Yeah. They won their semi-final. They won their yeah. That would be, usually if you win your semi-final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. But who who's the who who's the? It'll against? be um. Who does the silver fox play for? I was. Is it free uh, touch? Squirrels. Squirrels. Yeah. So it's squirrels versus galaxy. No way. So squirrels beat SMH. Yeah. Squirrels beat SMH. SMH are short on female players. I think so. That might have cost them. I think they. How much? They, how much? What was the score? Squirrels against SMH. 
We have a SMH player just strolling over, so we're just getting a score oh, from him. One, oh, 11 oh, by oh, one, yeah, 11, play, 10. JDL, oh, last yeah. play. Oh, that's just such a shame. I we could have had a drop off. It was dramatic. Yeah, we did. Literally, the last play of the game was a score for for squirrels, and that won them the, the semi final. I think to lose. Well, you tell me, but I think to lose are better than SMH and squirrels. So I think the fact that Galaxy beat to lose in the semi final, that was a good game as well. Okay. Uh, I think the fact that to uh, that, that that Galaxy beat to lose means I think they should win in the final. Yeah, I agree that Galaxy is clearly uh, the favorite team there. Even though, since I'm French, I'm going to cheer for the Squirrels, right? I think I think you should. I would uh, have a few friends in the Galaxy team, but the, the Squirrels team look nice. So I'm not refing the finals. That's fine. I can make my own decisions. And yeah, the thing is, in the French Nationals, the you've got SMH Blues, the Squirrels, Free Touch, and, and uh, Toulouse, when they play each other, it's often just minus one, you know, yeah, minus yeah, yeah. one, plus one, it's really, tight. really, really tight games, right? And uh, so it's always very good games to watch, yeah. good games to ref, good games to play. The so Hooter, the Hooter, Hooter went up. Is it half time? Is it half time? Is it half time? Can you well, tell us, one Guillaume? Of the ones where it's only no. No, 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 20 minutes on the, on this field. Okay, so this is... Oh, what's the score? Can we see the score? 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, it's a tight game. Yeah. Is it result required? I think it is, yeah. I think is it? Only the... Uh, only the bowl, I think, on the, on the other pitch. I think that's the only one that isn't result required. So we might have a drop-off. Now, drop-off rules have changed. Filu, have you refereed a game under the new drop-off rule? Have you refereed a drop-off under the new drop-off rule? I have. How did you find it? Good. Honestly, yeah, there's lots of tension, and I had, so you know how during those two minutes, oh gosh, so, so Robin just started dancing and, and doing a twerking, okay, so they, we have now, it's four against four during two minutes, and actually, I had quite a few scores on both sides during those two minutes, and then it was a draw at the end of the two minutes, oh, we have the Silver Fox legendary, yeah? Yeah, such a shame he's married, and uh, he, and that was very good because then it goes down to three, th three against three, and it was really good. It was really good. Lots of tension, and uh, I can't remember who won in the end, but it was very good. Uh, I think I've, I've enjoyed the new drop off. I think the only problem is so it, what used to be something called right of reply, which was complicated, but made sure every team had an opportunity to attack. The new rules, if you're a bit unlucky, you can lose in the drop-off without ever having possession. Well, two minutes without possession, that's very long. Let me draw you a... Let me take you for a journey on my imagination <laughs> ship. A team tap off, right? I'm, getting, I'm following them. Yeah. First touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, penalty. First touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, score. Now, if those sets of touches took a little while, that might be one minute 30. Then you've got to get back to halfway. You've got to set your team up again. Maybe one minute 45. And then all of a sudden, that team only have 15 seconds to defend. And I will go a step further. I will leave... What is KPMG doing? Do you know? Uh, yes. So this is a ancient Guernsey ritual um, to stop the wind. It's called the end Hi. of the wind. Yeah. Oh, it's the dance of the wind. Yeah, the, no, 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 the opposite of that. Oh. Because you know wind. Oh, okay, you do the so, If so they did the dance of the wind here, yeah. we would be carried away. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's a anti-dance of, anti of the wind. Okay, 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 cool, cool, so, cool, 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 um, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, so th and the, my, I will take you out of my imagination ship yeah, 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 yeah. and into my real world, my Jeep of the real world, yeah. and say that, in Australia, that has already happened, we've been told, that there's been a team have lost a drop-off without possession. But everything happens in Australia. They have massive spiders. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So we're back in the game, most likely soon. I don't know what Tournament Control is doing. Just enjoying the music, I guess. So this is going to be a very tight game, actually. I, I thought KPNG was, was um, in front, but actually they're not. So, and we have some, uh, they're equally squealed, I'd, I'd say. I think it, it's interesting, we have this a lot. Um, so there is a Portuguese team called Agraria yeah. here, and we are so conditioned to think that the teams that do touch things well are the good teams, and Agraria do none of them, 
but then they will they have good skills they have good speed they have a good dive and they will score and they will be winning games but I'm I'm still on the sideline going oh they're playing terribly so I think we need to I think adapt sometimes and recognize that yeah, yeah, the, I uh, agree yeah, yeah I agree yeah yeah that's I fully agree okay so oh that's it music stops so we're gonna go Seriously, KPMG so keep KPMG is tapping second half so should there be a drop-off they'll be, be the one they'll yeah. be the one to have possession yeah. I've had all kinds of tactics from captains you know thinking oh should I take first should I take second I had no idea so if you take second you get the tap off after half time and you get the tap off in the drop off yeah I think defense is going to be slightly more tired in the second half so I think that tap off is better um, and you get the second one as well I've no idea why any captain would tap off at the start what bragging, bragging, like, saying, oh, uh, yeah, like flex. saying, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, saying, yeah. saying, look, I won't need this yeah, drop off, yeah. okay? I won't need this, yeah. this, so that's no problem. Well, we had a, a player who it turned out not to be from the team playing walk onto the pitch yesterday wearing a backpack, and I was thinking that could be a sort of extra difficulty thing if you have like a weighted <laughs> backpack and you play in that. <laughs> yeah, that. That's an idea. It would be dangerous though, okay? KPMG on for their set, their set of six. That's a three. Three, quickie, quickie. No, 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 no. I think he came back. Yeah, came back to the line. We can't really see the lines from where we are, right? No. So we just have to rely on what the referee says or shows. So this is, I think it's going to be four, five, five. That's the fifth touch. No, still not. Is it not? I think it is. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Six. Six yeah, yeah, that's it. So. Yeah. yeah, what did you think? I thought that for a tap off set, I think they, I wanted a little bit more intent from KPMG, a little bit more clarity of purpose. They want, you know, do they know what they're doing? I'm I, sure. I think they knew what they were doing. The thing yeah. is, they, they went, just went through the middle. They didn't even use the width. Like, no. okay, so that's a shame. You didn't try to move the defense. And I think you don't need to score wide to get a benefit from throwing the ball wide. Again, I would, I would pay money for Barcelona to sub off slightly less near their box. I think it would open up opportunities yeah, for them. That was not straight. Oh, that was no, not yeah. Square, square. Not square. And, uh, the, my favorite hand signal as well, and we're seeing Ian do this, it's a very disco move. So it's, it's the hands up over your head and then the hands up off to one side over your head. It's a, it's a, great, um, it's a great move. It's an enjoyable refereeing move. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite move. Your favorite refereeing hand signal. I think, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, do it very often. It's mm -hmm. touch and pass. Easy. Right, very yeah. easy. It, yeah. Easy to remember as well. Easy to remember, easy to do in a very smooth way, yeah. right? Okay. And then the, the one you like the least is? Oh, the one I like the least. The one I like the least... You know, okay, so KPMG up on the line again. It's kicked out. I think they dumped too close to the line clearly, there. Clearly, yeah. clearly too close. So, so if you're going to do that, if you're going to take that phase option, you need to make sure that wherever you're throwing the ball, there's no defenders because they'll have such little time to play. So Ian there just getting himself off as, as a referee and uh, Emmanuel coming on. They, they, they have such... My, oh, I, mm, I was thinking about this. Maybe you're out on the side because you just wave an arm over your head and it can look like you're not doing much at all. Oh, no, actually, no, I know what it was. It's shouldering. I had to do it at the Autumn Internationals and it looked like I was having a stroke. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's drop ball because really? that... Oh, drop ball because, because you look like you're, you're going to... You're trying to fly, yeah. you know? Phil, uh, Phil Holiday has a lovely drop ball because he looks like he's about to dive into the water. It, he starts it's higher and sort of goes forwards instead of down. So he looks like he's practicing a dive. Oh, really? I like. I like Look, that. well, we'll see. We should be able to see Phil Holiday because he got the final. Yeah, we'll see him in the final, and I'm sure there'll be a drop ball in the final. Well, I'll put money on it. Five euro drop ball in the final. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll take you on to that. Well, that that's a giveaway, isn't it? Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forty minute go. So no, 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 no. Wait, wait. I I I, uh, I drop ball when Phil has to do has okay, to do. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah I'm still fine. confident. Um, KPMG again. Look, they look much more organized. Um, I need to stop giving credit to Amro, but I do think he's a really good player. Um, and I think he's giving them a bit of structure and a bit of purpose. And you see him there, he's sort of talking to his team, saying who's going up, who's making touches, asking if he's on side. He's up here now making the touch, shepherding that player wide. That's good. If you can get up and not make a touch and you've not made any effort, yeah. that's very good. Make your teammates yeah. work. Yeah. Make your teammates work. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Oh, that's a good move. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that, I thought that was going to work. Uh, he's like, yeah, an impact player, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think... Oh, so touch and pass there in the build-up. Oh, so I think that was why. Because I was wondering, it did look like it came off a... Uh, 
KPMG hand, so there might be six more. None in this half, no. still 3-3. That's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to a drop-off. Yep, I think, have we got coaches on this pitch? Because Yeah, we've got Yeah, we do, we do. We've got Seb. Hi, Seb. I hope you're, if you're listening. Oh, we've got two coaches. Oh, very lucky them. Ifa, yeah, who came, um, yeah, from Ireland. Yeah, very, um... She's learning. She's a learning coach, is she not? Yeah. How, what le I can't remember her uh, level. I think, I think she's going either from one... She's going from one to two, I think, today. Or maybe two to three. Yeah, maybe. Um, but we've got um, very few because of the rules of... Oh, oh, a score! A score! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I missed it. A dive. A dive. Oh, um, nice. So, so, so KPMG... Taking the lead, plus one. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. This is a good game. So, this, I, I quite, I'm, I'm quite enjoying, I'm this, enjoying game. this game. So Barcelona on the tap off set now. Barcelona an, an opportunity to take control of the game or, or, or regain parity in the game. And they, they look, they're preparing something. They've got a move. They've got their special move. Let's There's see how it is. Okay, off we go. Yeah, in front of the link. Classic. Going okay, through the nice. middle. So it's a 32 dump. It looks like another That's 32. Yeah, Although, yeah. Playing with the link. There, what yeah. are they doing? Oh, oh, she's half. She's half. Go in, go oh my in. gosh, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Score line. Oh, that's uh, good. That was a sweeper. Oh, oh, he should have gone short side. I think he should have gone short side. I think they may have dumped slightly too before the line. There's a little conversation about the line there. You can see Ian making a little... The university recognized hand signal for here is the line. So <laughs> may, maybe they thought... Uh, that player was offside, but he wasn't. I'm not sure. I so nice there, setting forward, up. Move forward, move forward. Now, what we move always on. say, oh my God. what we always say you want is. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. nice, good defence. They tried to do the same move. Oh, and a penalty that, though. That, that, offside. Yeah, well, of course, well, yeah. No, they're not moving forward, right? So is it offside yeah. or not moving forward? Both well, actually, this is a good point. So an offside is a, a hand moving backwards, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you've got to move the hand forwards yeah, again because yeah, it's on your arm. Yeah, yeah. And not moving forwards is in arm moving forwards. I sometimes find it hard to oh, distinguish. Man. Nah, that they was just threw it away. They had six touches. They had six touches. Oh, how many oh. times are we going to have to say this? Oh, not moving forward this time. Oh, like, that's so, just... Two penalties. Ooh. On the third penalty, what we happened? enter the five meter exclusion zone. Uh, yeah, seven meter exclusion no, zone. Seven actually, meter exclusion zone. Has it change for no for this if for this. if there's a third penalty a kpmg player will go in in a box down their end of the pitch but he's happy oh, so oh, oh, oh and lost his, his i lost his hat oh no to worry about. Leave oh, my, i leave think that. i think he's worried about the hat no you got you got to leave these things behind you can't oh, oh again an ninja and again a score how really many nice. times is that going to score no, no this was my prediction so the final the final it. no 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 because I, oh, I didn't finish making it okay the final is Galaxy um, Squirrels. Yeah. And I think a big factor is going to be how well Squirrels cover for Galaxy running that move. Yeah. Because what they like to do, Louis Treyas, very dangerous player, steppy yeah. player. Yeah, 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 yeah. He will receive a quickie, go short side, cut back in, uh, or just commit his player short side and gives it back to number 50, Oscar. Don't know his last name. They must have scored three easily doing that against Toulouse. So that's the test for the final. Now, good move, yep. Yeah, oh, they lost the momentum. Oh, no, he's managed to step away and he's got enough pace. I think that might be down. No, no a touch first. Uh, he lost that momentum, right? And the defense had time to not yeah. reset, but change change the move from, from one side to the other. It's it's so rare uh, that one player will beat another in a foot race to the it line. Is, because is. they've got to sort of go the long way around. They've got to both go oh, out. Uh, oh, set of six, oh set yeah. Six. But that not a penalty, just a... No, no, no. Just, just a, a yeah. penalty. Just, uh, just a regular plus six. Okay, off we go. There he's just, you know, making touches to make the defense work. Yeah. Okay, off we go. So what's he doing? Okay, he just wants them to get tired, I guess. Okay, uh, that's a quick hit. If he goes, no choice really made. Thing is, he didn't even try to go short side, nor on the other side. So I don't know. Hesitating. No good hesitating. No hesitation. Off we go for a quick hit again. Looks like it. Yeah, quick hit. There he goes. This time, short side. Yeah, oh, that was actually a very tight, short, tight pass for the link, short side, on a quickie, very little chance of that working. Yeah, but I'm happier to see them try stuff, as, as all of a sudden their coach, I'm happier for them to try stuff than just to be confused. <laughs> I think the, the, there's a lot of mids talking to mids, which is always a sign that you're not organised. You want mids talking to links is good, 
uh, telling them where they want to be for the setup. Mids talking to mids means you're struggling a little bit. And I, and, uh, I think Valen uh, Valencia, Barcelona yeah, have Barcelona. been limited to a lot of uh, mid mid play. No, they've done sweepers. Oh, oh, is that gonna no, 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 no. Uh, just too, too, too far away. Too far. Away. Right decision, but too far away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. Not what I've seen from Barcelona. I've seen, I've seen quickies. I've seen sweepers. Yeah. Right, but yep. I haven't seen any sweepers from KPMG. I think. No, you're right. No, you're right. And, and to be fair, you're, you're absolutely fair. Yeah, so Barcelona have done some sweepers and some sweeper pickups where you sort of go the other way. So, no, no, that's fair. That's That's been good. Okay, so, but in the end, KPMG is one. one, still one, one. Yeah, it's top, still up by one. So, off we go. There we go. Momentum. No. Keep the momentum. No, no, it's 4-4. Four, four. Four, is four. it? Yeah. When did they score? Yeah, the penalty's down here. Oh yeah, she, they did. Also, oh, it's back again. Okay. Well, back to the back, back to the tap off. Uh, back to the drop off. Drop off situation. Yeah. Ooh, drop off scenario. Ah uh, yeah, and both teams do look tired. Is it the last game of the day? For them, it must be. I if it is a drop off, I'm going to have to leave because I'm refing in the next game. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just do the commenting. You, will you be all right without me? Uh, it will be less savory, less yeah, you yeah. know spicy. I don't know. That's going to something. Myself, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, that's a forward pass. It's got to be a forward pass. Even though sometimes, you know how it is, players like to complain about forward passes. <sighs> there's, there's, a, there's a video that's really useful. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I see that video. The guy's running. Yeah, the guy's yeah. running. So basically, if everyone you're... Should see everyone should be forced. It should be like... Every, every player, welcome to touch. Sit down, watch this video. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That would be it. So what happens in that is... If, if it's two players on a pitch with loads and loads of marked lines sprinting forwards and one passes to another and, it, and you look, you say that pass is fine. But then with the lines, you see that pass has gone forward. So if your momentum is forwards and you pass flat, the ball will go forwards. What we as refs should be looking for is were you throwing it forwards out of your hands? Were you, exactly. were you putting forward movement on the ball or was your momentum doing it? So players love to complain. Oh, hello, interesting situation here. So. You had a, a Barcelona player, I think, thought he was on side, tried to make a touch and actually tried to grab the ball off the KPMG player, which we don't really want to see. Be nice to each other, fellas. Nice. And it is always the fellas. It is. It is always the fellas. Yeah. It, calm down. It is always nice to have a good game. Everybody respecting each other. Uh, smile on the faces. Uh, there we go. Still very close to the sub box, but that doesn't really matter because they don't shoot. I don't see KPMG shooters. Oh, there we go. This is the scoop. Oh, this is... A, no. Ah, they lost. Ah, on there if you just maintain. That's it. Uh, keep the control, momentum. He could have dumped the ball, yeah. split to the short side, yeah. and it would have been a two-on-one with a yeah. winger. Yeah. But instead, he sort of forced it. He yeah. thought maybe I can ah. just. You know. Oh, nice hands. Nice hands. Oh, again. But oh again. no. Yeah, but no, they not nice enough. Uh, not nice enough. He almost threw the ball to the ground. So yeah, be nice again. Give you. So the the rule uh, V five now says that you have to put the ball. On it the says mark. put the ball on the mark. There's not there's nothing in the on there about throwing it back to another player, but no. I think we all as referees yeah, understand. That's, it, that's, that's it, fine. Yeah. But it that's used to be written. It used to be written. It used to be written, to, be written to, to give it back. It, yeah. But then you had Oh, he's oh, oh, it's gone. going through. Oh casual. casual. Number zero. Yeah. Very good. Good work from number zero. Mm. Oh plus one again. Oh, how much time is there left? So is Can that, you see? Is that, um, KPMG by one? Yeah. Yeah, KP and G by one. Uh, how, what's, how much time is left? Uh, about eight minutes. Okay, plenty of time to score for Barcelona. No need to panic. Uh, the, it would be good if we had a scenario like just like the Squirrels, you know, scoring at the very last second. Hooter goes off. Oh, the very last second to take it to a drop off. That's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's savory. That's, that's flavor right. country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice oh, little. Oh, no, it nice. is short side. Look, there's no overlap. There's no yeah. need and making no that touch. Well. There's no space. <sighs> I don't know. I, I I really encourage every coach to do some video work with their team. I know. Yeah. Uh, um, my my fellow referee Stephanie Hero, the lovely yeah, Stephanie yeah, Hero, yeah, came yeah. over to remind me that I am refereeing next. And uh, we can con congratulate Stephanie. She uh, she actually. Uh, Made a good uh, a good session yesterday because now what what are you refing next game? We're on third fourth. It's Toulouse versus SMH. Oh, third fourth of the cup. But I, I, would you say this might be a, a French championship game? Could be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will I will bring my A game. 
I'm so, gonna hide because Sylvan's walking past. So, so, um, um, uh, Stephanie, you want to say a few words? Are you really worried about this uh, next game? Sorry? Are you worried about this next game? No, I'm confident. I have uh, two very good refs with me. Yeah. So, I'm so very who are you refing with? Sylvain and Rob. Oh, yeah. So you're very well. Uh, you have very good teammates. And on that note, I should leave and get ready for that game. Yeah, so. because you've just had Sylvain telling you, okay, we should go now, right? Just stop fooling around. Yeah, okay. Cheers, Robin. Okay, and that's it. KPMG by plus two. Okay, okay. So so here I am alone. This is a uh, six, uh, six four KPMG up by two. Uh, there isn't much time, only like 5 minutes 30 left, um, so it's actually, and see, they're not stalling a bit for time, but it's alright, okay, here we go, is that a good wall ball? Yeah, yeah, that looked, so, okay, so this is a hard touch from the attacker, who just went in, not even looking, with his head down, and, um, and that's um, that's actually quite dangerous. So you don't see that too often. I think I think yeah, that was the right call there. Uh, the the defender made the effort of bouncing off, and um, yeah, that's good. Okay, Barcelona. They need to score. They need to score. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the classic move. Classic move. They keep doing the same move on and on. So if I'm KPMG coach, I'd be telling them to really keep it, keep it. You know really um, uh, tight in the middle. Okay, so I'm joined here. So, hi. Hi, I'm Elsa from Six Elsa. Pack in Edinburgh. Yeah. Who are we commentating on here? W then? Welcome, so we have KPMG against Barcelona. Oh, okay. KPMG is up by two, and it's a score. Oh, I think it's a score. Is it a yeah. score? Ooh. It looks yeah. like a score. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good score. Very good Long score. Long ball to the winger, diving into Yeah, score. very good job. So it's actually one of the first scores I see from the winger. Uh, right. Because because Barcelona has been doing a lot of quickies. Okay. And and that's a shame. You always, I mean, you as a winger for the six pack. Yeah. You I, always, I like a good long ball. Well, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone does. Everyone yeah. does. And it's always very spectacular. Yeah. So work on that, middles. Work on your passing skills. Yeah, definitely. Good long balls. We don't have much time left. Wait, wait, let me check. Ooh, three minutes thirty, and Barcelona is done down by one. Ooh, and close game. This, this is a result required, so we should be seeing a. Hopefully, we'll see a drop off. We've yeah. been talking about it with Robin that we won't drop off. Yeah, we like a drop off. And Peter Fassen isn't even here. No. If Peter Fassen was here, there would be a drop off. For sure, for sure. Big shout out to Peter. Yeah, hi Peter. I hope you're watching this. Maybe you're playing board games. Probably. And, yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think everyone's really tired. Barcelona has an opportunity to, to make it even. Uh, off we go. This is go, good, go, the momentum. Go. Don't keep don't lose the momentum. Oh, he was that? listening. That was an no, awesome no way, pass. No way, no way. Does, does that work? Did that work? No, no, oh, no, no. no. It's a great pass, touch. though. Great yeah, pass yeah, yeah. to the wing there. But there were no more touches left. No touches, but good effort. So how did your game go? Did, did your day go? Yeah, our day went pretty good. Are you we, finished? Are you yeah, done? we're finished now. Okay, yeah. so what did, how did Six Pack do? We came seven. Yeah, yeah we, we just beat uh, Berlin in yeah. the seventh, eighth playoff. We lost to the old Wesley, the Irish, who we're sharing a tent with, so we don't mind that so much. Okay. Um, but it was a good game. We enjoyed it. Yeah, we've had a really good tournament. Yeah. Yeah, I think the atmosphere is very good. Very yeah. good. That last game, I refed it, was very good. Yeah, and you refed really well, Philippe. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, David too. David, you did a good job too. Yeah, David did a good job. Yeah, 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 I like, I like, yeah. I think oh. Hugo, 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 you want, you, you're, you're waiting for the next commentary, yeah? Uh, I think I'll go for the final. Oh, I want to go for the final too. <laughs> With Rob. Dream team on the commentary. So this uh, is Barcelona driving up the wing here. So. Oh, Running out of time. They, they, they avoided KPMG scoring. Oh yeah, no drop ball, oh drop dear. ball, drop ball. Lost the control there. There is. The, the, maybe the touch was a bit hard. Mm, there have been a lot of hard touches going on. Yeah, but <laughs> they are. Yeah, maybe yeah. not in this game, but certainly in some of our games. On the whole. Yeah. On the whole. Yeah. yeah but it, 
It's consistent. Did yeah. you feel it was consistent? Yeah, reasonably. Reasonably, okay. Well, yeah, KPMG good pass off should there. Be using their six touches because they should know that they, there's not much time. Good switch ball there. Yeah, Coming into good. the middles. Yeah. Off you go. Zero. Oh, he, oh yeah. he's fast that oh, guy. Why score? Oh, that's, oh, that's it. Score. And that's it. Over. Beautiful score on the wing. Yeah, very nice. Guernsey. Went through. Zero yeah. key player there on uh, Yeah, he's on South Tape African Engine. guy. He Is apparently he? has been doing a lot of coaching and they've all like really come together under his tutelage. Oh. So there. Well, there, that's it. I think now uh, KPMG has secured the win. I don't see how Barcelona can score during the next 25 seconds. No. I'd Twice. That would be, no, that would be that would pretty be difficult. A dream, 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 dream scenario. scenario. Yeah, mm. but uh, seeing how things are going. Anyway. They're probably going to go for a quickie. Snap back in. Ooh. Yeah, that's Ooh, nearly. That's, that's what... That's, That's what, what they've, they've been, been doing, doing. yeah. The whole game. It. Okay, it. So, so they're reading that really well. The defense. I, I, now. I feel well. They, they, it did score because at some point defense is tied, right? Oh, oh, oh! Going oh, through. Oh, oh fantastic! Score. Oh, and that's a score, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a score. So one down. Very, uh, one down. Such a shame. So we'll check the but, score. But they're looking really happy. Wait, look, because is it a drop off? Oh. Oh. Oh, so we missed the score. We missed the score. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is this, this is the dream scenario we were talking about. It was Rob was like, oh, if if Barcelona scores on the Hooter and this leads to a drop off, fantastic! Oh, Rob would be so happy. We're gonna talk through what a drop off is like now. No, no, we talked about it beforehand. Yeah, yeah, we've done that. So we're we're off for two minutes now, for sure. So two minutes. Four v four for two minutes. Yeah. That's it. Now we go for two minutes. So I think if it's seven seven, because otherwise people won't understand. Wait one sec. It's uh seven seven oh. seven. Or six six, whatever, right? Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Okay. This is exciting. So. I think. I think. I. Uh. uh no, no. Okay, there's a confusion because th I think the referees didn't revise the rules of how many men they're allowed, how many men and how many women, right? They're allowed, so it's minimum one man and maximum three. I thought we were down to four, though. Is it? Or oh, maximum yeah. two? Well, oh, so confusing, right? So for me, there's no problem. I don't know what. Okay, so number six there from KPMG is obviously angry about the confusion. So Barcelona has three women. Okay, off we go. Two minutes. They've got. Oh, this is exciting. Drop off. So, what, so one team has got three women, one. Yeah, it's guy, weird. And one yeah, team I, has I, got I, two I, men, I, two women. I have a feeling. I have a feeling there's a confusion there. Yeah. Okay, so what are they going to do? Usually spectacular. He's got the oh he's Ooh. gonna go for it alone oh, no, it's a dive and it's a score Okay, so that's one nil. Yeah, one nil. Okay. Okay, Ooh. but 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 Barcelona has more than one should have more than one opportunity to score. What are they complaining about? Because the guy threw the ball very far away. Oh, that is not wasting. right. Oh, oh, oh nice pass from the ref. Ball. No, that never works. <laughs> that <laughs> never works. Oh, the, refs, <laughs> the, refs, the refs should not make passes. Okay, Paco, um, look look at what you did. Look oh, at what dear. you did. Oh, come on. Paco, so he threw it from the middle. Really? And because there's so much wind. Yeah. So really, they should stop the clock for that, I feel. Yeah, I hope I hope they do. On the that is very team. the referee. I, he's I hope I'm sure he's gonna get fined for that. I hope so. Oh yeah, Big come fine. on. Oh, another, another pass from a referee. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. I would have. The thing is, you can't stop time for those kind so of things, you know. Touch. First and second. second, most likely going for a quickie. Up and going back inside. Yeah, Ooh. let's say classical. Oh. Score given. One score given. Game on. Game Exciting. on. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, it is. It well is. Well done, Barcelona. Yeah. The thing is now, because it's only five against five, so the defense four looks a bit. Four against four. No, four against four. Sorry. So the defense is more spread out, right? Yeah. So, so, so that's why that quickie. Right? It is. 
That's why that quickie is working so well now, and it didn't work so well. I did score quite a few, but it didn't work so well for them yeah, on the on the whole, right? Mm. But there, the thing is, that's where you get an advantage. We we're talking about it was Rob. It's always good as a captain to get on a result required game to get that second. Was that forward or not? No, 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 no. That's a score. So two one now, and not two very one. much time remaining. Okay, and look, the ball is going to go again. Ah, uh, that is so unfair. Probably yeah, they're very unhappy, I'm sure. It's very... It, it's so unfair. Yeah, that's it. No, no, 9-8. 9-8 for KPMG. They scored. At the very last minute. Ah, oh, it's a tough scenario. Thanks to Paco, who threw the ball. Yeah. 30 meters. 30 meters away yeah I think that was a shame I'm, I'm a bit I feel a bit bad for yeah, Barcelona. I think we should have added a bit of time on there for that well I, the rules say well, that I you know. don't I know but right. in this scenario yeah it was the referees fault. yeah yeah <laughs> well congratulations to KPMG yeah. winning that game I look love. they look very happy yeah they look very happy yeah. the whole I think yeah, look, Barcelona is disappointed, understandably. Yeah. Understandably. I hope the scorekeeper, Eric here, Eric Plana, hi Eric, if you're listening to this, I hope you did a good job and that it was an actual drop-off because that's not the score we had here, but it's actually always, since we're talking nonsense, yeah, lot of, it's lots hard of time. To know yeah, that's it. So he's supposed to be focused on this. So I don't know what the next game is. Who do we have getting ready? Brianza. Yeah, Brianza. Who's over there? What's the German team over there? Team? Hey? Is it a German team? Uh. There's a German flag on the thing. It is. No, 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 no. It's been there since this morning. The Belgian, uh, Belgian oh, it's flag. Belgian. It's Belgian flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the. Is that the Boites or? I don't know their name. I have no clue. Well, oh, he, well, he Boisfort. Knows. Could it be Boisfort? That's it. Yes. Is it Boisfort? We'll see. I'll recognize their jersey because so I got the story about the jersey. Did you see okay, their jersey? It's got a stag on it. So yeah? it's got the, no 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 no. Does it have a stag? Maybe. And they get this sculpture. They get they have a forest. So their pitch is in the middle of a forest. Okay. Okay. And there's a roundabout to get to the pitch. And in the middle of the roundabout, there's a there's this sculpture, which they must think looks good, because they put it on their jersey. Okay. That's how you recognize Boisfort. So, yeah, so, yeah. that's how. So they, how they're, they're obviously in the French-speaking part of Belgium. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we didn't know where they were from originally. Oh, uh, Brianza is so, getting ready. Yeah, so we played Brianza in the pool games, yeah. and they're a pretty good team. It was pretty close. Uh, so they have one of the ladies that used to be used to play for squirrels number four yeah yeah um, she's known she's known cecile cecile yeah, yeah. so she's a Hi, very cecile. good player but i think somebody told me her partner plays for Brianza as well so i i think so oh and we have arno hi arno hi arno say hi yeah hi arno so he's wearing a bonnet now so cold because yeah. he has got no hair uh, okay good idea gotta I keep that heat in in fact a couple of them are wearing them Oh, we have dancing moves there. Bars oh, you can't see on the camera. Brianza players dancing away. Who do we have? So is it Boisfort? Yes, it is yeah. Boisfort. It is. Oh, so this should be actually a pretty good game. Yeah, I think it will be. Yeah, yeah, because we played them as well. So yeah, yeah I think it yeah. should be pretty close. Pretty close uh, game. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm a bit worried about um, a Brianza if they're going to hold out 40 minutes. Really? Why is that? Well, Arno, first of all, is old, and he did say yesterday that he was tired. So that doesn't, you know. And I don't think there are that got, many of them. But they've got 14 players, it looks like. I've just counted. It looks like about 14. Maybe. So no need to, to be worried. Hopefully not. Everybody says they're tired, but you'll always find that extra little bit, bit of gas when, when it's needed, I think. And as long as they don't get blown away in the gale force wind, I think we'll be good. I wouldn't like to be running against that wind right now, I must no, say. No, no. So I think it's the f the final of the plate. Okay. 
Oh well, this will be exciting. That's my guess because I can see the refs. So who've we got refing? We've got Lois from England. We've got Lois from England. We've, we've got, got Ju. Ju. Yeah. And we've got Vincent from France as well. Yeah. And they're all really good referees. I yeah. Think. No, 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 no. Vincent is from oh. Vincent is from Belgium. Oh, is he from Belgium? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, so we've got a variety of refs. Yeah. I hope they have a good game. I hope everyone actually has a good game. We've been saying with Rob that um, we encourage everyone to be kind to each other. Yes, that's very important. Very important indeed. And I think Vansai, he's a very sort of quiet, serious guy, yeah. but he's yeah. but he's good fun too. Not known for his party moves, I would no. say. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, actually, I don't think I've seen uh, Vincent dance. No? No, but, no. But do you kind of springs around like a, 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 a yeah, gazelle. He yeah, he does. That's true. <laughs> he likes he likes sprinting. He, he, we'll see There's those yeah. little jumps of Julien. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have uh, Boisfort against Brianza, against Brianza, and uh, yeah, I think Boisfort actually did. I think uh, actually Boisfort did a really good tournament. Yeah. Yeah, I've only I've only played level. against them. Haven't seen them. So it's Boafor in the white and blue uh, yeah. against the wind and yeah. Brianza. Yeah, is that right? No, other way around. Brianza is against the wind in green and uh, Boafor running with the wind. Yeah, I think I think I don't know who won the toss, but someone must have chosen yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, choosing. You're looking at the wind. You're looking at the sun. Oh, there we go for a quickie. Did he put the? foot over the ball not sure oh quickie yeah that's good no no it's good very good score quickie on the link wasn't it yeah. or was it on the middle it's between the link and middle it was, it was link. between link and middle yeah. which is an unusual move we don't see it that often no you don't actually very nice very nice very swift very smooth well done bravo bravo so it's Julian Right, so bad start there from uh, Brafour. Oh, miscommunication here. Losing a bit of the momentum. Good shooting. Yeah, off we go. Arno. So I'm cheering for Arno. I won't. So it's Arno in the cap. I, right? He's got he's got this bonnet that makes him look very classy. You can yeah. See that. Number, number is that a cap now, or no, is that no, a bonnet? No, it's, a, it's a bonnet. It's, it's an like, actual you bonnet. You sure it's no? He's not changed it to a cap. What do oh, you in wear? the green. Yeah, in the oh, green, the in the green, green. Oh, in the green. Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, and this is um, no, this is over. Alex who just made the touch. Alex Petitcola, and his surname is Schweppes. Really? Yeah. From the drinks company. From. Is he worth getting to know? Is he a millionaire? No, 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 no. Oh, He's okay. not, well, not not that I know of. Okay. I don't even know if he's single or not because we've been. I've heard the commentaries le yesterday. People okay. were wondering if people were single or not. Ah. I know Arno is it. I don't know about Schweppes, number six, keeping his hair long. So maybe for the ladies. Cecile, great pass. Oh, Cecile, great very pass. nice pass. And number twelve, that Whoa. poor winger there. Poor uh, winger. Ooh, oh wow! Very good defense from the winger there, number four, if I recall. Can't remember. I, I don't even know her name, right? So that was a that was a very good defense because it, it was, was two against one, it and really it's uh, it's a shame. So, uh, it's a shame. Uh, there, Brianza missed a, a really yeah. good opportunity. Huh. Okay. So what is Brafour going to do? Brafour a bit late. I think four fifth coming. So they're going to try and run hard. That's it. Yeah, fifth coming, and yeah, I think it's over. Uh, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, they they didn't do a very good drive at the beginning going no. to their box. No, you're right. You need to try maybe take a touch in the middle to sort of get the the middles interested, and then sort of ship it to the sides to get a bit more yards up the field. I don't know if people have been watching six pack uh, your games, but clearly when you do the drive from your seven meter line, you always take that first touch in the middle, yeah. and then you go towards yeah, the box. Indeed. I think it's I think it's uh, something England England teams do a lot, yeah. English teams English teams, and something people could get uh, inspired with, right? Yeah, yeah, it just helps spread the defense, and then you know you you could run a sweet move or you could hit. Your your link running in like you would on a drive. Oh, that's good. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, did he catch him? Oh, what a shame, Schweppes. You should run harder. It must have been really close because he did try and make the diving touch there. 
Yeah, yeah, that that was a good dive, a good dive, almost, almost got him. Sure, sure, mm, yeah. sure. Yeah, we have an Italian Leprotti player. What's your name? It's Emanuele. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. You want to do the commentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do the commentary. Maybe also in a Italian. little bit in Italian. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, my pleasure. No problem. Okay, you want to be alone? I, I don't speak no, Italian. No, it's okay, it's okay. We can share, we can okay. share the microphone, okay? okay. okay. I, can, yes. I can have it a little bit in English and then in, in Italian. No, no, please do in okay, Italian. Okay, okay. Now, Brianza is there. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Are you cheering for Brianza? I, are we cheering for Brianza? Yeah, 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 and I know that there are a lot of people back home in Italy that are watching the game oh. and, I, and are cheering for Brianza too, so maybe for them uh, I'm, I'm going to speak a little bit no of problem. Italian and go, then of go course, for it. Go of for course, it. For the, also for the English viewer. Uh, we, we can share the microphone and do we did it uh, yesterday bilingual. Frame, okay. So we yeah. can do it today. In yeah, time, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. C'è un buon attacco di Giacomo. Giacomo si tuffa. E vediamo se l'arbitro darà la meta. E invece, dopo un momento di riflessione, dà il tocco. Dà il tocco. Si ripartirà dalla linea dei sette con Giacomo che lascia la palla a Nicolò. Nicolò, Nicolò il mediano, aspetta la salita della difesa. Scarica per Giacomo. Prende il tocco. Un altro roll di, di, di un altro roll lento. Ma adesso la palla aumenta la sua velocità, di nuovo Giacomo all'aria, punta la difesa, è un passaggio lungo, basso oh. e la palla è persa da Marianna. <ride> palla persa, e palla di nuovo al Boys Fort di Bruxelles. E Belgium. Belgium, yeah, yeah. They are going, they are gaining meters in the field. So what do you think, what do you think of this attacking move of Brianza? Uh, okay. it's, it's a good attacking move, but uh, uh, the, the long passes, uh, can, it can be a little bit more precise. Yeah, definitely uh, could be more precise, but yeah. that's how they scored their first try. Okay, so what's the, what's the score now, you know? It? The, the, the score is 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay, 1-1, one, one, and the game is just started, I think, so... Actually, we don't have the time, so we don't okay, know. Okay, well, okay. It, it has been a while, I'd say a good 10 minutes, right? 8, 10 minutes? Yeah, Cecile, I think that's, that was an over, off the mark. It's an off the mark from Cecile, yeah, and, and the boys for it's attacking again on the middle line. They're going for the change. Uh, a, a slow attacking move, just preparing the, 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 other, attack, the other attacking touch. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, you yeah. can stay, no problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Allora, chiamiamo un attimo il commento da bordo campo di Fabio Lazzarato. Cosa dice il mister Fabio? Grazie Emanuele per la linea. Possiamo confermare che anche da bordo campo la fasciatura di Leon Prete è molto evidente, più di quanto lo sembra dalla diretta televisiva, ma possiamo tranquillizzare i parenti a casa che in questi giorni ha preso sempre tutte le precauzioni anche quando giocava. Ti ridò la linea, grazie. Grazie Fabio, grazie Fabio. Purtroppo sono qua per commentare un'altra meta del Boysford che si è portato sul 2-1. Eh, risale l'attacco Brianzolo con Nicolò, Nicolò Colombo che va a prendere il tocco e eh, Cecil che porta la, la palla, Giacomo all'aria entra come mediano di nuovo per Cecil che perde la palla, dai Cecil torna indietro e fai una bella difesa Cecil, mi raccomando Giacomo all'aria prova l'intercetto e invece solo un tocco per Giacomo ma eh, l'arbitro eh, comanda un fuorigioco Sì, è in the rock, right? He was in the rock. Okay. Uh, probably offside, probably offside, he got, he got up too early, I think. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, because he tried to intercept, intercept the ball, the yeah. Ball. It was a good move, good, yeah. good try, good yeah, try. Yeah, yeah. Right, Brafour is uh, playing actually pretty well, they're up by one now, it's 2-1 for yeah. Brafour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that, was, uh, that was pretty good, up, oh, half court, okay, okay. As we said before, guys, please give the ball back, so this is why, uh, yeah, Brianza gets the ball for a penalty, just give the ball back to a player or put it on the mark. How many times are we going to have to say this? It's, it's crazy, the number of times it happens as a ref and you just, and you just blow the, and you're like, just give the ball back. How easy can it get? I don't know. Do you, or it, it, do you do it as no, a player? No, never. No. <laughs> a good Italian player, yeah. there you go. Vediamo se Gaia segna nell'angolino, il difensore chiama il tocco e l'arbitro assegna il tocco, quindi si riprenderà con palla al club belga di Boys 4 che parte subito forte, va a prendere un tocco molto in avanti, il giocatore del Brianza 
eh, va a prendere un hard touch, un hard touch, quindi di nuovo palla a Boys Fort, si ripartirà dal tocco zero e potranno ehm, organizzare meglio il loro attacco. Boys Fort prende un altro tocco un po' lento, per dire la verità, e vediamo Boys Fort che parte la palla in mezzo, va verso il link, il link alza la parte oh, per very, il centro. E' un very, very nice, very nice. A very nice move. Oh. Vediamo oh! se il passaggio all'ala non va in porto e l'ala perde il pallone. Fuori. Un saluto a Barbara che se la ride da bordo campo. Grazie Barbara. Grazie Barbara. <ride> e volevo ricordare anche la mitica Pippi che ci starà sicuramente seguendo da casa. Un saluto a Pippi e soprattutto a, al nostro Leprotto che purtroppo è ancora chiuso in camera. Grazie Leo, B positive, B Leprotto. Un saluto anche a Martina da Verona che non ho mai visto ma che doveva giocare con noi, mannaggia a te, non sei venuta e noi abbiamo corso un casino. Oh, ma nice. Giacomo Allaria prende un gran buco. Ah, ma... Ma... Off the mark again. It's a shame because he made the difference, right? Yeah. And it's just this technical aspect of making the making the touch and just putting the ball on the ground it seems that he's the player is not agreeing to that yeah b yeah because it's very difficult to do that on speed that's it so he just slow down a little bit and he would still have gained all these meters so it's really a shame well good for them Wafo also made a mistake and there we go they gave back the ball very easy and that's it nice and smooth and now Brianza ha sei tocchi per impostare il proprio attacco, Giacomo e Nicolò, ancora la palla è arriva a, mi sembra che sia Love, ragazzi non vi distingo, mi spiace per voi, Giacomo all'aria di nuovo per Cecil che alza la palla di nuovo per Giacomo, punta l'ala, Nicolò, un cambio di passo ma viene toccato, viene toccato, Gio Nicolò torna sulla linea dei sette per Gaia, Gaia la alza, la palla arriva a Giacomo, Giacomo studia la situazione, aspetta con la palla in mano di far salire la difesa e scarica oh. la palla per Nicolò che non se l'aspettava. No communication. <laughs> Una cattiva comunicazione tra i due giocatori. Boys Ford risale il campo. Vediamo se la freccia di Boys Ford riuscirà a guadagnare terreno, ma il difesa di Brianza è attenta e al terzo tocco non hanno ancora superato la metà campo. Continua a salire Boys Ford, siamo agli ultimi tocchi, il mediano è partito. La palla è andata, dice l'arbitro, ma siamo al quinto tocco. È l'ultimo tocco per Boys Ford che... Vediamo che cosa intenderà fare. La palla scivola verso la linea dei cambi. C'è un, un tocco, un tocco di Nico, un tocco di Nico che sicuro tocca il giocatore avversario e riguadagna il possesso. Sale la freccia di Brianza con Giacomo che parte molto forte verso il difensore. Ma scarica il pallone per Love che scarica il pallone a sua volta per Marianna che non se l'aspettava. Non si intendono i due giocatori. Uno scarico di troppo dice Marianna. E... E siamo in difesa ragazzi, siamo in difesa, saliamo, andiamo a toccare, il primo tocco avviene sulla linea di metà campo, il secondo tocco è, è, è di nuovo vicino alla linea di metà campo, quindi la difesa sta montando e non dà scampo all'attacco che non riesce a guadagnare metri, la difesa è ben schierata e pronta per il quarto tocco, il quarto tocco avviene in velocità, è successo qualcosa ma non capisco cosa. Il, il giocatore del Boys Force si lamenta per un tocco troppo forte che io non ravviso. Sale di nuovo la difesa dei Brianza e purtroppo c'è un'interferenza nel roll ball. Anzi un incorrect roll ball ragazzi, un incorrect roll ball e i Brianza guadagna di nuovo il pallone. Leon col suo braccio fasciato parte all'impazzata e guadagna 3 metri. 3 metri Giulia sotto corno la va a prendere un buon tocco, un tocco in velocità di nuovo Leon che può giocare solo grazie alle numerose operazioni effettuate questa notte all'ospedale di Elce, dove eh, sono state rimontate tre dita al giocatore dei Brianza. Cecil e Nicolò continuano l'attacco, Cecil buca, buca da mediano, sta cercando un sostegno che arriva, e Giacomo, Giacomo all'aria che va a segnare su assi di Cecil che ha bucato da mediano, ragazzi, ottima azione. Il punteggio mi sembra che sia di 2 a 2. Il punteggio è di 2 a 2, quindi è una partita che come preannunciato si presenta equilibrata. Boys 4 riparte molto velocemente con uno scarico, va a prendere un bel tocco. Vediamo il mediano come riuscirà a gestire la situazione, ma il link è preso e rallenta la sua azione. Di nuovo il mediano che parte e perde la palla sotto la pressione di Leon. Leon 
scarica il pallone, un altro scarico, un tocco e la freccia che, dei Brianza che risale il campo molto velocemente ecco vediamo vendetta, vendetta per Marianna, Marianna alza il pallone per Leon che guadagna campo, guadagna campo, evita un tocco ma che viene preso poi da Marianna Mar e Marianna per Giacomo e Cecil Nicolò, Nicolò di nuovo per Giacomo, un altro scambio del pallone Nicolò va a prendere un bel tocco ma è l'ultimo ragazzi torniamo in difesa, torniamo in difesa e prepariamoci a toccare E Boys 4 sale eseguendo i cambi e si presenta in attacco con una finta ma un ottimo tuffo di Nicolò permette di toccare il giocatore avversario. Il giocatore avversario riprende il pallone e continua la sua avanzata. Giocano una palla veloce, Nicolò intercetta il pallone, saranno sei tocchi più ma l'attacco è sventato. Dai ragazzi sono sei tocchi sulla linea di meta. Mi raccomando questa difesa. Boys Ford att attende la salita dei Brianza che non effettuano il tocco. Il tocco viene effettuato da Nicolò che torna sulla sua destra a chiudere l'angolo. Il Boys Ford cambia lato del campo, prova un uno step ma Cecile è attenta e tocca. Cecile e Marianna continuano la loro difesa e alla fine Giacomo ha prendere il tocco sul link avversario. Il link effettua il tocco e porta la palla in centro. Dal centro vediamo di nuovo Boys 4 che cerca l'attacco e Giacomo prova a toccare l'attaccante avversario ma questo non avviene o, si, o forse avviene, non si capisce. E il roll dei Boys 4 è molto lento e Giacomo ne approfitta per guadagnare il pallone, guadagnare il pallone e portarsi in attacco. È una freccia veloce quella tra Giacomo, Giacomo Cecil, Nicolò e Marianna. Il pallone a disposizione di Vendetta che lancia un suo compagno. Eh, eh, di nuovo sotto corna per Vendetta ma non c'è intesa e cade il pallone. Di nuovo difesa ragazzi. Boys 4 riparte all'attacco ma la difesa è molto reattiva e li tiene a metà campo. Boys 4 va verso eh, la zona dei cambi sotto la pressione della difesa dei Brianza. Un po' di attesa e un giocatore che scivola a Boys Ford. E vediamo che l'attacco studia la situazione. Parte il mediano, Leone attento, Leone attento su di lui. C'è un passaggio all'ala, molto lungo e molto difficile e l'ala non riesce a raccogliere il pallone. Di nuovo palla per i Brianza. I Brianza risalgono il campo facendo scorrere il pallone. È una bella corsa, è un bello scarico e sono altri 5 metri guadagnati. Un altro scarico e siamo a metà campo. Arriva Nicolò direttamente dal box dei cambi, va a prendere un tocco in mezzo al campo, ma il tocco eh, c'è stato un uh, fallo di off the mark da parte di Kind. Adesso riparte l'attacco del Boys Fort sempre in maniera molto ragionata, tagliano fuori i giocatori, ripartono come mediani, cercano la linea di meta, ma Nicolò è molto attento e va a effettuare un tocco fondamentale. Palla a 7 metri per la squadra belga. La palla viene aperta verso l'altro centro. Di nuovo attacco del, del mediano dei Boys Fort, un passaggio lungo che va a perdersi per le terre, l'ala non arriva su questo pallone. Ma l'arbitro chiama un fuorigioco, saranno altri sei tocchi con partenza da tap per la squadra di Bruxelles. Sei tocchi giocati sempre in maniera molto ragionata, la palla arriva all'altro centro, il centro prova a liberarsi della pressione della difesa che effettua il tocco. E tocco numero uno, la palla sempre per i centri che la scarica al link. Il link prende il tocco, il centro entra e cambia direzione. Giacomo interviene e stoppa il passaggio del centro. Sono altri sei tocchi per la squadra di Bruxelles. Giacomo sale a mettere pressione sul centro avversario che effettua lo scarico. Nicolò prende il tocco. Sempre un attacco ragionato da parte di Boys 4. Boys 4, uno scarico, Giacomo al tocco, la difesa torna verso destra, è una shot, è un pallone lungo per l'ala che va a segnare. L'arbitro convalida la meta.
I giocatori del Brianza chiedono una penalità all'arbitro che si consulta con il suo assistente. La decisione dell'arbitro è meta. Meta confermata per i boy 4. A lei ragazzi ripartiamo da metà campo. Uno scarico e una link che, il centro che va giù per il link. Una freccia con raddoppio. Vendetta guadagna campo, guadagna campo. Leon alza la palla, è un attacco molto veloce, molto efficace. Palla all'ala e c'è il guardaline che dice tutto ok, tutto ok. Una splendida meta, una splendida reazione da parte dei Brianza che vanno a pareggiare la partita. Adesso toccherà a Boys Fall, a Boys Fall partire da metà campo con sei tocchi. I Brianza attendono l'avanzata degli avversari e effettuano secondo tocco, molto effettu tre tocchi effettuati molto velocemente. Siamo a giocare sulla linea dei sette. Boys Fall riorganizza l'attacco e aspetta di vedere dove eh, attaccare la granitica difesa dei Brianza c'è un cambio di direzione un passaggio all'ala e la reazione di Boys 4 è immediata ma il, il giudice di linea ravvisa un piede fuori da parte dell'attaccante quindi la meta non viene concessa ma nello stesso tempo l'arbitro concede la punizione a Boys 4 per il fuorigioco e l'ultimo tocco ed è effettuato così fine primo tempo sul punteggio che credo sia in parità Sorry, mate, you know the score? 3-3, uh, ok, thank you. <laughs> confermo, confermo il punteggio di 3-3. Brianza 3, Beaufort 3. <laughs> e mandiamo, mandiamo in replay le migliori azioni del primo tempo. Questa era l'ultima meta di Beaufort, non assegnata per un piede fuori da parte della linea avversaria. Ringraziamo Barbara che ci sta comunicando che sono avanzati dei panini, delle banane e un po' di frutta e un po' d'acqua. Se qualcuno ha bisogno di mangiare anche per il viaggio di stasera può andare a prenderli allo sgabbiotto bar. Ringraziamo Barbara non solo per i panini, la frutta e l'acqua ma anche per la splendida organizzazione e per avermi messo in mano questo microfono. Ora il DJ ci romperà un po' con questa musica che speriamo carichi la squadra in maglietta verde come al solito e che possa andare a vincere questa, questa finalina. Ancora, ancora, due minuti, ancora due minuti di intervallo e poi riprenderà la partita. Non vedo il il commentatore Fabio Lazzarato da bordo campo che probabilmente si sarà andato a ciulare gli ultimi panini rimasti. Spero che mi senta e me ne porti uno anche a me, possibilmente con una ottima birra. Approfitto di questo momento per salutare tutto il Touch Europe e soprattutto per chiedere scusa a Kind, a cui devo molto più che una birra per averlo confuso tutta la partita precedente con Love. Kind, non sono stato molto gentile con te. Lo so, cercherò di rimediare. Anche se Love dice che ti faccio un favore a chiamare te Love, io non sono d'accordo. Brianza è pronta per iniziare il secondo tempo. Entra in campo la, la squadra belga di Beaufort con eh, il possesso della palla e inizierà ad attaccare. Un ringraziamento anche a Marcello Giordano che si è scassato nella prima partita ed è stato in giacca e cravatta tutto il torneo a vederci correre e soffrire. Grazie Marci, spero che ti rifarai con la paella di stasera.
ancora gli ultimi istanti prima del fischio d'inizio del secondo tempo Giacomo e Cecil chiedono spiegazioni all'arbitro su alcune eh, interpretazioni della nuova versione del regolamento del touch che vi consiglio di scaricare e leggere per i prossimi tornei Thank you again, thank you again uh, 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 all, the, all the internet viewers of these wonderful matches. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm going, to commentate, I'm going to commentate this in Italian for our very, very um, big uh, TV viewers at home. Manca un minuto all'inizio della partita, il vento si alza come ha fatto in tutta la giornata. Ci sono 15 gradi qui ad Elce, il sole è molto forte, in cielo ci sono solo poche nuvole. Eh, L'unica questione ambientale è il vento che soffia forte da nord-est e per tutta la giornata ha soffiato forte da nord-est. E come sappiamo si, nel corso del pomeriggio sarà sempre andrà ad alzarsi, sarà sempre più forte. Le temperature rimarranno sui 15 gradi per tutta la durata del secondo tempo. Ecco la sirena ed ecco il fischio dell'arbitro e andiamo a giocare questo secondo tempo di Boys Fort in divisa bianca e blu direttamente da Bruxelles contro Brianza in divisa verde che attacca dalla sinistra alla destra dei vostri teleschermi. Boys Force sale molto velocemente con una freccia e andrà a prendere il tocco sui 7 metri e una quickie ma la palla cade ragazzi, abbiamo riquistato la palla, Nicolò fa il tocco e gioca veloce con Giacomo, Giacomo, Giacomo prende il tocco, Nicolò un raddoppio di Love, uno scarico e abbiamo guadagnato 30 metri, il tocco di Cecil che esce, di nuovo Love che gestisce la palla per Marianna, Marianna allarga, un altro scarico, ancora uno scarico e sono 10 metri guadagnati. Brianza avanza con la palla, il centro cerca la fuga individuale e va a bucare la difesa, è una grandissima meta ragazzi e siamo di nuovo in vantaggio, 4 a 3, Tutto proprio allo scoccare del primo tempo. Com'era diciamo, questa meta? Cosa ti, che commento abbiamo dal nostro ospite olandese? Hola, good, uh, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, we saw a nice little score from Brianza, tutta la vita, I would say, every day, all day long. Meta, meta tutta la vita ragazzi it's 4-3 for, for Brianza e adesso l'attacco di Boys 4 con dei scarichi veloci sale il campo ma Nicolò è attento fa la guardia e prende il tocco un altro attacco di Boys 4 che <ride> che kind <ride> va a stoppare un altro tocco di Nicolò, una finta e poi c'è il passaggio per il link. Il link gestisce il pallone e lo riporta al centro. Il centro chiama lo schema e spara un pallone a campanile verso l'altro link e prende il tocco. Aumenta la velocità dell'attacco, un passaggio di nuovo verso il centro. L'attacco aspetta che la difesa salga e punta verso la difesa. È un attacco molto forte e Giacomo va a effettuare un gran tocco in tuffo dopo essere tornato e riparte. Scarica per Nicolò, va a fare il mediano, la palla è per Kind che gestisce il pallone e sale, sale con Giulia, Jules, Jules per Vendetta, Vendetta allarga il pallone che non cade ragazzi, Brianza continua ad attaccare, effettua il tocco, torna sul punto, Leon alzerà la palla e di nuovo si riparte in attacco, vediamo lo schema di Brianza. I due centri giocano al pallone, prendono il tocco, è una veloce, il mediano cambia direzione per Leon che punta all'esterno, evita il tocco, un altro scarico, un altro passaggio lungo e l'attacco si perde con la palla per terra. L'arbitro avvisa, credo un touch and pass, oh no, la palla è per terra e si riprenderà con sei tocchi per i boys 4. Boys 4 sale, un bel tocco di Brianza. Leon cade ma con una capriola ritorna in gioco e effettua il tocco. Che giocata! Boys Forsale molto velocemente e mette in difficoltà la difesa dei Brianza che riesce a riorganizzarsi e effettuare il quarto tocco. Cambio di fronte di gioco per Boys For che rallenta l'azione per prepararsi al prossimo attacco. Ma il tocco è l'ultimo. C'è un passaggio veloce, si cerca di aggirare la difesa. Uno scarico, ma avviene il tocco, il sesto tocco e il cambio possesso. Sei tocchi per i Brianza. 
Palla per i Brianza. Gaia chiede il, punto, chiede il punto della battuta e se dovrà effettuare un roll oppure un tap per eh, l'interferenza dei due giocatori di Boys Ford. È un roll, un cambio di direzione, un bel tocco. Leon prende la palla e la gioca velocemente. Andiamo verso i cambi. Vendetta fa il mediano per Leon, un rapido scambio, la palla per Giulia. Giulia esce dopo aver fatto il suo tocco. Nicolò, Cecile e Giacomo cercano di avanzare con la palla, ma uno scarico di troppo e la palla va per terra. Sei tocchi per i Boys 4 a partire da metà campo. Boys 4 cerca la linea laterale per andare a effettuare i cambi in maniera molto scolastica. La difesa di Brianza è aggressiva e va a prendere un altro bel tocco. Boys 4 cambia di fronte di gioco e va a trovare il tocco di Giacomo. Il mediano parte e Nicolò effettua un intercetto che non, che non viene. Sei tocchi in più per i Brianza che I will remember for our friends is, is, is winning 4-3 against Boys 4. So we are winning but it's a very very long second half. <laughs> Ancora Boys 4 in attacco. Giacomo va a prendere il tocco, il Boys 4 gioca velocemente. Il mediano entra, prende il tocco e cerca pure di segnare, ecco, questo permette ai, ai Brianza di riguadagnare la palla e di partire con un nuovo attacco. L'arbitro indica la linea di difesa, Cecil prende un buon pallone e parte e va verso i cambi. Un'altra freccia, aia, poca comunicazione, Marianna Leone e il pallone cade. Adesso dobbiamo difendere, la difesa si è, è, è schierata correttamente e l'attacco di Boys Fort cerca di allargarla andando verso i cambi. Un po' di indecisione nel roll e andiamo verso il secondo tocco che avviene un po' anche questo con molta indecisione ma l'arbitro fa continuare. Boys Fort gira il pallone cercando di mettere dubbi nella difesa avversaria da una parte e dall'altra. Adesso è Link che porta avanti il pallone, va a prendere un tocco sull'ala, c'è un roll ball e la palla va verso i centri. La difesa del Brianza sale e il Boys Fort aumenta la velocità dell'attacco, c'è un cambio di direzione e un tocco. È il sesto tocco e la palla è di nuovo per i Brianza. I Brianza giocano una quickie per ripartire con un cambio di direzione che permette di evitare un difensore. Leon sale deciso con la palla. I, 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 gli avversari chiedono un over the step che non c'è Cecil va in mezzo al campo con il pallone e c'è Kind che raccoglie il pallone di nuovo Cecil col pallone è l'ultimo tocco e la palla è di nuovo in possesso dei boys 4 i boys 4 ripartono in mezzo al campo Nicolò va al tocco ma la palla è subito persa da parte di Bosfor per un passaggio troppo forte. Nicolò con calma ripiazza il pallone e lo gioca con Kind. Di nuovo un tocco tra Nicolò e Kind. La palla va a Giacomo che va giù per Cecil. Cecil alza la palla di nuovo per Giacomo che studia la situazione e va di nuovo personalmente a prendere il tocco. Accelera la sua, il suo attacco. Scarica per Cecil all'ultimo ed è meta! Ma l'arbitro... Sta dicendo qualcosa a Cecil che indica che Cecil ha perso il pallone. Mannaggia, era un'azione stupenda, era una, sarebbe stata un'ottima meta. Che Nicolò cerca di chiudere la, la difesa del Boys Fort e Kind va a prendere un tocco giudicato, giudicato eh, troppo forte dal direttore di gara. Boys Fort ne, ne approfitta per fare un cambio e la difesa di Brianza torna a 10 metri. Nicolò sale molto forte per andare a fermare l'attacco. Di nuovo sale la, la, la giocatrice del Boys Fort e ora è una freccia in centro e che continua a guadagnare campo. Uno scarico, un tocco, un altro, un altro ingresso del giocatore di Boys Fort. La palla va là, la ma cade per terra ed è di nuovo in possesso dei Brianza. Gaia si appresta a effettuare il roll ball con Kind come mediano. Nicolò aspetta il pallone e effettua un altro scarico per Giacomo che va a prendere il tocco. C'è un raddoppio da parte di Kind che va dritto verso l'uscita ma l'ultimo scarica per Vendetta. Vendetta prende il tocco per Marianna. Giacomo entra, prende il tocco. Marianna riallarga verso il centro. 
I Brianza avanzano con una fitta rete di passaggi e tocchi. Leon. E guadagnano un fallo per fuorigioco. Sono sei tocchi da metà campo. È una buona azione questa. 32 per Vendetta. Un rapido scambio. E Vendetta va giù per Leon. Leon raccoglie e passa all'interno. Di nuovo un... So un, un, un un, um, uno scarico per un gran buco trovato ma purtroppo il difensore copre e va a toccare un altro scarico, ancora uno scarico per mettere in difficoltà la difesa un altro scarico intercettato dal difensore sono sei tocchi per Ibrianza dalla linea di 7 metri si potrà imbastire un'azione un di gioco molto interessante vediamo se Ibrianza effettueranno i cambi non decidono di mantenere questa affermazione aia ma al secondo tocco la palla va persa un'incompressione era un attacco molto promettente, eh, c'era sovrannumero e eh, il passaggio era buono ma la palla va per terra. Boys Ford cercherà di risalire il campo, eh, ma Leon fa buona guardia e va a prendere il tocco. <ride> va a prendere il tocco, nice to meet you again, we are 4-3 for Brianza, it's a nice game, nice game. The, the, the ball is flowing. Uh, and we have seen a lot of action and interesting move from both the teams. Now Brianza is waiting for, uh, in defense in order to get a touch. But the, the ref say that they are waiting too much. And so he gave uh, a tap and another six touch for the boys for team. Have you seen something interesting in the field? Uh, to be honest, uh, I, I haven't seen anything because uh, I've just gone to get a coffee, had a sandwich, uh, had a, made a few photos and dressed up warmly because it's cold, right? It, it, it's not very cold, but the wind is cold. The wind is cold. This wind is yeah. cold. Ma proprio ora, mentre chiacchieravo col nostro ospite, il Boys Fort attacca e va a segnare una meta che l'arbitro giudica regolare. So Quindi si yeah, oh just my. now. <laughs> oh, four, four. Yeah, oh, four, four, and there are no so much time left. No, Nico, there, port there should be nine minutes. Nine minutes. Uh, nove minuti rimanenti e la partita è ancora sulla parità. Eh, Giacomo va avanti, uno cambio di direzione, la palla per Cecil che si tuffa, il guardaline dà l'ok okay e l'arbitro dà la meta un'ottima azione se l'asse Giacomo Cecil yeah, Cecil, very nice move here quickly, back inside uh, both of them, I think they, um, they play well together, yeah? yeah, they play well, both together and both alone <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 are, they are good they are a good couple and they are well used to play together Speriamo ce ne facciano vedere altri questi giocatori che sono molto bravi a giocare insieme. La loro intesa si è vista in questa azione da meta. I Brianza adesso sono in difesa, prendono il tocco, Boisfor entra molto velocemente. Un altro tocco, un altro attacco molto forte della squadra belga. Vediamo se riusciamo a recuperare la, la difesa, ma invece no, Gaia non è riuscita a chiudere in tempo ed è di nuovo parità, 5 a 5 oh, cheers mate, thank you a beer brought to you <laughs> thank wow. you man ringraziamo il simpatico signore che mi ha appena portato una birra grazie Yay. ragazzi <laughs> Brianza oh. di nuovo avanti e Giacomo effetto un tuffo ma il difensore eh, tocca prima della meta. Giacomo ripartirà dalla linea dei sette, e Nicolò a fare da mediano, Nicolò va verso Cecil ma scarica di nuovo verso Giacomo, Cecil raddoppia, Nicolò alza la palla per Cecil che punta la difesa e scarica un lungo passaggio per Giacomo Aia, che era irraggiungibile ma c'è un fuorigioco da parte della difesa sono sei tocchi in più per la squadra di... guidata da Nicolò Colombo Nicolò Colombo che si appresta a ricevere il pallone da Cecil che non glielo passa ma adesso sì, Nicolò forte verso la difesa Giacomo alza il pallone per Cecil che si tuffa in un buco aperto dalla mossa precedente ed è un'altra meta di Cecil ben lavorata e siamo di nuovo in vantaggio, 6 a 5 per i Brianza, mancano 
6 minuti dal cronometro della televisione. Nice move again. Oh, very, very nice move again. Very well announced. You could see it was crispy, crisp and clear, right? Not crispy. Nothing to do with crisps. Um, it was crisp and clear. They're just short sides, uh, diving, nice. Um, don't think, don't know if the defense saw it coming, but um, 32, what, what we call it, 32. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and um, again, oh, did she touch? Did she make the I touch? Think Gaia Did she make the, the touch? Oh, Gaia. Good defense from Gaia there. Good. Good running. Good running. Okay, so this is a very tight game, right? And uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, we are up by one and Boys 4 is in attacking. Volevo solo far notare la diagonale difensiva di Gaia che va a recuperare l'attaccante del Boys 4 che è ancora in attacco. Uno switch, un altro scarico. Di nuovo si attacca verso destra e di nuovo Gaia mette pressione e. Fa perdere il pallone all'attacco avversario. Di nuovo Gaia effetta il roll ball con Love, Love per Leon. Leon scarica in centro, Leon di nuovo per Love che raddoppia, di nuovo un altro scarico per Vendetta. Vendetta sale, guadagna campo, Marianne è pronta a fare il mediano e Love è pronto a correre e va a guadagnare altri 10 metri. Nicolò alza la palla per Kind, Kind va a largo e allarga la difesa, allarga la difesa, prende il tocco. Cecil fa il mediano per Nicolò, Nicolò guadagna altri 10 metri. Love di nuovo per Cecile, l'ultimo tocco, vediamo Cecile e Giacomo, Giacomo a largo, Giacomo a largo, supera la difesa con Capriola, un'altra grande meta dei Brianza, Giacomo e Cecile combinano ancora una volta in maniera molto pulita e vanno ad aggirare la difesa, una grande azione travolgente da parte dei Brianza. Nice move, uh, I, I think in, we can see the boys for team... Um, um, at the end of these two days of competition, it's a bit tired, yeah. and, and, and I think... Is, everyone is tired. Are you tired? <laughs> a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why a, good, a, a beer will do you a lot of good, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, so that's it. Brianza is Everybody up... Want to share with you, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> COVID, COVID, <laughs> COVID will say no. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's, uh, only I'm happy just to share the microphone with you. <laughs> 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 okay, so there you go. Again, uh, the, uh, Brianza the defense doing the thing. So, I don't know, there's a bit of confusion there. Okay, the referee is starting to count. Yeah, that's it, back to six. So, good job there. Brianza up by two. Only less than four minutes going, according to the clock. I think that was, that's very good there. Brianza is making a difference at the end of the game. It's been very tight all the time. Uh, and they still have some legs. Look, very nice, good running. Good running, making making the defense run. You can see that everyone is tired. Clearly, uh, Cecile today is on fire. Giacomo yeah. is too, yeah. yeah. Giacomo is too, yeah. And uh, and yeah. often their line scores. It seems Sorry. their line, yeah. The, yeah those yeah, players yeah, yeah, yeah. score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this, and and, and now they are on, on attack yeah. with uh, Gaia, with Gaia, Julia. Uh, and, now, and kind Nicolò sale, Nicolò sale ma va a prendere il tocco poteva essere la meta decisiva so eh, Giacomo okay. di nuovo alza per Nicolò Nicolò guarda Cecil, gli passa il pallone oh, Cecil super, entra super. e Giacomo raddoppia oh, oh, cambio di direzione, oh, oh. tuffo yeah, ed è buona man. ed è buona man, nice my mate called the deadline it's going um, always to score and Giacomo score oh, another of course, one of course yeah he seems he's really a, a, a big player first he's really yeah. tall yeah. and he's an impact player you can see he makes a lot of the moves there we had a lovely sweeper yep. uh, going back inside diving he's uh, tall but he's very good at diving isn't he yeah. D he loves diving so a uh, very good job down number 20 Giacomo I don't know Alaria. I don't know how many scores how many scores has he done the uh, three I, at least I don't know maybe more <laughs> maybe more yeah. maybe more maybe one of the best scores there I would say yeah. uh, during the, the whole competition I I'm sure he scores a lot for Brianza yeah 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 he, scores yeah, he yeah, does yeah. a lot yeah I think there uh, Brianza has nailed it only yeah. uh, two minutes left plus three it's a shame Buffo, um for the last uh, it, it seems that those last five minutes were a bit too much for them. Yeah. It's true, they, they are, they've lost again, another ball. E vediamo Love che passa per Leon, Leon passa verso il centro, prende il tocco, la sovrapposizione di Love che non scarica molto intelligentemente, prende il tocco per Leon, Leon per Vendetta che corre molto decisa, Marianna alza la palla di nuovo per Leon che aspetta e scarica una palla che se sì non riesce a raccogliere. 
dobbiamo soffrire ancora questi sei tocchi e la partenza di Boisfor sarà dalla linea di 10 metri allargano il gioco verso la destra per andare a inserire la difesa di Brianza ma ehm... mi spiace ragazzi siete troppo non riesco a distinguervi <ride> kind and love ieri ho chiamato tutti love oggi chiamerò tutti kind oh, 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 oh. Ah? Eh, è un tocco da parte di Giacomo oh, no. he, he loves diving in, in attack in, in the defense too oh, you can yeah, see yeah, and with a, with a very good dive he touched the player before the Ah, before you get down the ball uh, Kind uh, prova un intercetto ma perde il pallone era, era fatta ragazzi c'eravamo era, quasi ancora sei tocchi per la squadra di Bruxelles attaccano verso sinistra alza la palla cambio di direzione si va verso destra un passaggio lungo per l'ala ma un tocco, un tocco molto deciso eh, è efficace e va a salvare una meta che sembrava quasi segnata eh, Boys 4 continua eh, eh, il loro attacco e eh, di nuovo una, 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 un, una azione veloce che si conclude addosso a Nicolò che fa buona guardia e va a prendere il tocco e questa è la sirena finale ed è l'ultimo tocco anzi no, l'arbitro manda tutti in negli svogliatoi è una grande vittoria per i Brianza, ricordiamo 8 a 5 il punteggio, eh, parte la musica perché questa è l'ultima partita e adesso eh, dobbiamo andare a farci la doccia. <laughs> so 8 5 for Brianza, well match, uh, uh, the difference was made at the end with three unanswered tries by Giacomo especially and, and also two good dives by Cecile. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah, very, we're very well done. So Brianza wins the plate. Wins the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah very yeah. well done. Congratulations to Brianza. I think that, honestly, Boisfort gave a good fight. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. fight. It's a real shame those, those five last minutes yeah. just made a big difference. And Giacomo and Cecile yeah. were the two key players here, really making a big difference. I fully agree with you. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Cheers, Thank mate. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Sì, grazie. Eh. What's your name? Philip. Grazie a Philip che ha condiviso il box del, com del commento con me. Io sono Emanuele Dei Leprotti. Un grazie all'organizzazione, un grazie a queste due squadre che ci hanno regalato un'ottima partita. Era la finale per il plate e Brianza va, come abbiamo già detto in inglese, eh, va a vincere il plate. Ora ci sono le foto di Rito. Ricordiamo che già ieri queste due squadre si sono affrontate, i Brianza sono, eh, hanno vinto anche ieri una, una partita tirata e, e si sono ripetuti oggi per andare a vincere il plate. Grazie Philip, thank you Philip, it was a pleasure to be with, yeah, in, in, with you. Yeah, very nice, lovely, lovely flow, lovely flow. <laughs> thank you, thank you mate. E, e ora andranno a giocare i Galaxy contro gli Squirrel. Yeah. Galaxy against Squirrel uh, uh, is the, is the final? Okay, final, final. Final, final for the first place. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can, I can not go on if you want.
we okay okay so yeah um can we have the two teams at the entrance please galaxy squirrels galaxy squirrels please line up Linda, mm -hmm. Introducing the referees as well. No. Do you want a name? Oh, yes, please. Maybe they should be running in. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're ready to go. Referees for the finals, Phil Holiday. Phil Holiday. Phil Holiday. Come on, Phil Holiday. Nicholas Vanderich and Guillaume Genet. Ah. Hello, our two teams in the finals today: Squirrels from Paris and Galaxy from London. We wish them both the best. Um, number eleven for the Squirrels, Arno. Amal, Amal, uh, David, number two, Alexandra, 73, Nicola, 75, Claire, 80, Marie Ori, and Matilda Ori. Uh, Mark Lejus, number six, Remy Mellows, number 60, whatever. But Hugo, Cyril, Nadia, and Louis Bruce. For Galaxy Paris, we have uh, London. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to claim some fame there. 23, Eric Williams. 66, Nicola Clark. 38, Louis Triz. 33, Ruiz Durani. 91, Melissa Day. 99, Tisha Herald. 34, Will Lupton. 19, Hanro Russo. Ollie Brasington. Number 14, 80, Pe Peggy McMcMcLigman. Mc uh, 10, Danny Payton. 71, Victoria Summers. 17, Lydia. 50, Oscar Healy. And 54, George Warboys. Good luck to both teams. Have a good game. All right, thank you, Linda. And here we go. This is the final. This is fantastic. And here I am with Robin again. You know, Robin, what happened in the last game when you left? Actual, the actual scenario happened that we did. That so Barcelona scored and it got to a. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We always that will improve the quality of our commentary. So there was there was a touch uh, a try. There was a try for Barcelona and that on the hooter. And that led to a drop off. Fantastic. We had we we said it would happen, right? We said it would happen. I was thinking, was it the scenario where one team lost the drop off without possession? But that didn't happen. No, who who that won? Didn't happen. Who won? Um, it's uh, what what was it against KPMG? Was it KPMG? Yeah, KPMG, yeah, KPMG, KPMG won. KPMG. And there was this 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 weird thing that happened where the referee had the ball threw the ball and it actually went through the middle all the way down all the way there anyway so that's not what we're here for we're here for the final we're here for the final we're excited so uh, what do we what do we think on the the result for this game what do we think okay let's be honest I'm cheering for the squirrels yeah. but I do think that galaxy is very strong very strong there to, to this weekend I think Galaxy are more dangerous, but Squirrels, they've played together more, they know each other better, so I think there's a risk there for Galaxy as well. So I'm excited. Are you I, excited? I'm excited. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. Mm. Yeah, I think a very good game. We've just, Galaxy, just prolonging the team little hug on the far side. It's important to check in on your teammates, to have that to hug together, to calm. Oh, you think? I think some players, I don't know, what do you think? I think some players, you need to cool down, some players, you need to heat up. That's it. So Galaxy, a lot of their players start hot and need to cool down. So maybe that's what's going oh, on. Oh, maybe that's it. And you can see that the squirrels are ready, focused. Who do we have oh, here? Nicholas Vanderef in an incredible power pose, oh, waiting yes. to start the game. 
That's why he's the best. He is. He is. Yeah, he's the best of uh, he's the best of us there this weekend at least. Yeah. So tap off, and they're going into 32 uh, sort of patterns. So moving side to side. Now back, keeping it in the middle. Nice double touch made by Louis Trays. Yeah, what are they looking for? Here? One of the key players we're looking at there. And there we go. Remy Merlo is going in inside. Quickie, quickie, so back inside. Quickie, back inside. Good saving touch by Will Lupton at link. Mm. Remy, long ball. Long ball. Those long balls are going to be hard. The wind is still hard, but it's slightly less hard than before. Yeah, I think just trying to leave the ball on this side of the pitch. But to be honest, they've also, with how loose that long ball was, they've lost some distance up the pitch. Oh, Nikola Rovanderev just... Great pass as Great well. pass. Yeah, Amazing. All round, Amazing. All round player. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. So, okay, Will so Upton to Louis Treyas. Louis stepping inside. Louis stepping step. inside. He's Classic. So oh, going he is. Oh, is he going? Oh, him? Remy. Remy oh. running after him. Yeah, he's That's got it. him. He's got 15, him. No problem. 15, the female link as well, though. She is no slouch. She is very fast as well. She's very, very fast. Yeah. Did you see that yesterday? Yeah, I was reffing in that game. You were reffing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were yeah. reffing. Yeah. I think she right. outrun uh, you. 50, Oscar. Just checking back inside. Will, has he made it? Yes, he has. Wow. Oscar How? Healy. Where did he go? Will Lupton. So, set ran an outside line. Drew the defence open. Will Lupton wow. on his inside, Fantastic. and Will Lupton incredible. Like he is, incredible. he turns sideways, and it's like he's as thin as a sheet of paper. Yeah, that's it. And he that's just exactly. Slides into these and spaces. he does like to he does like to score what, sideways. Yes, it's yes. his style. Isn't yeah, it? an angular man. I angular say. man. Yeah. That's it. So uh, we've all noticed. Yeah, three we'll touch a different pattern off the tap off than when they started the game, but still a mid mid dump. Mm. So, you know, delay on picking the ball up there, not good. We're, we still haven't seen the Silver Fox yet. Okay, no. so we have cereal. Keeping him in reserve. Cereal. Yeah, oh, going, what is it? Oh, what's happened? Okay, Okay. So it no touch. Me, yeah, so Rui Durrani holding his hands up to indicate he hadn't made the touch. Yeah. But that does create a problem because as a defender, you need to really aggressively go and make the touch. Make so If the you're touch. saying, I didn't make it, How many you're, times you're in the ref do we say, make the touch? Make the Just touch. stop. So if you did make bored of hearing myself say it. <laughs> nice touch there, if they could just Paris. spit out faster. Oh, yeah. So Mel Day, really good, sort of shut in there. Yeah. Mel Day came in, Definitely. made the touch on the link. Yeah. They could have, oh, oh check back, back. oh, great catch. That, oh, that is, a, oh. That's a fantastic score. Fantastic. Sh sh could have been simpler, yeah. but that check back pass a little low and a brilliant it catch. It to be low. Had it not been low. That's an at, good the, point. The, 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 the link. Yeah. She, she really did a good defense. Yeah. Uh, she would have touched before the yeah. score. No, Philippe, you are younger than me, but you are wiser than me, and that is a good point. If that it is was a, a higher pass. Not, not, yeah. not, not hard, though. No, it's, oh, that's true as well. Yeah. So, uh, Galaxy on the top, and this is that sort of danger group. It's uh, Louis, Oscar, and Will all together. Mid, mid, dump. And the Silver Fox. Not to be outfoxed here. Oh, nice touch. Oh, outfoxed. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, so, I, they will probably look to set up. Louis here, here. Uh, right. yeah. Silver Fox in the so pocket. So it's a 32 dump, Louis on the strike, wrapping to Will. Oh, wow. Does he have the long ball? He Too does. much, if anything. Yeah, yeah. he does. But that he does have the a long ball. That is the wind direction. So it may mm. be that that was a good pass on a still day and the wind just took it away. Mm. Yeah, you're being very kind with him, aren't I'm you? Empath man. Yeah, well, look, he's an angler man who can throw passes a bit too long. Yeah. On a on a 60 meter wide pitch, that's a great that's a great pass. Yeah, exactly. So uh, t um, heading to their box, Silver oh, Fox, yeah, very nice. nice very just nice. saving touches, oh, making Claire, distance. Claire, yeah, she just fell. A little thing you look for as a referee is she fell forwards. She did. So it's unlikely to be a defender making that problem. Not yeah, impossible, unless, but unless unlikely. You pushed on the shoulder, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Mm. So I think she uh, the decision there was over the mark. I think also could have been just a drop ball. Still this danger group again. again. So Oscar, yeah, look, Will, Will Louis, ooh, ooh, wrapping again, nice. long ball long again, ball. This better this good. time. Oh, oh no, she can't. How can she miss this? I tell you what though. Yeah. Right in the face, and it is difficult to catch that. You can't judge the depth so well. You know you what? You can't get your arms in the right in place. In my club, so in my club, the wingers often complain that the ball goes through the lights. Of the, yeah. of the spotlight, yeah. so there she should be complaining that the ball went through the sun. I think and, the sun is shining in that so way. So the sun kind of, you know, avoid, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't good for her yeah. to catch the ball. There was a turnover there again. So, again. Um, for, what, for, for what reason? I think it, a drop ball or maybe a forward pass. Oh, sort of their subbing move disintegrated a bit. So, and um, it, it's still the danger group. It's still Will, Louis and Oscar. 
Oh, and has he just sat that down? He yeah, has. He has. He's so good at that. He, what he, he does is, is very quick. he look, but it's quick, but it's also he looks like he's committing into one space. Yeah. The defense cover that space, yeah. and he is capable yeah. of just stopping moving. Yeah. I shouldn't be so nice to him. He's very rude to me sometimes when he I referee. He? Yeah. So there you go. There is a downside here. Well, next His time. sister is much nicer. She's a really nice. So she's so fine. Will will less so. Yeah. Well, look. Next time he insults you, just. Put him in the sin bin. I will. I, I definitely. I, I will do that. I have, should have thought of that before. Oh, there we go. Silver fox attacking. Silver fox. Look at this. Splitting back inside. Splitting. Recovering. He loves dumps and split. Yeah. Right. He does that very often. And everyone. And same is again. Uh, is it's that forward? Go long. Is that forward? Was that forward? No. no it, well, it's very difficult to tell from yeah, here. Yeah, from but here. Think, no. Yeah, it looked like it. I think for me, he had to give that ball. I think. Um, I said at the start of the game I would get them confused, and I've done it again. So Lydia you see, first or Danny Mark, making Mark enjoys talking to the refs. Oh, he too often, much. Oh yeah. But do the refs enjoy being talked to by Mark? Uh, I it's was, a really good. Oh it's wow, fantastic! Dump and split. Yeah. On the other side. I mean, crossing. you you look at Lovely. those. And Nadia, yeah. Nadia there, no problem catching the ball easily. Fantastic. And and I I think you always look at has he been building up to that so. Possibly the one before where we were saying maybe yeah. could have gone wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the defense look at that and they compress and then it opens up that long ball. So, possibly Com just a sequence chess game, game, right? We've chess been game, saying it's exactly. a chess game. It's Louis, Oscar, and Will. Yeah, again, I really I would love to see some other Galaxy players, I will say that. But on they come. So, they so will... what are the other Galaxy players doing? Like, just chilling. Um, so Eric Williams is a national cribbage champion. It's a sort of old card game. He sometimes plays that on the sideline when he's not uh, when he's not on. <laughs> so he might be doing that. Uh, just a little, yeah. Just went down there. Will yeah, is trying to argue for the touch from the defender. Yeah, well, there she, may have been a little touch on it, that, but yeah, you've got to accept the. What, yeah. what difference would it have made? Well, quite right, exactly. Yeah. It was a ball to nothing. Yeah. So uh, second touch there. Will right over the mid, even further over. So they are trying to. Save uh, the wing from making touches. Oh, good that momentum. Was, good, oh, momentum. good momentum there from, from the Silver squirrels. Fox. They are completely flat. No, it's not flat. the Silver Fox. You can't mix them up. Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. So they're both oh, hat. fantastic. Again. Is it the same move as last time? Well, I think, slightly more, I think the touch was made. Yeah, before. slightly more pace on it. More rolling into that yeah. than the last one, which was more a line attack. But same outcome. Long ball to the side. Yeah. I did get them confused. There's two, uh, two people in a hat. Not the Silver Fox on the pitch. My apologies to all. Oscar, well, to him. Doing to him first. Um, to, to the, deceiving the viewers as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. oh, Will just ghosting through, ghosting through. <laughs> right again. Yeah. How many times is he going to do that? Every he game. Is, he every is game. An angular man, and he angled his way through there. I hope he oh, gets a nickname from that. A moderately good punt as well. He's got to have got that. Yeah. More or less back to halfway. So. We're back to NFL moves. We are. Yeah, that was a nice little. Yeah, he wanted chases on that, but yeah. yeah. So. Uh, what have we got? We've got Ollie Brassington, Rui Duran, now the and Hanno Russo. So different, different group on. Oh, ah, so that's it. It's their time to shine. I hope so. I hope we'll so. see. We'll see. Hard. There we've got some good players everywhere. Anyway, yeah. I think Squirrels have done a very good job uh, this weekend. They're uh, going to the final. I I would have thought that maybe you know Toulouse would have made it, but I think they've. In the end, they played against a Galaxy in semi-final. Yeah, I think the semi-final might end up of being the sort of slightly uh, more even game. But who knows? I mean, to lose of uh, what is it, two, four, two, maybe? I can check the score. Was it four two? Oh, what well, this? Three two. Three two. Yeah, it's a tight game. It's going to be a tight game. Yeah. I uh, hope um, the, the 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 final of the plate. It, it's the last five minutes that made the whole difference. Uh, the score doesn't reflect on what the game was. And, and Galaxy have brought a bigger squad, so they would expect to have players more rested. Ollie Brassington is quick and he'll try and go around the outside and he'll try and feed it back into Mel Day. Oh, brilliant. Wow, Just brilliant move. Very nice yeah, running. Really nice. Ollie Brassington likes to find those little spaces around the outside, so he's not as angular as well. He doesn't go through the middle, but he goes around the outside and finds we, spaces. We, well. we call that in my club a Giselle. Go on. Giselle, it's like it comes from this uh, this this lady who came to try touch, right? And her name was Giselle. Yeah. And this player from ours, oh, he 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 Silver, went around. Silver Fox having a word with the referees. Oh though. yeah, classic. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, nothing unusual there. And our player, who's young, and she was okay. She wasn't very young. This is Giselle, right? And he runs around her. Oh yeah. Okay, and yeah. he scores, which yeah. is very unelegant. Yeah. And and he's like he does he does this little you know fist and he's oh, like oh man. yeah and so it kind of stuck to him. I'm sorry there was a, a possible uh, 
I don't know what the end decision is going to be, but the on-field player, uh, I think it might have been the Silver Fox, absolutely went flying uh, oh, well, yeah. over, the over, over the mark. Over the mark. Over the mark. It may have look, been... Look at Mark. He's angry. He's, he's angry, yeah. 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 yeah he, it was over the mark, but Mark is not over it. Oh, <laughs> lovely. I, oh, wow. Hanro, Hanro Russo dumping the ball there for Mel. I think Mel will be looking back at her little uh, charge through the middle when she got that ball back from Ollie and, and a little satisfaction there. That was good pace. So a little uh, quickie there, Louis Treas, Classic move. Will Lupton, Very nice. stepping, stepping nice inside, step but a good touch made. I said, I think I just said Louis was Hanro, it's not. So it's, it's again, it's almost a danger board. George Warboys, now, George is number 54, wearing the vest. I said yesterday, he's got the forearms for it. Okay, so we have Will Lupton diving at the line, but a touch made. Will Upton very politely, very calmly, suggesting that he doesn't necessarily agree with that decision. As I say, his sister's much more nice. So, <laughs> <laughs> Much more polite. Much more polite. Well, somewhat more polite. So to the side over here, and I, I think the game we watched earlier, and far be it from me, this is much better touch than I've ever played. I do still feel like um, they are uh, the squirrels are looking tight, so too much for their box on that side. Oh, and fumble, now fumble, a little fumble. fumble. I think that was the, the was dump too from... Quick. Yeah, too, too quick. You know, slightly, it was too quick. Mm. Number two, Degrange David. Is, do you think, it, do you think, is it Degrange David? Surely it's David Degrange. Yeah, or... look, you can say it both ways, but can just, you call, then... just call him David. But There's can only I call one. you Tonnelet Philippe? You could. It feels like that would be wrong. Yeah, it would be wrong. Right. So, it's, it's okay. Just call Eric Williams is on now. He's had his first, he's put his cribbage game down. He's doing well here. Nice little ball back to him. There's FaZe here if he dumps it. We've got a good defense on both sides. Yeah, very good defense on both sides. So Eric is a wily old fox. Eric has, has been around the game a while. He knows what he wants and he's oh, yeah. setting up there. Yeah, long ball. ball. Long ball. You know, he did the little, style. yeah, he did the he little hop. The little yeah. hop. Yeah, we love to see the little hop. Yeah, yeah. it looks... But uh, he will probably classy. he will throw better passes in his career. Uh, I will say that in, in that his wasn't credit. his best one. That was not his best. Ah, he doesn't look tired, does he? No, but he's not been on. To be fair, <laughs> I think <laughs> this might be his first time on the pitch. <laughs> Is it? Okay, yeah. so the young. So it's Danny Payton coming up at link there, but uh, in the end, Oscar made the touch. So squirrels right, driving. That's a good forward. drive. Good drive. Yeah. Good drive. Ah. Now back in, back inside, yeah, very nice. Nice touch by Very Oscar. nice. Yeah. So what are we going to see now? That's it. They're, they're there. Yeah, classic. Scooping, scooping from Mark. Oh, that's good. Is that forward? Surely not. I don't know. So the ball went to the ground. Yeah. I think the ball went to the ground. There's a What's conversation he saying? here and a penalty. Oh, yeah, penalty for oh. not moving forward. Is it not moving forward or, yeah? I would go for not moving yeah, forward. Yeah, two arms. We're, we're not in the best angle and there's also, he's very in low sunlight, so not quite sure. Yeah. But either way, a penalty, but fresh his, six. His, his signs are crisp and clear. So Squirrel there we, should leave a marker here. Squirrel and there he goes, here. the same. Oh, back inside. Did he touch? Did no he touch. Did he make it? Didn't make yes, it? He did. He yes, did. He did. Oh, very nice. Very good defense. So close. That is the exact move that Louis been Louis and, and Oscar have been doing against other teams. Right, so he'll, yeah. he'll be very wily to yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Again. Touch made, going yeah. the other way, oh, a fire no. up. Oh. Silver Fox lost his footing on he the did. fire up there, he just did. couldn't get the ball out. Should yeah. have hopped. Just like you should have hopped, yeah. You, have hopped. you can't lose your footing if you're only on one foot. Or, or you can, but you need to fall in one good. foot. So oh, uh, over the mark, uh, sorry, forward pass. Mar yeah. yeah. No, it was a forward pass, I think. Yeah, yeah I think forward pass off the ruck, I think. Mm. So little, it's so little difficult with these on both sides, yeah, on both little sides. mistakes. And yeah, but those little mistakes might make a, might make a but difference. But it, it's a tight game. It's it a is. very tight game. It is. Oh, Remy Merlo's faint. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh big gap. And oh, big gap. Done. What happened now? Oh, I injury. Think she, injury. She got hit by, who's that player? What's his name? Will? No, not Will. Little guy. So what's going on? So a touch was given, so, and we're going back for an offside penalty. So not, what we're saying is... Not moving forward. Not oh, not moving, moving forward. forward. Sorry, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. How many times? Oh, so much. So oh, if I was a better ref, <laughs> I'd be on the final. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, obviously that, that touch, which looked very tight, was made yeah. first. No yeah. score, but we're going back it was, for the It penalty. was a good idea to dump and split on the, on the link. Oh, and again, that it's link special. should not be underestimated. She is uh, very, very quick, good. very elusive. Nice, yeah. easy touch there. She, it, had it scored. So it was her that sort of ran half the pitch yesterday, wasn't it? Number 10. It, it was. Number 10 or 16. No. Is it the sisters? It, no, no. Yeah, it is the sisters. Mar yeah. Mary. So it was either Marie or Matilda. They look quite similar as well. Yeah, that's, you know, everyone, most people mix them up, right? Yeah. 
But well, anyway, who, who's to blame us? It's a nice from the silver oh, fox. Oh, there is an option yeah, here. Very oh. good defense from number eighteen. Another there, penalty. Now that is two oh, penalties. Yeah, that is two penalties on the line. Is it two? I think it's two penalties. I think silver fox deciding. No, doesn't no, fancy it. We're gonna no, let no, someone else. It. You have know a go. what? Yeah. Guess what? I'm fed up. Yeah. Oh no, he's tired actually. He's tired. Oh, hand on knees. Hands on knees is uh, Ooh. very tired. Oh, he is very tired. So one. I think this is just a little self. Oh, oh, no, oh. we're going out wide here. Oh, no. oh very so they've good got defense. to. They've got to pick that pass. So Melde, the winger for Galaxy, is coming in and shutting. That means the long ball is on because Mel is not marking that winger. listening to us. Yeah. It would so be they've good got to, to throw long and will they throw long here? They will try to the link. It's a two on one. Link scores. It's the same score as, as before. Yeah. It's the same move. And, and it is, it's Opening not about uh, that last pass no. is undefensible. It's two on one for that winger. That yeah, winger yeah. has no option. Yeah. So Galaxy have just got to work out how to make sure they recover into that space. Okay. They cover that it's space. It's really hard for that winger to anticipate that thing that move yeah. because they're so deep yeah the squirrels are really deep yeah it's the the downside of being a winger that in those situations it looks like you're to blame but actually no, you're, you're two on one no, you've got not. no you're no not. recourse that's what, Little, that's what uh, wingers do they, they need to read play yeah so louis treyas on here ollie brassington seemed to start running from the halfway line for some reason and just arrived late but yeah. didn't get the ball they took the touch so what is it? Hanro, uh, Louis, and Ollie on the pitch. Nice, good touch from the from the mid there. Just slightly slowed the play down. But did he slow it down score. enough? No, that's, that's a score. score. No, score. Yes. Yeah, she was a bit late, Nadja, there on that one. So yeah. that's a shame. And a shame. So the, the the art of a sort of good defensive touch to slow the ball down, to slow play down without being penalised. Mm. Really good skill, mm. and it was executed there. But unfortunately, uh, I mean, they are very skilled, and that's their like their their special move. Let's say they do oh, it yeah? all the time, right? Those yeah? two attackers oh. there from London. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They do it all the time. So um, it, it's it's hard. You just you just have to be tight in defense. Okay, so now Mark is not hands on knees anymore. And Looking very lively. Yeah, is he gonna? Oh no. Yeah, that's a so touch. I think he beat his mid. He I did. Think he beat he did. Uh, Eric. Is it number 23? Yeah, it is. The, but the link again saved them. Yeah, very good. There we have very good link and winger there. Yeah, dump and split again. So, and now he's gonna dive again. That looks good to me, it and it looks good. good to the referee. Yeah, Guillaume. very good. He's completely happy. Guillaume Genet did a great tournament. What a ref. Oh, what a oh. ref. Look, look how elegant he is. It moves, moves like a, like like a, a swan. Swan? Like a swan through water. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He's gliding. He's gliding. He's, He's barely, gliding yeah. on the, yeah. So, nice score there. It's 4-4. Um, four, four. And it's 4-4, four, four. yeah. Fantastic. I think that the the only thing is is tiredness and making sure that squirrels don't overexert themselves because they have slightly fewer players. They've had uh, fewer players in the squad. Oh, nice attempt here, guys. but a touch. Oh, good defense! Wow. Yeah, we, good we, defense. Yeah. This is a very. Um, Louis good. is is a slippery player. He is a, a tricky player. So we've got an angular player. An and ang slippery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go, oh. Will. The angular. Oh, it's a pass. Uh, so it's a running that passive line was Will, I would go but I think touch. that winger made the touch there, but there's a question did. over here. Yeah. Will is trying to influence the rest, they are not interested at all, yeah. and ah. the touch is being called. So the referees wanted to know if the winger was onside. Right, yeah. Right. I don't think that was Will's question, but yeah, neither way, all good. Not so, Will's question, we don't care about Will's no, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, nice subbing play here, Squirrels getting their fresh okay, players so on, they're, they're Will making a good touch. Are, yeah. They're very, there's lots of Pace, isn't it? There is a lot of pace. There you it's go. Good to see. Driving David, straight in and a scoop. Serial. Serial. There's an overlap here. Oh if they can just find no. it. Oh. oh, that was a push. A bit well, hard. It's, it's, it's difficult with this. It was a push. Oh, he's touch and pass. But it was he was already sort of going in that direction, already falling in that direction. Mm, so it, yeah. you don't necessarily penalize yeah. that. If the player's already on their way down, yeah. essentially. Then. Yeah, he did push a bit hard, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. No need to penalize that. Yeah, the, the pace is also very good on Galaxy's side. Drive. Yeah. Rui Durrani coming on here. Oh, yeah. And is that, uh, that's uh, Ollie, I think, scooping the ball briefly, giving it there, but straight back into a squirrel's play. Number th 33, what's his name you said? The Rui, Rui Durrani, I think, isn't it? Shh. Big long hair? Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, very kind. He was, I, I read oh, him, yeah. He's, he's lovely. He's, he's so, he's he's lovely, so yeah. cool on the field. Yeah, well, most of the time. Most, yeah, well, okay. But we're all. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. But what I, from what I saw, he was like even, yeah. Thank now there's you, a little yeah. question here between Guillaume and, and Nicola, uh, just about what we're going to do next. And we're saying it was six touch. Fair enough. 
Have you seen? There's players walking past us here, and I would say more of them are limping than aren't limping. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so many, been, so many players are limping. Yeah, that kind of day. Um, so nice touch, and again, nice, nice intensity, nice sub well, play. That's just shame. more there, there of that. They've broken down. I, two meters wide. Yeah, I, I spoke much too soon there, but it's half time. Yeah, wait, Silver Fox. Oh no, you can't try. Not something. interested. No, not interested. No. You know, at some He's point, already thinking about his team point. talk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might see. Very intense. Oh, four, four, four. 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 Hopefully. What are your reflections? Ah, uh, very even, isn't it? Yeah, and very even. a few mistakes on both sides. Mm. But that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, pink and black, black and pink. I would, I would, I don't agree with the music choice. It's been uh, Europop. I would say a lot of Europop, uh, Euro which is suitable. It's yeah. a European tournament, but um, not my personal preference either. No, no. Some, some bangers. There was some. Uh, I think some Duran Duran earlier. Yeah, maybe. Enjoyed that. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, I think there was that. I think. See, this is you, you can tell who's uh, visiting from the north of Europe and who lives in the south of Europe, or, or has lived in the south of Europe. Barbara Garcia, uh, the organizer, is standing over there in a parka that looks like she's about to yeah. climb the north face of the Elder. Clearly, clearly. Rest of us in. Well, you, you, yeah, you've yeah, got well, a hoodie and a coat. Well, the thing is, I, I was just stopped standing running. in the wind there, yeah. and the wind is cold. We talked about it earlier. You missed out on. So there was Brianza uh, playing against. Can't remember who. Uh, against Boisfort. And so we had an Italian commentary. Oh. Oh, Italian style. Well, such a flow, it. such Did a you, flow. Should you speak in French for some of this? Because I feel like all the French speakers. I don't know, we had a French. We're getting nothing. We, we had a French um, commentary yesterday. But it's a shame not to use the fact that you are fluent in French and I speak 10 words of French, so. Yeah, but we. Would, would you understand me? Probably not. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it doesn't you can stop. Do a little bit. Let's it do doesn't a stop bit. you. Let's, yeah. Okay. Okay, we can do a little bit yeah. during the next game. Hmm. Maybe, do we have commentaries? Do we have commentaries? Can we have a look at the commentaries? Comments on video on uh, YouTube? Can you show YouTube vi uh, comments? Here? Is that the last ones? Giselle! Yeah! Okay, who won the third place, please? Oh, uh, I that. So who won the third place? SMH. SMH one yeah. by how much? By one. By, one. Two. by two. Okay, against Toulouse. Against Toulouse, yeah. Oh, so SMH one. Good job on SMH. Okay, so hi to all our listeners. I don't know, I didn't see how many people are there on the live. Are we seeing the best moments? Yeah, we are. This is a score. Easy score. That was a very nice score. Here we are. Yeah, that was when Nadia was a bit late. Yeah, well done on her. Yeah, oh, Mark Legee. Yeah, diving there, stretching to dive. That was a f that was a really nice dive there. Can you show the the YouTube? Uh, yeah, who do who do we have? Ooh, go Lydia. Yeah. Oh, no. hi Kevin. Kevin Grassi. Yeah, I love you too. Love you too. I'm there. No worries. Okay, I hope you're all enjoying. How many people do we have? 156 viewers. Hi to all. I hope um, I hope you're all coming from around Europe, maybe from around the world, right? I found I found fact sheets about the players. So we fact? have Oh, really? Yeah, do we yeah, have yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Galaxy have apparently sent a small essay. <laughs> there's a, so there's a Pass. galaxy one oh, two it's a three shame four we didn't four, get that five, earlier. Six, there's seven paragraphs here. I'm not reading all that. I'm you know I'm happy for you though. Or sorry that happened. Whichever one is is appropriate. So, yeah. So you're trying to get facts. Yeah. So who do we have here? And we and we have one for. Is that squirrels as well? Squirrels. Who, what do we have? One well, of them see. is a burpees lover. Have you ever heard anything Bur so ridiculous? No. Burpees lover. David. David is a burpees a lover. On a, why? Ne never why happens. Did you love that? Well, yeah. Well, maybe that's why he got bronze medal in Kuala Lumpur. That was a fantastic game. I don't know. Did you see that? The game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah France against that, England. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So that was that was so good. So England uh, had a semi-final against South Africa, and lost that heartbreakingly closely, and then had the 
bronze game against France. And again, as, as an England supporter, and, and at that World Cup, I was part of the sort of England contingent. Uh, heartbreaking because you know some, some of my friends in that team, but a real like I freely would say a good game for the. That was the that was team. a fantastic. The atmosphere was fantastic. I was. It's sad for England players, but. Ah, mm. uh, see, I knew I knew that there'd be a good answer to this question from Mel Day. So uh, why did you get into touch? Mel Day's answer: the good-looking boys played touch. So Mel, Mel for heaven's sake, focus on your game. For once in your life, Mel. <laughs> Does, is Mel known for f focusing more on boys than touch? Her head is turned more than a Pez dispenser, I would say. <laughs> okay, okay. Hopefully, hopefully she won't be offended by your commentary. Eh, maybe. So... So who do we have? Ball down. Oh, again, free touch, making a um, drop ball. I think it was a drop ball. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're back, back in the game. Hmm. What do we have? What do we have? Come on, they're trying to get the defense moving forward. And off they go. Yeah, complaining. And Will complaining, so he's not that kind. Yeah, you're right. Complaining that the defense is not, is not moving up. And he got a penalty. For once, when complaining worked. Oh, oh, Remy going for the interception. Almost getting it. Remy, what do I have about Remy? So apparently he's won every France's men's open since 2015. And won every French national since 2014 in mixed open. Is Fantastic! It, is there one region that does well at your French nationals? Well, well, it, uh, well, we had SMH, and now it's the squirrels. Uh, and to lose this year are str are strong. Oh, the same move as fr as the squirrels gets to score for Galaxy. Well done! Fantastic! Fantastic! Good hands, easy. Well, let's say easy, not easy, it's but easy. It's, no, it's, it's, never it's never easy to score. It's the no, hardest but it was, pitch, but it, it was, was well, score. well, well done, well done. Okay, huh. So I will say, Galaxy's, uh, and I, I can't call it a fact sheet because it is many pages. I'm struggling to navigate it because it goes onto multiple lines. I'm trying to work out what equates to who. So what I might do instead is pick a good fact and try and guess which Galaxy player it relates to. So I might do that in a second, but in the meantime, Squirrel's on the line here, nicely set up. There's a little space, little opportunity, and there isn't a winger standing. Look, off look the pitch. like, look like, Will's pass earlier on. Too long. Did. Just slightly overcooked. Yeah, I'm not sure there was a space there, no. even if it was. No, there was, there was no, time. there was no, no, no space. So okay. Okay, so uh, Mel's uh, Mel's special skill that is not associated with touch. Oh, he's going through. Fantastic run. Ollie Brassington, again, not as angular as Will Lupton, but he finds those spaces and he just ghosts through them. Good work from him. Maybe, and I, maybe we'll see that on replay. I don't know. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on in front of us on the computer. But. <laughs> yeah, and we don't quite... Oh, there, yes, oh yeah, wait, look, look at this. Look at this. Fanta just running through, through, the, middle. through yeah. the middle. I think. And he even outrun... Mathieu Lorry. Is Mathieu Lorry fast? Yes, yeah, she is. She's the one who. Oh, who sorry, the lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She's, yeah. she's the one who, who, but he runs really fast. Yeah, I, uh, I think there's always a risk. Um, teams sub in the same way every time. Silver Fox on the quickie there, diving for the line. Yeah. And it's a easy score. score. It's an easy, easy score. score. Classic, Marc Lajou score. Yeah. So that brings uh, free touch back within one of Galaxy. I think six five. How, how was it put yesterday? Absolutely legendary. The Silver Fox? Yeah, that's yeah. what they say. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true, is it? Oh. Ah, this is a good game. So, free touch, down by one. And now, there we go. Oh, this is a good move. Oh, good defense. And now it's two against one. Ah, a bit late. Could have had time. That was a very good defense. Um, I think it was from the winger because she caught and she she didn't allow that last pass to be made. That was very good. There we go, Mathilde. 
going, driving hard. That might be too hard. Yeah, that's it. Make those touches. Easy ah. touch, easy touch from Will Lupton ah, there. How yeah. many times are you going to have to say when you've got the ball, make the touch? Just but really good intensity. Oh. Yeah, they drove into the touch with really good intensity, uh, but lost yeah. that control. David I, I, it's very, um, very much one of those where sometimes going at 90%, but with precision yeah. is better than going at 100%. Yeah. How many times are you going to say that? Oh, How many does, more. Many more. I'll tell you who I've enjoyed. Yeah. Agraria from uh, Portugal. Yeah. They play at 100% all the time. <laughs> They're running, running, running. <laughs> and it's brilliant. Like, and sometimes they will find spaces you would never yeah. expect. Yeah. Rui Durrani on side, the gum. Kind of. yeah. Nice pick up there. Yeah. That was Ollie. Good defense. Good defense. Who we have there in defense? We've got Cyril. Cyril. Oh, what a dive. In Ooh, the eye. Caught in the Very, eye, I think. Such a precision. Bad luck. Such a precision. Oh, he doesn't they didn't agree. Like that. They didn't like that. Ooh. Oh, the, 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 the public is booing. Oh, that's SMH and Toulouse booing. Yeah, no wonder. Okay. Are they booing the decision or the are they decision. booing the touch? No, the decision, uh, I think. Because it wasn't done on purpose. Yeah. But he did fly in the air. Well, you've got to balance then, what happens in accident and you also yeah, got to... Yeah, that's it. I mean, it was dangerous. It was a... It was in the eye, supposedly at least. So, okay, Will playing basketball there. Okay, so Cyril got a fourth sub, and um, apparently he's often called lazy boy by referees because he negotiates his fives. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I, 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 I've never heard him call. Do you know most of these? Yeah. I Cyril used to play in my club. I think he's one of those who, who um, taught me touch. But he didn't teach me how to put fingers in the eye. No, no. you've never done that. No. I never would. Um, I do have an eye-based fact, which was Rui Durrani's interesting fact, that he waded into the duck pond at Gif and got an eye infection. So there's an <laughs> eye-based fact for you there. So nice drive here, nice bit of width on the game. Oh. Louis tried to knock off the touch, but couldn't. So now it's Oscar making the touch. Will making the touch, I should say, in the end. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, Long it. ball. Oh, <laughs> the winger got more of the other winger than the ball there, unfortunately. It was, Even it the was... ref. I think he gave... He, it was a pass for the ref, yeah, for Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick declining to catch and finish the ball. Mm. So, Oscar, uh, nice first touch on the roll ball there. And setting up to... I think they're going to try and keep going through the, through the middle a little before they head to the box. That second touch. Will Lupton now going around the outside to head towards the box to try and get some fresh players on. A good touch. Oh, touch was called. Touch was called. Winger didn't feel it at first, but it's an honesty game. She's moved back. Fifth. Good yeah. scoop there from George Warboys. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work though. Because no, he made some yards. They, 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 oh, we're all, oh, I love when we mess around. We do a little pass behind the back. Little mm, Eric doing a little do. flip. Well, they didn't Eric, lose a couple of meters by doing that. No, they so. did. So Eric Williams' fact here is that he has a phobia of polystyrene. What? And just as brittle. Polystyrene. There's really? A, yeah, yeah. So, just as brittle was his attempt to pass the ball behind his back there. <laughs> but more environmentally friendly. So, Eric now taking the ball. No, not taking the ball in. Teeing it off there. And again, going. Player appealing for a touch and pass, but referee's giving him nothing. Okay, off we go. Oh, was that a hard touch? No, that's okay. Okay, off we go. Marc Lejeune. There we go, in the middle, going to attack. Most likely going for a quickie. Off we go, yeah, he's waiting for the players, going for a quickie, yeah, he's served. Mid -mid and and mid-mid gap, of course, but the... Touch first this time. Touch first, yeah. The thing is, we see him coming a bit. Right. Well, and yet, he's he so keeps quick. scoring. He keeps scoring, uh, he's so quick. The, the thing I, uh, you know, you always think is, it's one thing to know what's coming, yeah. you've still got to defend it, and here he is running all the way back up the pitch, and I'm not sure that was as good, but I don't know why setting up something here. That. Long ball, Was it done on tall top? winger, possible finish. No, way. no, touch first. Wow. No, is it a score? Yeah, it's a score. Yeah, it's a score, yeah. It is. Referees it are is. happy. So all that thing from Mark in the beginning might have been done on purpose in Not order possibly. to get that long ball. We Maybe. don't know. We, we can't, we as mere mortals, yeah. not legends of the game, no, do not know the, not. the levels on which he's operating. Yeah. So we see chaos, he sees the plan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Will Lupton teeing off that's there true. to... Well, he sees the plan, but he does have his hands a lot on his knees. Well, in the sub box is fine. In the sub box, you're allowed to. Yeah. That's, what, that's what it's there for. And he does score a lot, so... Yeah. He, I, 
I don't know, we'd maybe check, but I think he's had a hand in easily two thirds of the scores from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a rule of thumb, kind of, yeah. So they were down by w two squirrels, and now it's 6 6. I think we might be seeing a lot of Will, Louis, and Oscar again. I think they you might. Think? Yeah. So they're counting on those three. I think they might be. Well, they're on right now, aren't they? Yeah. Very nice. And, and Will. Will is, yeah. Oh, good defense. Six again. Yeah. Good defense there. Yeah, you got to you give away the six again a hundred times out of a hundred instead of the score. Yeah. But it will be a fresh set. And to be honest, Will, uh, Will, Louis, Oscar um, should be looking to score off this. I, uh, I don't recognise the female link number ninety nine. She's been just you as not? much a part. No, um, I have. A, I'll check the list in a second. But yeah, she's been just as much of a part of this as the rest of them. But it's the the three boys that I know. So yeah, you keep talking about those three boys anyway. Well, they've been doing a lot. Tisha Harold. Oh no. I, so you, you know do what? know her. Oh, oh, it's a, oh yeah, good defence there from the winger. Again. I I don't know her, but I can get to know her yeah. by reading her. Uh, yeah, please yeah. do. So, what do we know about her? So she got into touch playing in Southeast Asia at school. Okay. Okay. Now hang on, because I need to. She has no caps. No caps. For any <gasps> touches. Fantastic long ball. Wow. Good score. Very nice. It's a score. To me, it's a score. Referees discussing. What are you talking about? What is it? Oh, what happened? It's a forward pass. Oh wow, it's a shame. It was such a good such a nice ball. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame. Oh, was that straight? No. Oh, Something happened. There was no and there we there had a rumbling. forward pass. Oh there we go, number fifty going on his own. Quick tap. Very smart play. Very smart play. Well done. Well okay, done. I have, I have more on and more on Tisha Tisha Her Herald, not Harold, sorry. Winning Ayasas was her best memory from touch, a South, uh, Southeast Asian inter-school tournament. Okay. She describes herself as an average surfer and like insurance more than she should. Why would anyone like insurance? Uh, well, I don't know. My, but that is weird. Who likes Who insurance? Who likes insurance? It's a strange it's thing like, to like. It's like saying I like banks. Yeah. No one should like banks. No. So, nice setup here. Out to the wing, she can finish this. Did she have control of the ball? That will be the question. And she did. She did. It's a good score. The thing is, I think she had control, like she pushed it downwards, you know? And then as soon as it was down, she lost control. I think a bit beyond that, I think she fully, so just pushing it down isn't enough. I think she had it in her hand. Look at the replay. Look at the replay. Yeah, that's fine. She, yeah, Looked she, fine by, she, for me. I think she had that on the way down. Good yeah, work. yeah, I think so too. Okay, well, that's good. That's good for, for us. Who was that? Do seven, you know who seven. that was? Yeah, that was Nadia again. Uh, good play. Good finish. Yeah, good finish. Yeah, yeah, good hands. Good finish. Always well. Oh, long ball oh, from Louis. Treyas out to the wing. Oh, is that a Did touch? Did she make the touch? Touch or not? It's oh, such a and good they're talking again. Jeez, those game. referees love talking. They love to talk. So a little, I, I, if she's made that, the winger, if the squirrel's wing has made that, it's a fantastic touch no, it's chase not. out. No, but she no. hasn't. No. But it would have been, wouldn't it? It would have been. I think she made the touch just after. Let's yeah. see. Let's see how that was on on replay. Just there, getting the score. Maybe we can see the. There we go. Look there. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty clear. I mean, it's not dishonest, let's no. say. We're back on now. We're, we're back playing, and we've got um, a sort of wing link dump there going back into the middle. That Silver Fox is on. Expect oh. fireworks. Yeah. Is uh, yet again, Quickie taking the ball. Check the other way. Ball. Very long ball. Has oh, it gone forwards? Hands. Nadja, did she make the touch? Did, did, did the winger make the touch? Are they going to talk about it again? No. no. All good. All good. So it's a touch. Just a touch. It was a good, it was a good Ooh, move. Not a great ball back in. That Silver Fox well, controlled that's, that's it. I think he's got to go. Oh. That is very risky. You see? Yeah, good you score, see though. The defender rushed on Marc Lejeune. Mistake. Well, I don't know if it's a mistake, but clearly that's what he took advantage of. That. That's what he wants. Maybe. Let's say on a split second, he made the right decision to well, just I think, go for it. I think you've got to look at it inside. if you're Galaxy. Oh, big, big Im little impact there. Um, is it 9-7 or is it 8-8? Eight, eight? No. It should be 8-8, eight, eight, shouldn't it? 
you because they're free to squirrels. Yeah, no. because yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm not okay. counting. I've just done a I've just done a game. You go. Ah, oh. my legs are tired. No, no, come on. I think I think it's H H. What Uh huh. To me, it's ocho ocho. He said. Okay, wait. I'll go. And, I'll do. I'll do a uh, quick check. Yeah. Uh, I made. Um, Filu go check the scorecard because uh, I've just had a game, his game was before. He's checking now. So, nice touch from Rui Durrani, getting back on side. Good driving intensity. Ah, bad luck, he slipped through there. It's a strange pitch. Nice long ball, potentially good finish. Yes, it is a good finish. Well, he was just about to come back with the score and it's changed. 9-9? Nine, nine? Nine, nine. Tell the man. So, Galaxy with the tap off, and time is running out for them to pull ahead and make sure they don't take this to a drop off. No, it is the danger pod yet again, Can, without even looking. Tell what? me who's on the pitch for Galaxy. <laughs> the same three as usual, right? Yeah, they 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 seem to not be too tired. They're young. I hate them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's there we go. They play the three of them always often. Oh, that was almost caught. What happened? She let it go. She did let it go. We still even on the the step, which uh, Filu was smart enough to find. We are still a little bit of a disadvantage when the play yeah. sort of through the sub box. We can't see the screen there, so maybe we should have a look more mm. at the screen than at the game itself. Oh, there we go. Not making the touch again. <sighs> Giving away yards. Oh, was that forward? No, that was forward. Anyway. So, Mark looking for an oh. option. Giving the ball. Nice. Style. NFL style again. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was. At least one of those passes was forward, for sure. Yeah. There, there were several options, but mm. definitely one was. I don't know what they did, struggling with the... So how, much, how much time was that? Okay, only three minutes left. It's tight. It's tight. Very tight. Is it first half or second half? First, second, second, second half. Second half. Second half. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember. Somehow. Okay, so this is tight. So, with less than three minutes left, anything... It could go any way. Which Absolutely. Which we would love to see. We love to see it. I wasn't expecting that result in some way. No, I thought we, the assumption was, I think, originally that Toulouse were the stronger team, and no, that I for mean, Galaxy, Squirrels oh, are really strong. I mean, it's oh, not, fine, it's yeah. not, it's not, it's, I thought it's the, not, oh, not okay. a question, no question about that. It's just right. I was expecting, having seen Galaxy play, I was expecting, um, you know, them to be easier. But I think Squirrel are, are doing a very good game, very good drives. That, there, look at this. This is a fantastic pace. Ooh. Ooh. So, so this is a difficult one. So there was yeah. a collision between there two was. players. Yeah. But the question for the referees is, was it cynical? Was there malice? Or was it just that that player was a little bit fixed to the spot when the hmm. when the attacker came towards her not easy not an easy decision to make and the no. problem is everyone's focus moves on because you need to stay with the ball maybe we'll see a replay of that or what have we already seen it it's like the touch so no yeah no we don't know we, we maybe, maybe no no no, no. We thought there was a score, looked oh, like a score, but and, no. And uh, yeah, people are booing again, and again a decision. It's a tough decision. Really tough decision, because you don't want to ignore that that player was out of the game, that player was hurt, but equally, the thing is, if there's I, a foul, I, there's a foul. Yeah, I, I would be really interested in seeing the replay again, mm. because, because I had the feeling she blocked the player in some ways, and so maybe that's why he kind of, you know, got into her. But like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash her, yeah, and that's why they hit. So, is it her fault or is it the player's fault? I, I, I think that's that's, that's the question. Hard. And that you know what's nice? We're here. We're not on the pitch making yeah, the decisions. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what decision I would have made because it, it's uh, but there it was the best ref. Yeah. So, so he's got to be right. 
Louis Trey is trying to go around the outside, touched by the link. Giselle again. Well, is it a Giselle if you're trying to run around a guy? No. Yeah, well, if you try to go around the winger, that's what we call it. Oh, no, he, he went for the wing link. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. So that's not that's, it. That's, that's a, not a, it. Uh, une uh, demi Giselle? Oh, oh, that could be, that could be. We could call it that. I doubt, I doubt people will remember that name, but... I keep trying to make things happen. You know, you keep trying to make catchphrases happen. You just yeah. never know. Oh! That is time! And, and it's tied. It will go to a drop-off. Drop-off, based and on this decision. Lovely synchronicity oh between uh, Guillaume and Nicolas, the two refs. Yes. Both making the drop-off hand signal, waving to each other. Fantastic. This is the dream scenario. I am... I am in dreamland. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Fantastic. Fantastic. All this based on this last decision of Nicholas van der Reff, who made this, this decision, which could have had a, a huge influence. Very difficult decision. Very difficult. I don't think I would have done any better. For sure I wouldn't. For sure. Oh, now it's four against four. The best. Two minutes. Two minutes. If uh, we, two, we play two minutes straight through. Oh. One of the... Free touch players is packing his bags. I'm sure he has a plane. He's got a plane to catch. Not, yeah, not in two can. minutes. We, we can ask him. Cyril, t'as as un avion? Oh. oh, yeah, so he, he yeah, that's it. He's got a plane to catch. Lazy boy. Okay, so that's that's unusual for two minutes. Very unusual. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, that's how it happened. He must have been playing that whole game thinking, oh, my plane. We see, we see a couple of replays. I don't know if we're back. I don't even know. Starting in the drop-off now. now. Louis, and see, again, it, it's Louis minutes. and Will. Uh, and it's Danny Payton. Nice. And I am not sure who's on the near side. You see, that's why. Danny, we've got two, bo two boys, two girls. And the previous drop-off, I think it was one team had three boys. Well, that's an error. Yeah, it is. So anyway. Oh, Will falling on the ground. And that's the score. Easy. So... Score now, so um, squirrels have enough time to try and score again. If they yeah, do, we keep yeah, going, yeah. but they need to pull level in this two minutes. Oh and sure God. enough, and striding onto the pitch yeah. on his paws. <laughs> the silver fox. What's the silver fox in French? Le... Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think it would sound good. Le renard argenté. Or mm. it... I like it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're setting up here. What they'll try and do and is just run around the outside. Yes, and it's a score. Oh, but did she have it on the way down? I think there might be a question over the grounding. Yeah. Nicholas had a better view. Yeah. He's giving Guy on the all clear. Yeah. So we're still tied. Oh, there is nothing I between these two teams. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a thin, just a thin. sheet of paper. More more thin, more angular than Will Lupton. It yeah, slides the it gap is. between it them is. away for thin. You know what? I really like the way Guillaume does his all clear move. Yeah, he's you know it's clear. I'm sure he's worked, he's worked on it in front of a in front of a mirror, yeah. for sure. Okay, up we go again, and this is where it's important to win the toss. No, that's a touch. Gap, but a touch first. Looked for a half second like Louis was going to ghost through there, uh, but he just didn't. Are you? I'm stressed. I am stressed. My heart beat. I've been running around all day. My heart beats as high as it'll ever oh, be now. Oh come on! There, you, have you had a beer? No. No, no, never have I. Ooh. Bit of a decision, six more. Six. Mark yeah, not happy with Mark. that decision. No, well, he's rarely happy. Is that so, the end of the two yep, so now we go down to three players on each side yeah, and we just we play until there's a three. score. Okay, so now the first team to score wins. wins. Yep. So it just comes down to that. Oh, after two days of touch, five games yesterday, three games today, yeah. comes down to this next however long. Could be a minute, could be 30 seconds. I don't know. How long has the longest drop? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's off. Seven. Can he make it all the way? No. Great oh, saving touch there. Saving from Remy Merlos. Oh, yes. This is, this is but they have the momentum now. Can they keep it? If they, if they keep it... And, it's and she's quick enough to go on the outside, but Will Lupton oh, no, has Will, tracked yeah. her. Will, Will, Will runs fast, doesn't he? And I am... Um, my body is on fire. Yeah, it is, it is. Oh man, this is fantastic. This is great. We don't know what's going to happen. Louis making the touch. There is an overlap. Oh, Will is going to... 
Oh, has he made the saving touch? Yes, he has made the touch. This could go on a little while, I think. You think? I think they are going to go hammer and tongs at each other, and they are too good. Too good to make a silly error. If they now do that, I'll obviously yeah. look very silly. I will say, as the game them. finishes, we haven't had Phil Holiday's ball to ground signal that I promised you. Apologies for that. <laughs> so he's just trying to go around the outside, and he is fast. He is fast. Is he fast enough? Yes, I think he is. Good. He looks happy with it. Phil looks happy with it. Yes. Oh, very nice. Lovely Ollie Brassington guys. doing what he likes to do. He ran around the outside. Is it? Yeah. Is it still a Giselle? Oh, that, yeah, I think it is. But it's a good Giselle. It's a fantastic Giselle. It's the kind of Giselle you love to see. And he got injured. Remy Merlos? Or is he sad? No, I don't know if he's sad or injured. It's hard to tell. What is sadness but an injury to the soul? Oh, yes, it is. It is. I think I heard you said that once before. <laughs> <laughs> the incredible game. Heartbreak for free touch. Neither team deserved to lose. No, yeah, I agree. And you see met lots and lots of applause because it was a fantastic game. I think we all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it, all the viewers here. And yeah, everyone should be very happy with the outcome of this tournament. So, yeah, I think this is the end of it. Thank this you for... EFT for organizing all this. Thank you, EFT, for organizing it. Thank you. Uh, some, there's been local people helping in, yeah, in Elche. Thank you to them. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Barbara Garcia has been organizing it. Nicholas mm. van der Reff has mm -hmm. been organizing it. Mm -hmm. Nicholas van der Reff organizing Okay, so cheers everyone. Have a good evening. Have a nice Sunday night and uh, stay yeah, safe over winter. Yes, stay safe over winter. Cheers. Thank you.